if you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Morning, good morning, Jan. Jan, are you getting up this morning? Jan, I've forgotten, I've forgotten to do an early, early morning call the last few days. Jan, 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 wakey, wakey, wakey. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is time for the early bird. Right, now, um, this is the early bird, right? This is what was supposed to be the early bird. It's on our paperwork, but the graphics don't say it's the early bird. Uh, you might have seen it before. We've sold hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these. Say, so there's no mention of early bird here. There's no much how, how much it's meant to be here. And now, there's, there was no price change. The cat's chosen that price for you. She's taken two pounds off. She's not supposed to, I'm sure, but she's taken two pounds off. Right, now, the first thing I've got to tell you is I cannot guarantee what colour you're going to get. We've seen them in blue. We've seen them in grey. We've seen them now in pinky red. And I've seen a purple one. So I cannot guarantee what colour you're going to get. You may as well go, what is it, John? What is it? Well, I'll tell you what it is. I'll show you, look, right? So it's a seam ripper. It's a seam ripper, you see. Normal, really good, lovely. This is lovely and soft touch here, right? ergonomically designed with a little switch here. Now you're thinking, well, why is, why is my light not working? When yours arrives, you see this little tab here? Pull that out. Pull that out, because it's just saving your battery while it's not arrived. And then look, 
Now, we need to drop the lights on this for you. Look, 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 look. Nice, bright LED light. Look there on your quick unpick end. Isn't it brilliant? But it's not only a quick unpick. Right, it's also got a magnifying glass. Now, so what you can do, first of all, you can use this just as a magnifying glass, like that. Or you just clip it onto here, like that. Then when you're unpicking, can you see through there how much it, let, let me see if I can show you. It's huge, look. Oh, hang on, I'm not doing very well, am I? Got to get it on the right angle for the camera. I'm just trying to show you my... Oh, come on, John, you're rubbish. There you go, there you go. Oh, no, no, not yet. There! So it means so you're really going to be able to see your stitches through there, aren't you? So, for 5 99 you get a magnifying glass, you get a quicker pick, but you've got one with an LED light in it as well. I know, for £5.99, it is today's early bird. Normally £7.99, as I say, you're saving £2. Oh, Jan's awake, everyone. Jan's up. Uh, let's see who else is there. Margaret says hello. Helen says hello. Paula says hello. Uh, Cousin Susan says hello. Lisa says good morning. Leslie says good morning. Claire says good morning. Uh, June says morning. It's a beautiful day here. Jan says good morning. I've said that one. Princess says good morning. Lynn says hello, everyone. Beautiful sunny day. Off to the new forest in a minute. Oh, how lovely. Love the new forest. Um, who else is there? Laurie says, morning, John. Happy Sunday morning to everyone. Patsy, morning, John. Very nice shirt today. Thank you. Uh, anyway, keep going through for that. Five ninety nine, five pounds. It should be seven ninety nine. I'm sorry it doesn't say early bird on it. Oh, look, I could have just done it like that, couldn't I? You could see there. There you go. Brig, brilliant magnification in there. And with the light on, makes it even easier, doesn't it? Five pounds and ninety nine pence. Fiona says, good morning, from Almeria, Almeria in Spain. Ooh, get you. Now, did you have to have an APR test? What are they call those CPR tests? What, what is it we have to have before we fly? I've got to have one, haven't I, before I go? I thought I didn't have to have one before I went, but I have got to have one before I go and two when I get back. No, one before I leave and then two when I get back or something like that. You have to go to Boots or to places like that to have it done. LED seam ripper with magnifier, $5.99. Should be $7.99. Elizabeth says, morning all. My daughter is leaving home today. She's starting a new career. Oh, no. I'm a bit down, but on the upside, I can buy more fabric and store it in her bedroom. That's the... <laughs> Scylla says, good morning. She's off to work. Julie says, good morning. Jojo says, morning. Oh, now, Jojo, two-year anniversary today of my bone marrow stem cell transplant. I can feel a celebratory purchase coming on. Jan says, good morning. Morex says, good morning. I know, buy this, buy this, hurry up. 5 99 Normally 7 99 Sorry it doesn't say it in the graphics. Sorry it doesn't say early bird. Nobody from the office woke up in time to answer our emails. £5.99, it's lovely, isn't it? Can't guarantee the colour, remember. And also, once you've checked out on this, that's your P&P done for the day. Don't have to worry about P&P. So if you come in and buy a Delphine kit, you come in and buy a cave quilt, you come in and buy a sewing machine, uh, it's all, all your P&P covered. You can't buy a mannequin because the blue mannequin sold out yesterday. I've got some red ones, red ones there. But the blue one, old Sapphire there in the corner, hiding in the corner, she's sold out. Roxana says good morning. Linda says good morning from a very wet Colchester. Oh, I still live in Colchester. You know that, don't you? I know. I was there in 1984 to 1988. I'm very thirsty this morning. Oh, we've had a bad morning already this morning, coffee-wise. Emma went to the, she did the drive through and the little, no, he's not little, the, the vague camp man in Starbucks got my order completely wrong. So I haven't had a Starbucks. Yeah, so I didn't get vanilla in mine. Kat got vanilla in hers, but she'd already got caramel in hers. So she had caramel and vanilla in hers. No, she, Kat, Kat like, it can't be too sweet for Kat, can it? Cat who has a bowl of strawberries and just puts the strawberries into a bag of sugar. Oh, Fiona lives there. She's very lucky. Oh, that's right. Good morning, John. Cheering up my dull rainy day here in Perthshire from Anne. Did I do what? No, we didn't have thunder. I, I had to get up to shut the windows because the rain was so heavy at one point. I think it was about 11 o'clock at night. I took, the rain was so heavy. I was just frightened it was going to come in through the window. Keep going through. Sue says good morning. Hilary says good morning. Yeah, brilliant stocking filler for Christmas. 
or for your, uh, for your um, what's it uh, group, your sewing group. I don't think you're all up yet. It wouldn't fit in a cracker. Oh, Alice Man, we don't need, I'm not sure if it would fit in Alice Man's cracker. She'll be in a bad mood today. She spent all day yesterday cutting out Hessian. 400 pieces of Hessian she had to cut out. Lynn says, I don't understand why the live repeatedly jumps on the iPad, but it's fine on the phone. Right, well, I'm on an iPad. And mine's absolutely fine, Lynn. It must be your... Oh, Lynn, how old's your iPad? How old's your iPad? It could be coming to that stage where it just suddenly won't let you do. I had an iPad that was all it looked brand new. I'd hardly used it at all. This is at the start of lockdown. And one day we had a Facebook update and it just wouldn't update it. And I went, rang the shop and they went, oh, it's, you, it's too old now, you need a new one. And, I, and it was like brand spanking new. Anyway, 5 99 Oh, Kat, you need a bit more enthusiasm than that for the day. She went, oh, come on, John, let's just do the rest of the day now. Five ninety nine. make sure you check out. Right, let's have a look at today's menu. Coming up today, quilting tools. It's because Kat's done this first and she's not very happy with what she's done, you see. So uh, she's in a bit of a grump about that. Uh, and she's had too much sugar already. Uh, it chilled quilt with Delphine Brooks. That looks like this. I know. Now, when we go on pre-order, I'll show you how to buy it on pre-order in a minute. People are already buying it. Oh, we forgot to dress this. Oh, I'm, just show me again, right? I'm so sorry about the set. Look, we haven't done the... I think there's something gone wrong this morning. Normally, Kat's up there doing this, doing that, doing the other. She's just sat with her feet up all morning this morning. Uh, anyway, I don't, know why the, I don't know why that 5 99 came up then. Right, so then we've got K Facet Fabrics uh, uh, in the hour afterwards. Then we've got... Oh, where is all the set dressing? Where's it all gone? It's normally on the floor down here, isn't it? Anyway, uh, then we've got a Delphine exclusive... Brand new, it's lovely. Look, it's Oliver the Owl. And he's now, do you think he looks, what do you see, do you think he looks, a, a cat thinks he looks flirtatious, right? Coy, right? I thought he looked angry, right? Delphine, I can't remember what that word Delphine used now. I've got no idea where all the set dressing's gone. How weird is that? Anyway, I'll just go back in. Oh, oh, so Kat thinks he's just bought you a drink at the bar and he's looking over at you saying hello. I'd walk, go home. Anyway, and then, what have we got then? Oh, uh, uh, sewing machines. Well, we haven't, have we, really? Uh, Lynn, so, oh, I've got loads of messages just come in now. Morning, John from Ireland, says Susan. Lynn says, I don't, oh, they've done that one. Morning, darling, John and crew. Very musical shirt, love it. Looking forward to Delphine, she's amazing. Emily says, morning, John, everyone had a few shandies yesterday. I'm going to have a quiet morning with Sewing Street whilst I come back to the land of the living. Emily, who do you think you are? Little Paul. Um, oh, it's only two years old, says Lynn. Doesn't do it on other Facebook lives, just a few. Does it do it on mine? When I do mine on a Sunday afternoon. Stitched on says, uh, morning, John and all. Karen says, oh, Mr. Owl looks a bit fierce. Fierce, that's a good word. That's Karen in Wigan. Are you not got a craft show today, Karen? Karen normally spends every weekend at a craft show, doesn't she? I suppose it's a bit early to be going then. I think she's doing one nearby. I think she's doing one near where she lives. Let me know, Karen, and I can tell everyone to, everyone to come and see you later on after they finish watching me. Three ways you can get in touch. First way is by email. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Uh, the second way is by the Facebook Live, which is the ones I've been shouting out. And then the third way is you go to the website, www.sewingstreet.com. Click on Watch the Live Show Quilting Tool. It's funny that some days it says what I'm doing and some days it doesn't, doesn't it? And you get a white page. Oh, there it is. There's the box on the right-hand side. Send your message to studio. Send a message. Uh, anyway, scroll down the page. Now, isn't it weird also sometimes... Oh, there you go. No, keep going down. Keep going down, sorry. You will see two columns in a minute. The left-hand side will say show deals, today's show deals, and the right-hand side will say pre-order. Have a look at pre-order right now because there's the quilt. Now, look at the price. That I think that is the most affordable of all the Cafe Facet Chilled Kits. Now, did you check those measurements? They're wrong, aren't they, those measurements? But what is it then? What are the real measurements? Right, it's 140 by 175. 140 by 175. 
not too far out, but we're not allowed to show you the wrong one. Anyway, keep going down. That's the, the cave. Uh, Delphine's going to be making that. There's some backing fabric. Well, it's not backing fabric. It's 44 inch wide, but it's got £1.50 off. No idea why. Then we've got other bits and bobs going on there. Then we've got the cave hour. Loads and loads and loads and loads. Well, it's not really because they're all very limited. Uh, lots of choice, but very limited. Oh, something sold out already. Look, cotton. Oh, right, right. There you go. We've got some solids to go with the cave. We've also got in that hour. Oh, uh, Imperial sold out. Oh, heck. Now, we've also got the Visaline face marks in a layer fabric. It looks boring there. That's what you put inside your face mask. We need to talk about face masks today. And then if we scroll down, we've also got the aluminium strips to put in face masks. We've got elastic. We've got make your own face mask fabric panel there uh, in different shapes. We've got the uh, sliders and the adjusters. We've got black elastic on that. We've got different colored ones there. Then we move on to Delphine's second hour. Right, so now let me explain, right, there are three different colourways, there's the blue one in the middle that you see there, then on the, what, that one, then the one on the right hand side, it's still got the picture of the blue, but you see the um, top left hand corner of each picture, that is the colourway that it's in. So we've got sunset and we've got autumn, so that's your sunset. Now, the sunset doesn't come with navy blue in the background, that's what it doesn't show. The sunset comes with light blue for the sky. But if you've, if you've got a choice, you just have half a metre of your own fabric. And that one comes with like a creamy vanilla. That one there comes with a creamy vanilla. I can't remember which one Delphine said she was going to demo in. But anyway, there are the three panels available on their own. And there are the kits. Where's the pattern on its own? There's the pattern on its own. Lots of those have gone already. Then we've got the sew machine hour with lots of sew machines in, as you can see. Oh, I'm back in again. That thing we're not supposed to be doing. Right, okay, so we've got the Elna 780 in there. We've got the Elna 320, which I can show you here. The Elna 550. We were supposed to have the 450 as well, but nobody's got any idea where it is. Oh, and then there's 8 o'clock. Here's 8 o'clock. This is the first hour. And if you're watching two days ago, it's very similar. Right, but then not everyone watches it during the week, do they? Lots of people just watch the weekends, wanted to get a second go at it. Uh, Helen says, morning, John and crew loving the shirt. Karen's got the weekend off. Next weekend, she, next weekend she's at Bolton Food and Drink Festival for four days. Then I'm doing eight weekends in a row. I feel faint at the thought of it. Welcome to my world. And I have to, I have to work during the week as well. Right. Uh, Lynn says, Jojo, fantastic. Oh, that, yes. Oh, look, I'm so proud that 45 years ago I was a match and able to donate. Oh, I didn't know that, Lynn it. You're very good. Nobody's ever wanted mine. Um, can I just say, next week, I'm only in Tuesday, Wednesday and Sunday next week. Is that right? No, Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, Sunday next week. I don't know. I have to start preparing myself for my holidays, don't I? Right, what do you want to start with then? Oh. Yeah, yeah, I've got it. It's not plugged in, is it? Oh, good, because I've just picked it up. Right, yours will be clean and new. And it, where is the, the one in the real pack? It's not here, then. Literally just come back in stock. The Prim Mini Steam Iron. Now, it's the Prim one. It's the Prim one. It comes with a little bag to put it in. It comes with a little jug to fill your water in. And uh, it also comes with instructions. Because, yes, it's a steam iron. So on the front here, you see this, this little rubber here. That little rub there is where you put the water in. That's where you can see, only fill it to the max there. This button here, steam on, steam off, steam on, steam off. There's your temperature dial there. It's got 1.9 metres of um, table. Then here, when you're folding it away, what's the matter with the camera today? There's a little clip there, there you go. Little clip there that your cable goes in. When you first switch it on, the red light comes on. When it's hot enough to go, the light goes off. Here's your base. Now, yours will be nice and clean. This one's the one that the designers have all been using. These here are your steam uh, holes here. As I say, yours will be nice. Oh, it's actually got some glue on this one. And then, oh, what's fantastic about this iron is this beautifully ergonomically designed ha handle here. It's where you can hold on to it and really, really... You don't have to... You know, like with a big, heavy iron, 
Uh, now, this is heavy enough to iron a shirt and things like that with, but um, a lot of people have them as travel irons and take them abroad with them, or take them to the caravans, because they're not heavy at all. This one's full of water, I should be careful. Um, and it's lovely, and it's 39 99 Whenever we have them in, they always sell out. All the designers ask for us if they can use this one. We haven't had it in stock for a while. It's brand new, back in stock today. Morning, John and team. Just received my advent calendar. Can't wait to December to open it. Very wet and dealing, Kent from Sarah. Love the shirt. Uh, well, a lot of information in one message, though, isn't it? Don't look at the back of the packet. I didn't realise this when I was selling it because I didn't turn it over. Do not turn it over because on the back, it tells you what's in it. So if you've bought one of the advent calendars, please do not look at the back of the packet. Just warning you. And did you get your badge as well? Did you get your badge at the same time? Uh, anyway, uh, Margaret says, morning, John team. Going to chill out watching you after yesterday. Uh, where, it was your day out yesterday, wasn't it, Margaret? Did you not have a nice time? Did you not have a lovely time? Oh. Right. 39.99. Now this... This isn't the one with the cutty mat. Don't get excited. It's not the one with the cutty mat. This is the square and blocker. Brilliant if you do blocking of, blo of um, knitting and crochet, but also very good if you've done uh, patchwork blocks and you just want to get to the right size. I'm not going to take it out of its polythene because someone will use it and it'll get dirty. But this, uh, it's the, um, the um, engineers, no, what they call the inventors at June Taylor, have, have, what they do is they paint this on and then they bake it, and when they bake it, it shrinks, right? So that all of these measurements are exactly what they should be. That is exactly an inch there, right? And it won't shrink anymore, so you can steam and steam and steam as much as you like on top of this, and it will not change shape. You've got the inches on the outside, so this is really good if you're looking, at, I'll use this book, say that's your block. When you put your block on, a lot of them have the, the numbers on the inside here, so you put your block on, you think, oh, I can't remember where I am now. Look, measurements on the outside. There's your centre at naught, so you go 10 up and you go 10 down, and it's 7 across and 7 across. You can put your circles on there, you've got your 45 degree lines on there. Uh, it's brilliant, brilliant. Now, it's obviously just this, you can use a pressing cloth, nothing on the back, right? So it's not a cutting board as well. £42.99. It's got a lovely canvas handle to uh, carry it around with. Or uh, I just hang it up on the back of the door so it's out of the way. It's not like an ironing board that takes up space in your room. Just hang it up and it'll stay nice. Well, uh, let's just think. Thick bonded cushioned layer eliminates seam edge impressions, protects and raised details of fine applique, used to block needlework and knitting. Everything that I've just said to you. Mark had a lovely time, just hours of walking, looking at shops and the occasional coffee, but no cakes. You can't go for a day out and not have a cake. Honestly. Oh, okay, I've got to give you a quick warning. What, on the kit or the patterns? Uh, any particular colourway? Right, okay. The owl, which is coming up at 11 today, is already selling incredibly quickly. A third of the instructions on their own have gone. Uh, the blue one there is the most popular one so far. Sorry, that blue one there. The most popular one. It's the most popular one so far. It does also come in sunset and autumn. I'm making those names up, I think. Oh, blimey. Sunset and autumn. It also comes in sunset and autumn. So please, I'm just warning you because it's a long way off yet. It's a two and a half hours, two, and four, two hours, 40 minutes away. And already it's selling out fast. Also the cave quilt. Most affordable cave quilt we've done in a kit. And, and can I just tell you, it's on, it's on split pay, but it's also one of the easiest. One of the easiest to make. It doesn't look like it, does it? It looks like it's going to be really complicated, doesn't it? But it's one of the easiest to do. Hold on. They're going already. Oh, no, they're going already. Just so you know. It's lovely, isn't it? Lovely colours. Right, now, we didn't have an early bird price today. These have got an early bird price on them still. It's funny, that, isn't it? They can't bother putting an early bird on the early bird, but they leave the early bird on the thing that's not an early bird. Uh, only 19 99 For 50, 50 clips, you're saving £9. I've lost my pedometer. 
Is that what you're saying? Have you found it? I put. I forgot to look outside just now because I got away late because Delphine wanted to smell the sewing machine. I put my pedometer, pedometer on this morning when I left the house. Just gone to get changed now. I thought, oh, just put my pedometer from my trousers I've arrived in to these trousers. It's not there. <laughs> um, on, on the Long River, look. Same thing, £32. £32. Exactly the same thing. It is a direct comparison. And says, morning, John and team. Loving the shirt. Thank you, Fiona. Says, morning, John and team. Sun just coming out in New Malden. Oh, how lovely. New Malden, is that the one near Wimbledon? Is that near Wimbledon, that one? Well, I'm sure we used to walk down. I'm sure we used to, I was at Wimbledon School of Art, you see, which is at the bottom of Wimbledon. We used to walk down to the leather bottle. I'm sure that was in New Malden. Anyway, 19.99 these are. And you've got what? What were you doing in Wimbledon? Oh, when, when she, Kat was on tour, she said, or were you just working at that theatre? When she was on tour, uh, which one was it? The Gary Barlow one? Did, we, did you do it when you went to Manchester then? Oh, because I saw it in Manchester, you see. Yeah. I've seen them all, darling. I've seen, I can't wait. Oh, now, remember I said about the Eddie Redmayne show and how the tickets are only £325? They do start at £20, but everything's sold out apart from... They've got ones for £150, but you can't sit next to your friend. You have to sit in sing single seats. So on the 6th of September, they're releasing the next batch of tickets. So I'll have to... I'm off that day. I'm off that day. So I'll be on that web website straight away like that. I can't pay £325 for a theatre ticket. And then Sue Pollard... She's doing a national tour. I know. She's doing two shows. She's doing one where she plays a lady called Maddie or something like that. And then she's also doing a Sue Pollard My Life in Theatre. I know. Don't know how I know that. 1999. Jackie says, morning, John and team. Looks like rain here again today. Pam Minihani says, good morning, everyone. Um, loose Women are on tour as well, aren't they? They're coming to Birmingham, but I think I'm away when they come to Birmingham. I would have liked to sing Carol. I haven't seen Carol for ages. Mini stripology ruler. <gasps> oh, cat. Hang on, no, let me, I'm just going to take these off here. They shouldn't tip over, but I'm just wary that they... There you go. So we're doing this one first, the mini stripology. Back in stock last week, I said, I said, didn't I, during the show when I did this, I said, cat's so happy. She puts these in every show. Here we are this morning, here they are again. The trouble is, what happens with all of the stripologies, the extra large, the squared off and the mini, right? We get them in stock. We buy loads and loads and loads of them. Get them in stock. You buy them all and then we sit here for months with none. So if you want one, get hold of it now. This obviously is the mini one for doing your little projects on. Six inches by seven inches. But again, you've got your half inch increments there and your one inch increments there for cutting your strips. Uh, and then turn it over this way. And you've got your quarter, three quarter, one and a quarter, one and three quarters. This, and then you've got your squaring off if you want to square off blocks, look. So you've got two, three, four, five, six. And then you've also got six and a half, five and a half, four and a half, three and a half, two and a half, one and a half, naught. Uh, you can do squares, you can do triangles, you can do hexes, you can do diamonds, you can do strips, you can do uh, oblongs. But only little on this one, only little. Then we've got the squared one, which is this one. This one's a little bit bigger. Most popular when they first came back into stock last week. Oh, it is between Wimbledon and Kingston. Our Kate says, morning, John. Only Reggie and I up watching whilst doing the work ironing. The work's ironing? What are you taking the work ironing home for? The downside of everyone being back in the office. Oh, I see you don't mean people from work. You mean your family who go to work. Jackie says, I use my big stripology to square off my flower blocks. Flower? You mean as in, do you mean flower blocks for me? Or do you mean flower because you've written flower like, like you make bread out of? Oh, and I, can I just say, I know I'm not supposed to do this on air, but you know my, the squares you're making me for Alma for the Festival of Skirt, right? So many have arrived and they're all beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. 
Uh, Jack, uh, Andy Lynn says, morning, John and team from a very foggy Aberdeen. Yeah, it was foggy this morning. Well, I wouldn't say foggy, misty, more romantic mist where we are. Right, so this is the square one. This is like that one I just showed you, but bigger. This one goes up to your 12 inches across and 12 inches up. So if you're squaring off your blocks, for cutting your strips, for cutting your diamonds, for cutting your everything like that. How much fabric is in the cave kit, please? Andrea, it's, I don't know, how much, I, I'll be able to show you in the next hour, but it's a jelly roll, a design roll, plus some pieces of fabric. It's mainly, it's all, all that, all that, de, I've got to give it, all that design is made from a design roll. And then you see you've got the fabrics at the back there. That'll be the fabrics, but I haven't opened it yet, so I can't tell you how much exactly. There it is, if you want it. The measurements are wrong. 140 by 175. Oh, hang on. Oh, Jackie says the flower blocks for you, predictive text. Kath says, morning, John team, loving your shirt. My husband loves it too. Kath. I've got a message from Shazza. Morning, John, fab shirt, prim iron, brilliant. Love the crafty twin in... So oh, love the crafty twin in Bognor Regis. I thought you were saying love the crafty twin, as I've got not got one here today. Question from Kerry. Um, I've talked down here because they've played with all the graphics and I can't read that, even with the new glasses. I could read it today. Morning, John. <coughs> I bought an Elna sewing machine from you guys, but I'm having trouble finding a walking foot. Do you stop, stop, stock them? Kerry, ring Elna. We do, we do normally. Well, now it depends which one. D did you buy one of the five fifty, five sixty, five seventy? We don't stock those because Margaret had that issue. Just ring Elna uh, in Stockport. Oh, they might not be open today. It's Sunday, isn't it? Uh, and they'll be able to send you one. You buy one directly from them. We don't, uh, we have the one for the, f it's funny, isn't it? We haven't got the 680 sewing machine, but we've got the walking foot for it, yeah. But we haven't got the walking foot for the 550, 560, 570. It's category B. Oh, well, I'm presuming you've got 550, 560. You need to work out which category your machine is. They'll tell you at Elna. They'll tell you at Elna. Uh, v does this morning, John team. Feels like autumn is on her way this morning here in Wolverhampton. Julia says, morning, John, from a very sunny London. It's like we've all... Oh, no, there's that big band, isn't there, of, of weather going across like that. And they said the southeast was going to be fine until later today. Then they'll get the weather and we'll get a slightly nicer weather coming in. Not that I watch Carol Kirkwood every day. Sextropology XL now. This is the big whopper that you all love. 20 inches across by 13 inches up. I had all, I had all these cats, so it doesn't matter. At 61.99, £61.99. £61 now, I know it feels like a big investment, but do, do you know what? The amount of people who've said, oh, I don't need one. I don't need one of those. Then they got one and they just think how to how did we cope without it how did i cope without this jill darren says morning john from tewksbury oh message from susan excellent and in, oh no it's not a message it's a fifu excellent and innovative project and asset to any quilters equipment from susan in kent there you go fifu five five stars so now i've got a book to go with this um, I've definitely seen it this morning. There it is. Oh no, that's crap crazy. Oh, hang on. No, oh, hang on. I've definitely, definitely seen it this, this morning. I'll do something else. I'll come back to that. Right, hang on. Let me just put move this down here. And then I've got this space. And I'll move that down there. Use that. What has? The large ruler block is sold out. We've got the small one though. There you go. There you go, made a bit of space. I know that that stripology book was here. How weird. Anyway, I can, I can even see it. I can see the writing on it. It'll turn up. 10.99. Ten pounds and ninety-nine pence, a small beech wood ruler rack with four slots. Ten pounds and ninety-nine pence. 
I know it's exactly the same as the big one, but it's only got four slots in it. Uh, put your smaller rulers in this one. Uh, Ten pounds and ninety-nine pence. Time saving that one. Isn't that weird? Anyway, here we go. Time saving quilt, two and a half strips, two and a half inch strips. Nine easy quilts. Well, either you've got your stripology to cut with it, or you buy some of the two and a half inch uh, design rolls we've got coming up later for you today. These are lovely, aren't they? Crystal. Spot on. Now, there, there's a little bit of a, a what it is, is you, you do the main design with your stripology, with your either stripology or your, your design rolls, but obviously you need other fabric fabric because the background the backgrounds aren't, or the borders aren't made out of two and a half inch strips. So you do need other fabric as well. At uh, midnight. When was I with Hannah last? Yeah. I know it's frightening. I can't remember what day it is. Sylv says, morning, lovely team. Graham Rainey here in East London. Good excuse to spend the morning with you. Laurie says, I love my stripology rulers. I was just using my small one yesterday to cut two and a half inch squares. Great rulers. Thank you. Jill Darn Darren says, lovely book. I know, it's a beautiful book, look. Look, beautiful, beautiful. Starbright, isn't that lovely? Little pinwheels in there with the half square triangles. Jardin Bleu. I'd say that was more Jardin Gouvet than Bleu, wouldn't you? Emma's got no idea what we're talking about. Stripping hexes, I like that one. That's lovely, isn't it? Is the stripology book under the hexy ruler, John? No. How weird. No, no, I've definitely seen it because I unpacked this. Just didn't put it all out on the desk, didn't I? Anyway, galaxy. I'd like that in a different colour, I have to say. Not too keen on those colours. Which fabric do you mean? What, the roses? Oh, you mean the, the, the one with the little shimmer to it? It might get a bit confusing though, right? The snippets, that's it, because it changes colour, doesn't it? Morning, John. Do you have any books using layer cakes today? Have I? Not today, I'm afraid. Oh, hang on. No, Dreamy. No, not today. Have a look on the website. Have a look on the website. Uh, Joanne says, uh, very overcast here in Cambridge. We've all got a bit of it today, haven't we? I think Kat's feeling a bit overcast today. Or, or overwhelmed. She's a bit fed up today. As you know, she goes for dinner with the family, lunch, Sunday lunch with the family, and she has to be in work tomorrow. So she has to be home and in bed and everything. They've made it later today without telling her. So she won't be eating till much later now. 8 99 I'm not going to tell you why. Ange says, my bad. Eyes must be funny today as well as my poor ear. Oh, Ange. Log cabin ruler here. Now, it's not a ruler. This one is a trim tool. This is a trim tool. Now, no, you have to apologise. But what it is, what it is, is you square off. This is only the 8-inch on this one. This is only 8-inch. You can do half log cabin, log cabin and courthouse steps with this. It's for squaring off after each round. Because what you do is you put the central one in there, square off. Then when you do round two, you put it in there, square off. It means that your log cabins are absolutely perfect when you finish making each one. This is an eight inch block only though. Quarter inch seam allowance on it. Oh yeah, yeah, you do, don't, you don't get me wrong, you do log cabins without it. This just makes sure you, every single block is absolutely, and every single round in every single block is absolutely precise. Because there's nothing worse when you do a log cabin, is there, and it all goes a bit like that, or a bit like that, or a bit like that. Uh -oh. 22.99 always very popular this one. 
So look, you see, you can do your log cabin, your quarter steps, your half log cabin. So it's not just one ruler for one job. Now, we have got a book on uh, log, ca log cabin. Use it. Oh, right, okay. This uses the six. Okay, this is, don't, you can't use this with that log cabin ruler I just showed you. This is only the six inch one. But, beautiful designs in it. Look. You see, that shows you how to use it. The principle's the same. I don't know why you couldn't use it with the 8-inch. Oh, no, I know, because the measurements for the fabric will be for a 6-inch, won't it? But once you've mastered it, you'd better work it out for yourself, wouldn't you? That's, I mean, brilliant to show you how to use it, though, look. But look, so, so there's exactly... Remember I was just saying, you do your first round, you put your centre square in there, and you trim, so it comes, in, it comes a perfect. Then your second round, then your third round... And then there's your finished courthouse steps. Oh, they're the same colours as Yvonne's. What's it of the week, aren't they? Of the month. Yeah, look. She's got that one across the bottom, hasn't she? The grass at the bottom. Good morning, John and team. The sun's out after a gloomy week. Hopefully it'll last. Isabel, it won't. It won't. It'll make the most of it. Make the most of it. Ian says, morning, John, from a very grey Norwich. Oh, dear. We're very grey today, if we are not we? Off out soon. Oh, you brighten our day. You're going off on council business. He's a member of parliamentary council -y person, you know. Yeah. Right, hang on. Here's all your instructions. Where's the patterns? Here we go. Oh, look. <coughs> I've got the most beautiful log cabin quilt on my bed that Jane Alcock made for me. It's just exquisite. It hasn't got little houses on, though. <coughs> but it looks like... How did that happen? I coughed. And all those, all those uh, clips have all just fallen on the floor. Welcome home, mini quilt. Oh, look! That's a bare bottom, is it, with some flowers on it? Pathway home. Oh, I don't think I've seen this book before. They're nice, those circle bits, aren't they? Legend has it that during the Civil War, log cabin quilts were used as signposts for safe houses. I knew that. A log cabin quilt hung in a window might mean the house was a safe place to stop. Without it, one would continue on with your journey. The circles on this quilt give it a more contemporary look. Oh, I see. They don't mean safe house. Oh, he's on church business today, not, not parish council business. Oh, yeah, um... Kat's mum is training to be a lay preacher. In fact, she must have passed her test by now. She is one now. She can't do weddings, but she can do funerals. Uh, and she likes the singing. She likes doing the singing. Are they allowed to sing in church now? Because when I went to Nana Kate's funeral, we weren't allowed to sing. We had to listen to Daniel O'Donnell on the cassette player. Well, I presume so, because the people opposite me had a party last night. So I'm presuming it's all, it's all okay. All three of Cat's churches are now open again. 80, this is nice. 1899, this book. I love that one. You see, you wouldn't think of that one as a log cabin, would you? Grecian squares, that one's called. That's lovely. I don't think much, I don't think they've got much bedding underneath there. It looks very flat on the bed, that one, doesn't it? Good morning from a murky Luxembourg, says Justine. They don't speak Lux. They speak French, don't they, in Luxembourg? What language do you speak in Luxembourg? I'm sure it's French. It's lovely, isn't it? What's what's Cat muttering on about? Oh, she's asking Siri what language to speak. Oh, don't, don't, because I set everyone's thingy off yesterday, didn't I? 1899 log cabin quilts. This one goes with a six inch log cabin ruler. Oh, French, German, or Luxembourgish. And I used to love, I used to love K Facet's quilt work years ago. I went to a fantastic exhibition of mostly knitted stuff. Don't you love it anymore? And. <coughs> there you go. Justine just said French, German and Luxembourgish. That's a, that's a language. Creative grids, non-slip crazy. There it is. Now, non-slip crazy. 
Hmm? There you go, I've got a picture to show you. A, B, C, D and E. If you want it. You can either do a four or a five piece. Now, you see, the thing is, right, I thought this is all you could, uh, I thought at the beginning that's all you could do with it. Oh, my word, just Google or Pinterest. Oh, my word, some of the designs that people have done using this ruler. Are incredible. I've got a book coming up with now with some ideas, but do go to Pinterest. Jacqueline says, good morning, John. Morning, Jacqueline. How's your handsome husband? 1999. Oh, a tractor's just got up. A tractor's up, everyone. A track. Oh, can I just tell you, you know, I was just talking about my squares. A tractor sent four of the most exquisite squares this week. Beautiful, beautiful squares. Anyway, what are you saying, Kat? Susie Duncan loves this ruler. Whenever she does a demo with these, they always sell out. Got them back in stock now. Nineteen ninety-nine. I've just seen, realized the time now. Yeah, it's nearly up. Crazy for more by Karen Montgomery. That's not a song. Oh, he's lovely. Thank you. It's our thirty-fourth wedding anniversary today. No one. He's a keeper, isn't he? he and so are you, obviously. Obviously, oh, so are you. So are you. He's, he wears lovely shirts. He wears really nice shirts. I met. I met, I met them at Festival of Quilts. So, a couple few years ago now, not this year, I wasn't there this year. Sixteen ninety nine. look. So you can do all of this from that book, from that crazy, crazy, six inch scrap crazy. Ow. 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 Oh, no one's saying ow, I said how. Look, look. It's brilliant, isn't it? Judith says good morning. You see, everyone's waking up now. Where have you been? Why, where have you been? Colour your own in. Lay out for your modern argyle there. I'm better off showing you these, aren't I? This is what you can do. Boo! Fun runner. I spy a match. Lanterns. Peppermint twist. Modern argyle. Spring garden. Beach balls. And united we stand. <coughs> Excuse me. I haven't even got the air con on this morning. I'm coughing already. I know when I came in, right, I went to put the air con on. Whoever had the air con on yesterday, I was in yesterday. No wonder we were sweltering. It's on 23 degrees. We have it on 16 normally. Rotating cutting mat. Now, I've not got, not got one of these open. Now, when yours arrives, it will be in pieces. You do need to put it together for it to work. See, this little bit here comes out. And don't worry that when you're not using it, the pieces come apart. It's because what happens is when you press down on it, that's when it stays still and you're able to cut with it. That's all. So you can turn it 360 degrees. I think it's a 12 inch of this one, isn't it? 12 inches. You've got your 60 degree, 45 degree, your 30 degree line on. You've got circles on there, 6 inch circumference, 10 inch circumference. And it means you don't, well, you can see there, you, it's very good for uh, decorating cakes as well, these. Obviously, it doesn't decorate the cake, but you can move the cake round like that. I oh, know. Mary's messaging. Hi, only found Sewing Street when you had the clearance sale. Oh, Mary, where have you been? Really pleased. I'm having to look down here, Mary, because I can't see the writing on there. Really pleased with the two orders I've had. We'll collect the third one in the morning. Oh, did you collect it, Mary? From in Bedfordshire. Well, welcome, Mary. Thank you. How come you just found us during clearance? We've been here for, um, how long have you been here? Because I was near at the beginning, a year and a half now, I think. Well, yeah, it must be, because I've been, I'll have been here a year on the 1st of October. I oh, know, where's that year gone? I oh, know. Barbara McClay. Morning, John and team. Lovely book, loving your shirt this morning. Barbara McClay, where, have you, where are you? I've had, you've, I've been, I've had you on my schedule twice. And I've come in and went, oh, she's not in. She's not coming in. Am I in on Friday next week? See, now she's coming in Friday next week. I'm taking um, uh, Umber. No, not Umber. What's, what's she say when I'm taking Umbridge? She obviously doesn't want to work with me. Anyway, it's fine. $22.99. Oh, there's a picture. Is that? No, that's not it, is it? Oh, it, is. it looks a different colour in the picture. Rotary cutters. Oh,
45 mil. Now they use, you see, I would never use a rotary cutter on dressmaking because I'm old traditional. Never even knew what, what one was until I came to work at a certain quarter. Barbara says, I do. What you do, what you do, as in avoiding me. Right, that's you. Blocked. When I get off here, she'll be blocked, don't worry. Can't block it. Oh, I could actually. Anyway, I won't. Anyway, look. 12 99 She was on holiday last time she was supposed to be on with me. I put my Facebook on. There she was having a lovely holiday with her family. 12 99 That's a really good price. I've got this one at home. I have this one at home. At uh, £12. I've got all... You see, I've got that one, which we haven't got today. And I've got this one at home. And I've got another one, which is the other one. It's like a darker colour. Anyway... Lovely soft handles. You can change it for left-handed or right-handed people. So it's uh, ambidextrous. She's on Friday the 27th, which I'm not in. She's on September the 27th. No, hang on. No, hang on, I'm reading this wrong. She's on Friday the 27th, then she's on the 7th of September. Am I in on the 7th? I'm in on the 7th, right? Then she's on on the 27th of September. I'm not, I'm still on my holidays then. And then, oh, the 8th of September. 8th of October, I think you mean, for the last one. We don't know what we're days we're doing in October yet. I love you, she says. She says, I love you. Thank you, Barbara McClay. You're fine, I won't block you now. 12 99 Then we have the 28 millimetre. This is for, like, when you're doing curves on, like, um, what am I trying to say? Not Busman's Holiday. What's the one called with the curve? Drunkard Pathway. <laughs> yes. <laughs> £8.99 and pence is your 28mm one. Okay, what's... So, this is what... Well, she's just said down there, talking of busman's holidays. So I was getting ready for... She was going to say, I'm going on a sewing retreat or I'm going to learn how to be a producer or something like that. And she's saying, uh, talking about busman's holidays, be careful if you've got Delphine's owl in your, your basket because it's about to sell out. Yeah. Morning, says Lo. She's at Rewind Festival. Lo, 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 have you bumped into Marilyn yet? You know Marilyn, who you, you'll only know this if you're old like me. Boy George's friend Marilyn from the 80s, right? Eight, Marilyn's a friend of mine, and I think he'll be at Rewind. 18 millimetre one now. Anyway, Lo's got her orange wig and she's there dancing the night away at Rewind Festival by the river. 9 99 You know what she's done? You know what? The Rewind Festival's over there, like in Henley-on-Thames, right? They've booked the space on this side of the river to put their motor home so they can still listen to everything free from their motor home. Then they get a little boat over to go to the festival when they want to go to the festival. When they've done enough, they come back but they can carry on listening to it from their motor home. Nine ninety nine, and I'm not sure where Emma uh, Emma Bradford is. She's away camping on her motorbike this week, isn't she? Nine ninety nine. This is the little one. This is mainly used for paper crafting. This one. Oh, home design roll. I've got that one open here. Oh, little Paul. Yesterday when we. Oh, we said. Oh, what, he said, I'll finish now. I'll finish now. I said no, little Paul. You haven't. Yeah, I said, we need to find these. I don't know where they are. Where are they? Where are they? Are they? So I said, in there, Paul, look in the, in the different section. Is this it? Is this it? Is this it? No, it's not there. It's not there. This one, you mean, little Paul. I don't know why this one's double bagged. There you go. He's got what? A wife and kids at home, has he? He should be so lucky. Right, this one, you get the same design, but three, d three, d three or four different colours. Very, very popular. I saw on Facebook that somebody bought the um, leopard printy version of this. Um, it sold out. I, I've got an open one there, Kat. Uh, but I think we're going to try and get it back in again. I don't know if we can or not. Uh, no, now. Hang on. Now I don't work, I get to watch you and go back to sewing, which I used to do years ago. Will keep me busy during the autumn and winter. No gardening. Oh, Mary, I, well, I still have to have Danny the gardener during the winter. I know. Ah, oh, my rose bed's looking amazing. I can't tell you. Anyway, I don't think he's singing. I don't think he's singing, Lo. I think he'll just be there partying. Anyway, look, beautiful, beautiful colours. 
Uh, it's only fourteen ninety nine. You get twenty. This is how yours will look when it arrives. Twenty strips you get for fourteen ninety nine. Been very very popular these. Very popular. You which one? Why is everything falling off the table today? Uh, which one am I doing? Oh, yeah, and that's a nine-inch one sold out. This, if you want to do half-square triangles, this is brilliant. What you do... Oh, I haven't got a square of fabric here. I'll pretend this is a square of fabric, right? And when you... You know how normally you say, make a line down the middle, then draw a line of quarter-inch either side, sew down the quarter-inch either side. With this, what you do is you line up that pointy bit in the corner there with the corner of the square, and there, and then you just draw there, draw there, that's your two lines done. Or if you just need to draw down the middle... You just draw, draw down the middle of there. When I first saw these, I laughed at these, but actually they're brilliant. Doreen says, good morning, everyone. Good morning, Doreen. Doreen, 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 Doreen. I'm begging of you, please don't tap my man. At 15.99. The which one? Oh, the one, the furthest away from me. You mean that one? I'll get it, I'll get it, don't worry. Which one? Now, please spot the deliberate mistake on this. We've sold a lovely ruler like this, this code, this price, that big, right? And then the new stock's arrived, and it's that big. And we don't understand why, because it's, it's the same price, it's the same price, but it's much bigger. Morning, John. Bit dull in Camden Town this morning. Karen, don't forget, four o'clock this afternoon, you said you wanted me to remind you. Anyway, look. It's a lovely little ruler, lovely little gift. <coughs> Doesn't... I, Jenny, Jenny, I know the song is Jolene, not Doreen. It's just a joke. I don't know. Anyway, 15.99. <coughs> She's done laughing face, so it's fine. She knows. She knows. She knows, you know. Oh, what was that? That was a, uh, that was a Hilda Baker said. Oh, she knows, you know. Do you remember? You have to be old like me to remember. $15.99. Dream oh, we're doing the do doing Dreamy Quilts book now. This is lovely. I did this the other day. We made one out of here. Susie Duncan made one out of here the other day. She made the hydrangea one. These are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful quilts here. 13, it's like, look, look, it's a pound a pattern. A pound a pattern. Mark says, morning, lovely John, great shirt, back from Llandidno. Went on the tram up the Great Orm. Oh, did you? Uh, somebody else I know is there this week as well. Somebody, um, is it Joe Carter? I can't remember one. Anyway, someone else is there. Uh, look, 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 look. Oh, look, they're in love, aren't they? To my darling husband, Tony, who always believes in me, you're my best friend and my absolute love of my life. Ah, oh, that's nice. Look. Right. Look, Greta Goose. Beautiful, aren't they? These are so lovely, these. And all the templates and everything are there. Mr. Thornhill, the baby does not come with it. There's all your templates that you need. Sweet dreams are made of this. Who am I? Look, it's got that kind of Moroccan -y feel, but lovely. The cut, look, 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 look. Beautiful, isn't it? I love that one on the side, the square in a square on the side there on point. Then this is the one that we made with um, Susie Duncan. Look, it was beautiful, really. They're very simple as well, not difficult. Poinsettia, poinsettia, Christmas. Um, what else have we got in here now? Let's have a look. Signs of spring. Well, we haven't had summer yet. My garden furniture's still not arrived. Thirteen ninety nine. That's lovely. Dreamy duvet. Oh, that's a duvet cover. That one, rather than a quilt. Oh, I'd never even thought about that, you know, because I don't like the quilting bit. Or oh, no, not not that I don't like it. It's the bit that frightens me. So you can make it, I'd never thought about making a duvet cover out of piecing. 
Candy hearts. Look, that's nice, isn't it? Uh, sweet scarlet. Actually, that's what you could do. Cat cats buying some new um, bed furniture. Because bed, bed, bed furniture, bedding. She wants that bamboo, though. Sampler pillow. That's nice to start off with all the shapes. Oh, there you go. Karen says, I'll be at the Arsenal game, but I'll be with you in my ear. I loved Hilda Baker. Very funny, wasn't she? Brilliant. Evergreen pillow. Christmas. Christmas, look. Christmas pillow. Beautiful book for thirteen ninety nine. There's all your templates. That's not the same Christmas pillow, Mr. Page. Bloom and grow forever. Wolf bed. You've got a message from whom? Winifred. Love Sign Streets demos. Learned so much, John, and ordered lots of goodies too. When I found your site, I was in heaven getting my crafting fix. Winifred, Alicante. You know, Mike and Julie have got a house in Albia. We, we land in Al we'd fly to Alicante when we go and stay there and just drive up the ca Oh, I'll come and see you next time. Who was that? Winifred. I'll come and see you next time I'm there, Winifred. Are we doing carrying on? I thought we were. Oh, it's a great big fly in here today. Quilt you can make in a day from Annie's Quilting. Does, it's not a challenge. You don't have to do it in a day if you don't want to. Some of the, I think what it is, the ones in a day are the table toppers, not the whole bed quilt, you see. So jelly jar runner. Oh, look, oh, look. Log jam. We just had that log cabin, didn't we? Could you see? Now, how big are the blocks? Oh, no, nine inches. No good with the ruler. Splitting hairs. Monochromatic. See, when I say monochrome, I always think of black and white, not blue and white. Paint chips. I could do some chips. Now I'm starving. Uh, my blooming um, avocado was brown this morning, so I didn't get my coffee, didn't get my avocado. Gentle waves. Zoo review. Oh, that's because I'm a zoologist now, you see. This is very, very apt for me, isn't it, this book? Leaf the caterpillar. Leave me alone. Unbelievable. Picnic season. That's nice. Strawberries and cream. Lovely colours. That's lovely. Charming chains. Exploded block quilts, just a huge block. Look, that'd be easy, wouldn't it, to start with that one? It's a charm pack. Cut Jules table runner. And that's it. Oh, Jules is in tomorrow, actually. Jules move. And he's quilting 14 projects, £8.99. We're going for a break. Coming up after break, it's this quilt. With Delphine, it is a cave quilt. It is the most affordable one I've done. The whole of this cave section that we've done, you know, like in the last few weeks, the most affordable one we've done. And it's so easy. It's so easy. And it's £99.99. And so it could be on split pay as well. I know. We will see you right here in a minute. With, with, no, not one. Three minutes. Well, it might be four because we have to wheel her in and everything like that. Um, with Delphine in four minutes from now. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. 
And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young, doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break. Uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well. And then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing, and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it. So now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway, I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet. Then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere. Browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals. And message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Time for Cave. It's time for Cave. Delphine is here to show us how to make the chilled quilt kit. Now I need to tell you these are checking out already. I've got two things to tell you. First of all, let's bring in the graphics. Isn't that the most affordable Cave quilt we've done this? Remember we're doing a whole Cave kind of festival since Festival of Quilts. I think the lowest we've had so far is £109.99. This is £99.99. You can still get on split pay, pay £49.99 today to pay, then pay another £49.99 in a month's time. That's it paid for. That's it paid for. Now, these measurements are wrong. It's 140 by 175, just so you know. I, I tell you because I just want you to know exactly. I don't want you to kind of think you're being cheated or anything like that. Isn't it gorgeous? It's called the Chilled Quilt Kit. Now, I've got in this box, I've got everything you need for the top and the binding, right? Everything you need for the top and the binding. Oh, you see, 
everything's in a different place now. Yesterday, Paul kept shouting at me, going, move it, move it. It should be here, you see. That's where we should be. But it's, everything's, somebody's moved all the tables and things like that. Groan, groan, mumble, mumble, mumble. Right, here we go. Now, this is slightly different to usual, this one, because you get a design roll in here. You get the hot, is this hot? I think it is, isn't it? Hot design roll. It's not hot to touch, obviously. So you get the hot design roll. You get the instructions, which Delphine's going to go through with you at the minute. Oh, now, isn't that fun? Funny, on the outside, the finished size is in centimetres, and on the inside, it's in inches. Um, it's, oh, now it says it's an advanced beginner, this. I just said this was a proper, proper beginner, this one. Right, so look. So you get, these are your fabrics, you see, you get your design roll, 42 strips. Was it 40? Is it 42, Cat, on the design roll, or 40? 40, 40 design roll strips. Plus you get the jumble, which I'll open in a minute, and you get the button mosaic. The jumble is for your triangles around the edge here, and your button mosaic is for your border. So all you need to supply after you've made the quilt is your wadding and your backing, right? Which I'll show you some we've got available in a minute. It's very, very easy. It's very, very easy. So again, you get the design roll. And, oh, they use more sellotape on this little, look at this. Normally, there's a piece of sellotape there and a piece of sellotape there, right? I'm going to have to move this desk in the break because it's, um, it's doing my head in. <laughs> right, we don't have this hot design roll available anymore at this moment. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Definitely, definitely. Did it sell out? Definitely, definitely. Right, okay. Uh, we haven't got this anymore. We don't have this anymore, just so you know. Right, but look, so these are your jumble in that lovely red and pink of these big triangles down the side there. We can show you those on the real quilt. Look, see the, the triangles down the side? And then, have you got a close-up of the binding or not, Emma? But it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. No, no, look, 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 look. This is your binding, your button mosaic, that's your binding. So everything you need for the top and for the um, binding are here for £99.99. And 99 pence. Uh, there, thank you, Emma. And all your instructions. Okay, right. Hello, Delphine. Hello. How are you? I'm very well. How New are you? New hair colour. I have. I've got rid of some of the grey. <laughs> oh, I am. I've, 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 it, I have it all blended in. Oh, do you want the greys blended in? Yeah. It? I do that as well these days, just blend <laughs> in the grey. It's frightening when I see pictures of myself before when I had proper coloured hair, you know what I mean? And it's like Oh, you're handsome. You're a silver fox. Silver fox. Silver. <laughs> he is. But anyway, thank you. Uh, Susan says, good morning, John. Everyone got up very late this morning. First time in months I've had a lie in. You take advantage, my love. And someone else said they've just received Peter the Bear. Jacqueline, I'm glad he's arrived safely. Right. <laughs> So, uh, it's easy this, isn't it? Yes, very, very. This is going to be a nice, easy, lovely demo. Perfect. All right, then I'll leave you to demo that then. So... Where do we start? Ah, oh, where do we start? Very, very simple. So, you basically, you're, um, there's no, you don't have to select exactly um, a strip to go exactly the same as this. You can follow it if you want to, but it's just a, it's just a random... Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, because some of them have got like dark borders on them. Some of them are just all pink. Some of them yeah. are. So it's basically whatever you whatever decide you to like. do. But um, it's like when I do applique or anything like that. You, you don't really want the same colours next to each other because yeah. it will just all blend together. So uh, you you can't. This is where you can be really random. You can be. Um, obviously, there is a couple that are quite. Uh, so say if you don't want really two pinks next to one another, you want to blend uh, mix them up a little bit. So I'm just. I'll just lay some of these out. And so literally, you just get all, all your design rolls out yep. and just lay them. How many do you need to lay next five. to each other? Five. So you put them in groups of five. Yeah. So I'm just choosing which ones I'm going to use. Do you yeah. think you use up the whole of the... Will there be any left? There'll be loads left. There will, oh, be, okay. some, there will be some left. Yeah. So I'm going to go... 
this, I think. Well, the thing yeah. is, Kat's saying, could you make it repent if you want to? You can't, Kat, because you wouldn't, because you only get two of each design, don't you, in a, de in a design yeah. role. So you can only make two sets the same, couldn't you? And then the, then you can make two sets the same and two sets the same, I suppose. Yeah, if you're going to do it on a smaller scale, you could do it matchy-matchy. But I quite like the fact that it's all a bit random. So. Laurie says, good morning, Delphine. Good you're morning. looking lovely. Oh, thank you very much. Carol says, good morning. Morning, Carol. I'm tired this morning. Uh, make sure you check out, make sure you check out your baskets. Please make sure you check out your baskets. So all you do is choose your strips, however you want to do them, and just, just sew them together. Okay. That's Any it. tips on how, because if you're doing them in groups of five, how did you sew them together? So what I do, I sew two, go mm -hmm. through, uh, I'll, I'll chain, stri chain stitch the other two, and then I'll get the other one, and then I attach it to the last one and put them together. So you do two, two. two. Then put the two and two together. And then the one. And then add the one. Yeah. Okay. And do you go in different directions or do you go in the same direction all the time? You can do different directions to stop it puckering. But um, I also, when, when I was doing the, my sample, I was listening to a podcast and I wasn't paying attention. I did do it all the one way. Okay. But it's fine. But I, I find if you just go in different directions, it stops it puckering sometimes. Puckering or bananaing as well. Yes. Banana. Yeah. Bananaing. Bananaing. Did you not know that? It's just... Yeah, I learn to it every time I'm with you, John. Uh, do, you, do you not know yeah. that? So, like, if I you just, were to sew, so the reason you don't sew five strips together way. in one row is because it's t you've got a tendency for it to go like that. And banana, that's banana, banana ring. Ring. I learned that from Jane Alcock. I only learned everything I know about quilting from um, Jane Alcock and the team from Sewing Quarter because literally, I, I, um, when I first started at Sewing Quarter, I kind of thought, well, I'll do the dressmaking side because what is, what is quilting? It's just putting squares of fabric together. It is. It? Yeah, yeah, but then you <laughs> learn so much you and how you can create a secondary patterns and third mm. patterns and there's all the different blocks. I didn't realise there was so much history. And now that interests me far more because I just find it fascinating, absolutely fascinating. A lot of it is that you learn, you know, not necessarily from other people. You just learn by your own mistakes, don't you? Yeah, you but I'm also sitting here, out. I'm just like a sponge absorbing everybody's, um, you know, because all, all, all our experts are so, you know, kind of expertise, you have so much expertise that I just sit here learning it and listening to it. So you're like a font of all knowledge, John? Uh, well, not quite, but I'm getting there. <laughs> uh, there's something wrong with your stitching. What's that? Oh, no. Yeah, it's, um, here we go. That's right, the bottom, there's something wrong with the bobbin. It's the bottom, my bottom bobbin. I don't know, no, that's fine. It's just, right. yeah, I've stretched it back. No, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. It Good might do that again, end, though. though. It might do it again. I'll just have to put it. There we are. So you can see, I'm not pinning, I'm just. Yeah. Lining it up as What I size stitch have you got it on? I've got it on a three. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's oh. a fly. Oh, did it land on your foot? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dear, sorry, I was nearly off like a rocket then. I thought it was a spider. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's been flying around all morning. I don't know what's doing under the it's desk. It's right, so I haven't got any shoes on because I don't sew with my shoes oh, on. So I just felt something on my foot. Sorry. Yeah. Lorraine <laughs> says good morning. Crazy Lorraine says morning to you both. Morning, Crazy Lorraine. Morning. It's early for you, quarter past nine on a Sunday. Got a message. Good morning, all. Sunny at the moment to join the show with two dogs, not us, Meg and Busby. Obviously spending, says Anne in John O'Groats. How are you, Anne, my lovely? Up there in John O'Groats. How's my room coming on? Is it nice and tidy when I come and stay? Oh, oh sorry. That's a <laughs> What's the matter? <laughs> the fly's thrown you. Yeah, it has a uh, You're going to Scotland, Cat says. I am. On I'm holiday. Uh, we're going to the lakes tomorrow. We're driving up to the lakes. That's all of you. Longer stitch. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to uh, the lakes tomorrow. Uh, Cockermouth, we're going to tomorrow for a couple of nights. Uh -huh. And then we're going up to Perth. To oh, it's lovely in Perth. Never been. I Never did. Been. When I did Rob Roy, we did a section of it in Perth, and it was lovely, really, really lovely along the river in Perth. And everything. Yeah, Very nice. so that's really nice. We're going to stay with some friends there. Oh, nice. So, Laura and Johan, they might be watching, so I'll say that. Um, so, yeah, we're going to Johan, stay with... Scottish, obviously. <laughs> He's Swedish, yeah. <laughs> so, she, uh, Laura's Scottish and yeah. Johan's Swedish. Oh, lovely. Um, so, we're going to stay with them for three nights, and then we're going to York. 
on the way back. Oh, very nice. This yeah. is in York as well. We're at York Theatre Royal. So we're, we're, we're doing the whole tour, yeah. Nice. So the boys aren't very happy about it, sitting in the car for hours and hours. Yeah. But, you know, just put a DVD on their iPad or something. Are they all right? Yeah, fine. Yeah, they've, uh, they've got to the play car. the fun car game, apparently. What's that? Make an alphabetable registration numbers. That sounds great fun, Cat. <laughs> Stitched on says, morning, Delphine. Looking forward to your demos. Uh, was at a festival till late last night. My son was playing. 3,000 crowd. <gasps> you see, I couldn't do that. I'm not ready to do that. 3,000 people. In, I'm bad enough with three of us in a room. Couldn't do 3,000 people. That's a lot, isn't it? Got a message from whom? Sorry. Oh, I oh, here we go. Bonada. Please thank Delphine for explaining the cutting instructions on the K-Facet quilt to me at Festival of Quilts. Oh. I've started cutting it, still a bit scary, from Hefin. That's a nice name. Hefin in Carmarthenshire. Oh, yes, I remember. Uh, yeah, she came and um, asked about one of the, you know, like the way they describe the instructions. And I actually just need a little bit of help. Oh, so, that's nice. Oh, so, so I think, well, send us a picture. I don't know if she's finished. Oh, you've, no, because she, no, she's still cutting. Oh, she's I'm still started cutting. started cutting it. Oh, there was, a, it was quite a, um, a lot of cutting on that one, actually. Yeah. But yeah, I'm glad. Not to on this one. Not, Not on this one. Because most of your cutting's done for you. No, this is, well, you can see why I wasn't really paying attention when I made this one. I just sort of went through it. That's, that's a bit better now. There we go. Yeah, it will, it will get a bit more exciting in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I have to say, cause the thing about Kate is, if you saw all of those fabrics on a shelf in a fabric shop, there's no way you'd think, oh, I'm going to put that black and brown one next to that purple one, next to that one with feathers on, next to that one with dots on it. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. yeah you start sewing them together and it just kind of works, doesn't it? And he really likes the traditional blocks as well, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. He doesn't have to go too too fancy with the design because it's all about the fabrics about with fabric, cake. Yeah, exactly. And you can see why because the colours are just so lovely. That's the 550 on pre-order there from the last hour. Delphine's using it at the moment. Now the thing about the 550 is please Google Yahoo or Bing how much it costs elsewhere. Yeah. So I'm not even just putting it random. Yeah, that went. You're not way. pressing then in between. No, I'm sort of pressing all the okay. one. I've got a little, my little way of pressing. Oh, okay. So, what? Ca yeah, we've already covered that one, cat. Thank you. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, Delphine's not using pins. She said. <laughs> oh. I wouldn't sometimes wonder what they're watching in there. It's really quiet today. It's really peaceful today. What is? The cat isn't. Uh, she's lovely as ever. She's in the mood today. <laughs> she doesn't seem to be. Do we not tell? Oh, you haven't been here long enough. Yet, have you? <laughs> <coughs> have you not noticed either? Oh, how funny. What's that? I just said she's in the mood and Cat went, yeah, I'm in a really bad mood today. And Emma was like, oh, I've not noticed. And you went, oh, I've not noticed. No. Maybe I'm just very sensitive. No, the sun's gone in now, John. Oh, the sun gone in? Yeah. Oh, no. It was lovely on the drive in, though, wasn't it? Who hey, what, Cat? I would say, Delphine. It was, it was a nice drive on the way in, though, wasn't it, this morning? It was foggy when I came was in. Was it? Misty, it yeah. was all sunny. Oh, no. I couldn't believe how many birds. It was dark when I oh, came in. Oh, was it dark? What you? time did you, you get here, really? We have to be here for six, yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, oh. we have to be here for six. The three of us are very good at timekeeping, the three of us that are in today. <laughs> but um, other people on the team aren't so good at their timekeeping. I think I got here today, the earliest I've ever got here. Well, yeah, because <laughs> Kat did say what time you'd be coming. We were all sitting with our feet up, weren't we? You came wandering in. I was like, oh, is it that time already? And like, no, she's early. And then Kat said, well, you could have come in a bit later, Delphine. And she was like, oh. <laughs> and I was, we was uh, up late watching a film last night, so. On the telly? Um, I, can't, I think it might have been Netflix, I think. Okay. I can't remember. Have you been watching Gracie and Frankie? Oh, it's brilliant. No. I've never seen it. No. It's Jane Fox. Hang on. Morning to you both. Can I ask what me? There's no such thing as a stupid question, Kay. What do you mean by sewing the pieces different ways? Right. Have I got a design role that's open? And I'll talk to you about that. 
Dave, wait there, I've got one over here. Oh, I'll go this way. Oh, <laughs> Where's that bag gone? He's What's the matter? He's, he's coming back. Nothing, I'm just watching it, just making sure that you're coming back. He's, definitely, he's here, he's back. <laughs> oh, did you not see? Did they hide me? <laughs> right. What we meant was, who was that question from, sorry? K. There's no such thing as a stupid question. This is obviously not K, if it's just the first one I picked up. So, are you, carry on, are you all right just carrying on sewing at the yep, moment, Duffy? Yep. You're not taking anything away no, from your No, no, no. Right. So, if you were sewing five together, so you get one, two. This is a lovely one, this one. Not notice these little butterflies in this one before. This is obviously it's not cave, the one I'm showing you. This is just, I'm, sh I'm just talking to you about the... Right, so look. So say like you were doing this with using this design roll. And you wanted to sew these five together, okay? Rather than sewing... Oops. Rather than sewing that one to that one. Also, I've taken it under the... Book. Right, rather, I haven't got enough room. There you go. Rather than saying that one to that one, then adding that one on, then adding that one on, then adding that one on, what we're saying, what Delphine's saying is, and I agree, you sew these two together first, you sew these two together first, uh, next, and he leaves that one. Then you take these two, which are already sewn together, and, oh no, I'd put that one on there next, and then I'd do that and put all five together. And then all, that way, we're all saying, sewing from, fr sewing from here down there. But if you sew that one from there to there, and then sew this one that way, hang on, if you sew that one down there like that, and you sew that one down there like that, when you put these two together, you sew that one this way up. Do you see what I mean? So you've got that seam will have gone that way. That seam will have gone that way. That seam will have gone that way. And then when you sew this last one on, you sew that one up there like that. Does that make sense, Kay? Does that make sense? No such thing as stupid questions. But that's, all we, that's how we all learn. And it stops it. If you sew them all the same way, sometimes it goes a bit like that, which we call bananaing. That Riley Blake's that one there. It has no price on it. Find it for you now. 49 99 49 99 So then you've got your lovely strip. Laurie yeah. says, love, love, love. Grace and Frankie. Heartland is also very good. I've not seen Heartland. Right, so Grace and Frankie is Jane Fo <laughs> Is it Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin? Right. And they play women of a certain age and they're both married to lawyers. Right. Right. And the lawyer husbands have their own business, right? Yeah. And the very, I'm not giving anything away now, because the very first episode of series one, we're on series seven now, the very first episode of series one, they're out for dinner. The two ladies obviously hate each other, don't like each other at all. And they're out for dinner on a business dinner with the two husbands. And the two husbands say, we've got something to tell you. And then she said, they're like, wives are like, oh, what is it, what is it? And they went we're in love with each other and have been having an affair for 20 years. So the wives wow. leave the husbands, they're very rich, and the wives go to live together in the beach house and the two husbands live together in the house house. And it's just a story of their relationship, of how they become friends in the house. It's very funny, it's really funny oh, as well. Oh, right. So and and they, so they have to live in a house together, hating each other, knowing their husbands are, are living in the other house, having a lovely time and everything. But then it's just the, the graduation of their friendship. But it's hysterical. And you watch it, you think, Jane Fonda's like in her mid 80s. You know what I mean? And Lily Tomlin can't be far behind. And they're like these two young, they're brilliant they're, and they sometimes have flashbacks and they've done their makeup like this so they look like they're 24 or something like that. And it's just, it's so brilliant. You've got uh, to watch uh, it. You, you're really excited about this programme, John. I've watched all seven. I've watched all seven. They've What's just it dropped. On? Netflix. Netflix. They've just dropped the first one. Thanks so much. That makes perfect sense. You're welcome, Kay. Oh, very quickly, a message from Janice. Janet, sorry. Uh, wow, well, thank you for explaining that. I always learn from this show. Love, love, love the demos. My husband hates me watching because I spend. Oh, Janet! Make, you know what the thing to do is? Make him something. You know the shirt that Mark had on yesterday? Make him that. Make him a lovely quilt. Make him something as a gift and go, well, if I hadn't watched Sane Street, you wouldn't have this, would you? Yeah, go on. Like that. 
But I think there's more than one fly in here now. There is, and it, yeah. keep, it keeps going past my foot. Yeah. Oh, oh, you've got most of your foot, we've got enough here as well. Right, so what are you going to show us now then? Uh, well, uh, you, there's, they don't tell you in the instructions which way you press your seams. Obviously, right. everyone's different. I tend to just press them one way. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if I'm going to be doing pliqué and things like that, I do press the seams open. Because it is a straight line, if you press the seams open, you could have that like little wobbly effect. So it's best to press them to one side okay. if you're pressing strips, in my opinion. Okay, no, no, no. Because we, we all do things differently, don't we? So it's good yeah. to know how everyone does so it. I'll just, so I tend to just like give it a quick waft with the iron. Right. First, only because if you go in straight away with the iron and you press too, too, um, too hard down, you could end up with a little... Yeah, Shall I tell you another story about that? When we were on Sewing Quarter, yeah. Joe Carter was doing exactly this and making a feather, it was like a feather design. Yeah. And in those days, they would give the experts would give us the iron, the pressing to do. Yeah. So they'd be sewing there and I'd be standing next to you here. Yeah. I pressed it for her, busy chatting away like this. Yeah. She then cut it yeah. and because I hadn't pressed the seam properly, there was one of those blip overs. Yes. So when she cut it, there ended up being a great big V cut yeah. out of the, and she couldn't use the, the well, never exactly that, yeah. yeah. So uh, that's something to be really mindful because I think, you know, especially if we're new to sewing, new to quilting, it's very simple to, like, oh, I'll just press it and, yeah. you, and you're ironing it all like this. And then you're wondering why your points don't match. And it's literally just, just taking your time just mm -hmm. to press it correctly. So, yeah, so I tend to just push it all over to the one side first. And also, and, just and the, the little wafting yeah. also sets the seams yeah. as well. Because so you've got to set the, the stitches that, so they sit into the fabric, don't yeah. sit on top of the fabric. Yeah. And like you say, you don't want that little, uh, it will uh, overlap if you don't do it correctly. Yeah. And I know it's only a couple of mil, but you know, if you keep thinking, you, you add it up over, adding loads of different blocks together, and then you've got this like big inch gap. So. Yeah. So, yeah. uh, Karen says, I'm starting watching Grace and Frankie from the very beginning. I think I'm in for a treat. Uh, Barbara says, I love Grace and Frankie. You see, it took me a couple of episodes, like that other programme I love, that I can't say the first name of, Something Creek, right? I hated the first four episodes that I nearly didn't watch the whole thing. Now, and then I, I, I sobbed all the way through that series. I thought it was so brilliant. And when it ended, I was the worst person. Um, but anyway, they both are saying, give it, give it a good few episodes to get into it and you'll be fine. No, I'll give that a go. I'm, I don't really watch much telly. The thing is, though, you have yeah. such a busy life how are you going to fit seven series? Because that's like, what, seven, uh, no, hang on. It's an hour each week, 70 hours. Oh, you would, you'll just, that's weeks of your life. If no, you, I haven't got that time. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a very nice, <laughs> relaxing thing to watch before you go to bed. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. Because it's a feel good. There's nothing horrible in it whatsoever. It's just a like make believe lovely series so, uh, so it's nice to watch like for half an hour then before you go to bed because i don't get much time with it because by the time i sit down of an evening the boys are just getting ready for bed because they're sat watching clocks and farm or something and um so by the time i sit down and you catch up on messages and emails it's time for bed yeah so well it's like here right we get in we don't finish here till three ish if we're lucky if the trolleys have arrived by the time I've driven home, bought something from Waitrose on my way home, made my dinner. Ooh, Waitrose. Which is the one on my way home. Waitrose Essential. It's more, more, more affordable than a lot of the supermarkets. <laughs> uh, but anyway, by the time I've got home, cooked something to eat, had a little bit of a sit down, it's time to go to bed and get yeah. up to, to come back because I'm working so many shifts here. It's not like I get any You have to get up really early, mustn't you? The alarm goes off at up as four. Oh, John. Have you always been a morning person? Well, I, I, no, not really. But when I worked in films, we had to be up, we used to just have to be on the film set. So when we were on um, Four Weddings, one of us used to have to be at work for half past three I in the love morning. That film. Well, yeah, but think of how many shirts had to be ironed every single morning oh, for that. Oh, yeah. When we did it, every single scene was a wedding scene, wasn't it? So I, I, was, I, what, I must have watched that so many times when I was a kid. Oh. When, when you were a kid? <laughs> when I was a kid, when I was a little girl, John. I was in the middle of my <laughs> film career when you were a child. <laughs> Uh, Amanda says, I've just watched this series of Frankie and Grace. It was over too quickly. Oh, Amanda, that's because they've only dropped four episodes. There's another six episodes to come. But they thought, because of COVID, it's a little, they're running a bit behind. They thought they dropped four now. If they call it drop. They release four now. And then there's another six of this series to, to come. So don't worry about that. Uh, they're filming the new Mission Impossible, not far from where I live. I keep meaning to go and have a look. Susan, they'll keep you so far away you won't be seeing anything. No. Kate says, morning. Great to see Delphine Brooks, mixed media artist, and John on the same <laughs> screen. Love the cave quilt. Glad I don't have... I'm not saying that again. I'm not saying that again. I made the mistake the other day. I went, Alexa, play Baby Shark. 
And everybody <gasps> had baby oh, shark brilliant. plates at home. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to make time, Karen says. Oh, yes, Karen, you must. If you've got time, make time. Um, I've done it. I've watched it. I've watched it. So I've not... I've just rushed doing that iron yeah, a bit. Yeah. Uh, but don't take your time doing your iron a bit. It's really important. But obviously, not when you're doing it on the telly. Okay, Let me get a... Oh. oh, which ruler do you want? Oh, the one oh. you want's not there now, after all. Uh, this one I'll have... Okay, so you've so you've sewn lo all your oh, lots of fabrics together. Does it tell you how many strips you've got to do in, in the instructions? Uh, yes, it does. I think. So you do five. You do eight of them. Oh, so you do you do sew all of the strips together because there's forty strips. You sew all. You say so eight groups of five together. It says here. Yes. Okay. Yeah. But there will be. There will be um, some left over. There will be some left over. So you just cut off the. Um, any of the bits. Yeah, put it in the bin. Put it in the bin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so so we've gone random, just picking whichever five you fancy. But I would, what I would do though, don't pick five and sew them together, then pick another five and sew them together, because it could end up that the five you end up with could all be pink ones or all be purple ones. Lay out That's the eight it. different five ones. And the what, then... sorry? No, no, no. I mean, don't mean all pink, all the same. Like you might get, you might get two with identical ones in it. And you might won't want that sort of thing. So then, you'll just do that with all of your blocks, and then you can just lay them out in a random way. That flies loving that fabric. It, it, it is, uh, and my feet. Yes. <laughs> Touching my feet. So these are ones I've made earlier. Right, because they're pressed. not ones you've just sewn together. These are all. So there's yeah. eight different ones. Yeah. And you just pick. Random. Just pick a few random. Yeah. yeah. But again, just be be random, but don't have the two. Like, I wouldn't have, for example, that purple there next to that purple no, there, no. because it would just look like one big session of yeah. purple. Also, if there is something along the line that you don't, it just doesn't work, when you've, you mm -hmm. can unpick it and move it yeah. around, can't you? Yeah, because it's, so, it's, it's like straight line sewing, so you can't really go wrong. Okay, so, oh, I've got an itchy eye. Oh, no. Ooh, itchy eye, itchy eye. Okay. Oh, well, no, we're not, it's all going wrong today, isn't it? Yeah, so let me just have a Thanks, quick. John. Now I've got okay. baby shark blasting out all over the house. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't have Alexa, says Susan. Karen says, 4.30. I don't know how you do it and stay so cheerful. We're all, that's why we're all grumpy, really. We're not cheerful. This is just a persona. We're not cheerful, really. <laughs> I've watched Four Weddings so many times. It's one of my all-time favourites, Ah. Oh. It is, it is. It is a classic film. And when we first started for weddings, nobody'd give us money for it. Nobody. Really? On a film, if you ring up and say, oh, I'm doing a James Bond film and you want clothes, a lot of the big fashion houses go, what do you want? You can have whatever you want. You ring going, I'm doing a film called Four Weddings and Funeral. No. Nah. We had no budget. All really? our wages were next to nothing. We all worked for almost next to nothing. And it was a huge film, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, and we filmed it in six weeks. Yeah. It was all for, normally done a film like that for a year or nine months. Six I think we weeks. did it all in six weeks. Wow. And it was the best we had yeah, such a It had the, time. Uh, one of the big, uh, longest one in um, soundtrack yeah, as well, yeah, it was, didn't um, it? Wet, 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 wet. And didn't yeah. have to, it was on for so long, they had to actually take it off. Yeah. So I remember that. Yeah. So when yeah. you were a child. When I was little. When I was a little girl. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. So once you've got all your pieces, you just got to put it together. Hang on, hang on. Where's that triangle come from? Oh. You get your pink one. Yeah. It tells you uh, the measurements. You cut, you cut a square and then you subcut it into lots of little pieces. Oh, so okay. For example, these are a bit bigger, but you'll have your square. I can't remember the exact measurements of in there. And then all you do is you cut on the diagonal to get your triangles. Okay. That's it. So that's the only. So you thing. make fourteen of the big ones, yes. and then you cut four little ones. And four for the little ones, which is this one. Oh, so you're doing a corner. Are you so I'm doing the top left corner now. Right. So I'm going to choose this one. So, yeah, I'm doing this bit up here, that, right. that top left corner there. Okay. Just up there. Well, I won't be either graphics. Yeah, doing that one. So, there you have you your square, have your block, and you have your corner. All you're going to do is so right sides together with a quarter inch seam. Now, it is slightly bigger. You'll notice that the little dog ears, I suppose, are yeah. hanging off the corner. It's not cut too big or anything like that. It's the, it's the exact size because you, when you come in, for your quarter inch, those little bits there that are hanging off the side, it will be a perfect flush finish when you turn it back the perfect. right way. So don't feel that you need to trim it or start with the, so don't start it here, for example. Right. 
with the corner there. You want it to be in the center and those little dog So ideally the, the best thing to do is fold your block with the lines in half. In half, press fold it. Your, pre yeah, fold your triangle yeah. in half and do it from the middle outwards rather yes. than going from one end. Yeah, yeah. Brilliant. So, but yeah, those um, will be sticking out the yeah. sides. Also, now is that is that long bit on the bias is the bit you're sewing on the triangle on the bias? Uh, yes, yes, it will be. It will be, but it's only ever so slightly. So yeah, uh, yeah. Even as uh, that's probably why they've called it in an advanced beginner. More than likely. More uh, than likely. Literally for that one seam. Yeah. I can't imagine oh, it being for anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just look at the cutting back then. I can't imagine that it's for any other reason other than that. Yeah. And that it just says make binding. So, but I will show you. How yeah, to no, that's perfect. Um, also, use a bit of best press. Use yeah. a bit of best press. Morning, De morning, morning. Delphine makes it look so simple. I'm glad I don't have an Alexa. I have <laughs> Google. Bernard loves watching you. Oh, is that the husband? Is Bernard the Aww. husband? Oh. Hello, Bernard. Morning. Bernie. <laughs> so how do? You, oh, I'm not going to. I've got. Go no, no, I'm not going to say Google because I've got that on here. I've no. No, no, because last time I said it, it suddenly started reading out my friend's phone numbers, didn't it? Yeah, but it also, um, if you talk about a certain thing, don't it comes up. Hannah in the it? gallery last week mentioned Bewitched, you know, the, 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 the TV series from the 60s. Yeah, where yeah, yeah. Now, her, <laughs> she goes like that, doesn't she? <laughs> like that, to do the, right. Um, now her phone keeps sending her episodes of Bewitched. Really? And she, she just happened to mention it when she was in there. It's scary, it isn't is, it? Isn't it? Good morning to the fabulous Delphine and oh. the lovely John. I love watching Delphine doing demos. I've watched Four Weddings so many times, I almost know all the words. It's an amazing film. In Casualty. Oh, hang on. Okay. <laughs> she hasn't been in Casualty. In Casualty, the last train crash scene was filmed just down the road from me. Yeah, we all live in a film set. Try living in New York. Uh, Lorraine, Crazy Lorraine says, I've watched Four Weddings so many times, I love it. Susan says it's her favourite film. Oh, now Susan's a bit different. I love Tomb Raider. That was the last film I ever did, Tomb Raider. I now watch it through new eyes looking at your costumes. Oh, yeah, but her white dress at the end wasn't, wasn't a success, was it? The white dress right at the end, not a very good... That was not one of my best moments. Well, in, in the film? Yeah. I'm going to have to watch it again yeah. now. Yeah. There we are. So. Right, OK. Yeah. So hang on, so you've got the uh, little triangle on the on there, the corner. That's the corner. So this is the top left corner. Now you're going to need your bigger oh, triangle. Oh, so you're building it diagonally yes. across the thing. Yeah, got so it. You should, yeah. But again, it's, I think that's the reason why it's just been called advanced beginning. Yeah, 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 yeah. So all you're going to be doing, so these rows, these you're putting them together. That in, way. That way. Yeah, because if you way. tried to insert the triangles later, Ooh. that'd be you'd have That's y, y seams, seams and everything, yeah, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. No, exactly. I mean you can give it a go like that no. if you want, but no. <laughs> so again, you get your you get your triangles, make sure you lay it all out. Um and then again it's just right sides together. So then yeah. this one you can line up this bottom seam here. And again you will see there that it does hang over the side, yeah. but once you've sewn over it, it'll be fine. But it's, suppo it's supposed to be like that. Yeah. Hugh Grant and Charlotte Coleman running up to Highbury Corner still makes me laugh. Must have so... Must have been surreal for her as she's in... She was an Islington girl, wasn't she? She's not with us anymore. She's not with us anymore. I know, we filmed that all... It was just fantastic. We filmed it all over London. Then we went to all those different uh, churches in the countryside and everything. And <coughs> we filmed it in the April... And that was the year, April, May, and that was the year we had scorching weather for the whole of April and May. And then as soon as we moved into the studios to do all the inside scenes, the rain, for June, the weather, it was only six weeks, but the weather just changed completely. And we got all the outside scenes done in the most beautiful, beautiful sunshine. And then it just, the weather just turned. Uh, Four Weddings was the first film my husband and I watched together. Still worth watching it. It's my favourite film from Elaine in Perth and Kim Ross. Isn't it Aww. funny how many people love that film? Oh, but it's a classic though, mm. isn't it? But, so uh, then, did you like, what was the next one? Notting Hill as well. Oh, I love that. Did you do that as Yeah, well? yeah, because it was the same team. Oh, so I it was the same that team film. that did Four Weddings, Notting Hill, and then I was supposed to go back and do Love Actually, oh, but that's the yeah. time when I, I was supposed to do the Bond film, the, the, the fourth Bond film, 
but I got offered to go and do this morning instead. So I said to the well, Bond people, I won't do this, the, the but, I'll, but I will come back and do Love Actually. Because yeah, yeah. that was my friend Duncan who was producing it, who'd been the producer on the other two. And it got to near the time and they were ringing me going, are you, what, are you starting soon? I'm like, oh, I think I'm going to stay on this morning. So I never went oh, back to the film industry. No. I, uh, but again, that's that's uh, one of my one of all those films. I grew up watching. I grew up watching. Them. Oh, well, well, no, 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 uh, well, what year was Four Weddings and a Funeral? Nineteen ninety four. I was twelve. Oh, oh. Uh, Cat wasn't even born. <laughs> oh, and I was thirty four. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, you both look fabulous today. Love yesterday, treating myself to the batiks and the variegated thread. Ooh, My fi favourite film of yours, John, is Notting Hill. Well, that's from Kate. Thank you, Kate. That one was more tricksy to make, that one, I have to say. Uh, all phones have microphones in and listen to your conversations. We can go into, s oh, you can go into settings and turn the microphone off. Ooh. But then will you be able to talk to people? I don't know how that works. Uh, Karen definitely lives in a film set. She does, she lives in Camden. She lives in Camden. It was always filmed crews in Camden, aren't they? I used to work. Angels, the costumiers, used to be just down the road to where Karen lives. Oh, you see. It's weird, isn't it? Because my friend Dulcie, who still does costumes, lives in the next village to me, Mickleton. Um, we shared a house at Wimbledon School of Art, and it was 40 years ago next week that we first met. Really? And it's terrifying to think how, how, how quickly... And I say to all these youngsters, and you as well, <laughs> how time just it's Goes terrifying so quick. when you, you, you kind of think when I was going to college a 61 year old was a little old man you know what I mean who like retired and everything like that and, and like I don't feel any different how I did when I first started and I'd already got a degree I'd got my first degree then gone on to Wimbledon School of Art afterwards so I'd started education even before that but you know what I mean it's like frightening that you've crammed so much I mean I'm not complaining because I had a fantastic career yeah, and everything yeah. like that but it's frightening how quickly that 40 Time years has just by. gone, you know yeah. what I mean? And, then, and there's Dulcie and I sharing a house in Wimbledon Park 40 years ago, and here we are now, like, two miles apart in, in, in Gloucester. Well, she's yeah. in Gloucester, and I'm in Stratford Haven, yeah. Yeah, because Mickle, yeah, Mickle, no, Mickle, Mickleton, yeah, Mickleton. Mickleton's the next really one pretty. along. Really pretty. I yeah. did a um, commissioned piece of art for a lady who lives in Mickleton. Oh, right, there's a lot of money in Mickleton. There is. I remember going to a house. It was, it was really impressive. Yes, yeah. Yeah. But, so, yeah, I'm hanging on her wall, though. Now. Not me, personally, my work. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, we've got lots of messages coming in now. Uh, Michaela and Kyle. Oh, no, I've done that one. Mitzi says, have to confess, I've never seen four weddings. What? But I love Notting Hill. Lou says, we love asking Alexa, Alexa what noise does a hamster make? I'm not going to say that loud because everyone will complain at me. <laughs> uh, Karen says, I recognise the last church. Yes, it was in St. Bart's Hospital. You're very... We, that, that hospital in St. Bart's and the church... I mean, the church in St. Bart's was used so often because I did a Poirot uh, film there as well. Didn't Pauline tell you all that you do another film or am I confused? No, it wasn't Pauline that told me that. Uh, Sue said it's SB. Okay, Marina's what? Oh, Marina. Marina, sorry, I'm playing. I'm, no, no. Marina was in, I no, which supermarket? I think she was in Iceland yesterday. Supermarket, the, the, the freezer thing came down and knocked her out. She really? Flat, it might not be Iceland before anyone starts suing me. A well-known supermarket. The freezer thing came down oh, wow. on the head. I hope she's all right. Oh, bless her. Crazy Lane says, how you feel, John? I can't think. No, I'll be 65 in October. Yeah, but you look it, Crazy Lane. That's different. Uh, sorry, that was a mistake, says Sue. Uh, Roxana says, I've seen Notting Hill dozens of times, but I've never seen four weddings either. I'm saving it. <laughs> uh, Crazy Lane doesn't look 65 at all. She looks like an inc incredible drag queen. That's what she looks like. Big and bold and very glittery. <laughs> right, so you've done the top corner. So I've done then the you top corner. Yeah. So, and then what you do, you, so obviously that's one, and then you need three, and then. So, you, but you many. alternate the blocks in between. Yeah. You just go one up, one down, one up, one down, so one up, one down. Exactly that. So, one up. So, you just arrange them all like this but make sure you alternate them all so just have a look at your previous row so you put all those together and add your triangles on the end until right. it looks like this so that's the one i made earlier on so that's the three one that you put so on that's there. the three yeah. and then all you do then is you continue to do them like that yeah. and then when you join them together the only points really you've got to meet is these little points here yeah um but again because the the, the, the fabrics are quite jazzy and mixed up so even if you're not 
But everything's on the straighter accurate. grain there as well. You've got no yeah. biases there, so no, you should be fine. You should be you know? fine. Just, but just make sure that you use the same thread, uh, the same foot, same machine, and then you're going to get the same accuracy. Oh, yeah, yeah, because because you've done those at home and you've They're just done that one the on this. They're not going to be the They're same They're not going to anyway, be the no. same. So that's how we put them together. I'd also be careful about, yeah. I know you've only done two rows, but you see how those the black and white shark's tooth is mm. quite... You've got three there, yeah. but actually in the whole quilt, you're only going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, There's eight of many. them. Yeah. So you just be careful. You spread them. Well, it depends spread what you want, all out. I suppose, but yeah. spread them Lay out. Lay it all out first. Yeah. Yeah. Because like you, you say, you put one down and go, well, that doesn't make look right, yeah. so I'll mix it round. Yeah, so yeah. lay them all out before you do any sewing at all, because it'd be awful if you had all those shark's teeth at the top and then no more no yeah. more down there, cause it's all, and your eye's going to be drawn to that bit all You'd the time. You'd lose the balance it? of it, yeah. wouldn't you? Yeah. So that's how we put them together. And mm -hmm. then once you've done all that, that's your quilt top, and then you're going to come to the binding. Right. And in the instructions, it says, make binding. So oh, That's all? Just that's says it. Make so I'm going to quickly show you how to Perfect. Have, That'd how be brilliant. Thank you. That's right. We got Because it doesn't matter if we go to the next act, because it's me anyway, isn't it? So it's fine. Hi, John and Delphine. Please could you show me what's in the kit? I missed the first bit from... Oh, now, how do I say that lovely name? Thiloshini. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Short <laughs> really Thilo for short. Uh, is that how I say it? I hope I'm saying it right. Thiloshini. Uh, what you get in the kit is you get the instructions. You get the... Oh, hang on, I'm in the wrong place again. You get the instructions. You get the design roll, the hot design roll. You get a yard of this for your triangles. And you get half a yard of that for your binding. So you have to have that as your triangle, you have to have that as your binding, and then all of your, your blocks are made up of that. The instructions do not come on their own, and at the moment in time, we do not have this hot one. But once you've got, once you've bought the kit, you could make it out of Riley Blake, you could make it out of all the different designers that we do. You could do it out of all of them. You could, you could do the cool design role as well if you wanted to. Do you know what? Do you know what I've got? I've got, I have got hot in fat quarters and in uh, the six inch. No, it's the, the six inch. Fat quarters and the six inch. Oh, I've got the 10 inch as well. So I didn't know that. You can make, you can make the back. Make, don't do the back as a whole. Split, do it with a pattern in it. Maybe I'll show you about that in a minute. Okay, so, so your, binding. So your bit's obviously bigger than this. I think you get quite yes. a large piece of this. So the binding, again, depending on how the, 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 the final finish that you, how big you want your borders, how big you create your strips. I tend to get, go about a two and a quarter inch or a two inch strip. If I'm looking at the binding, I think they've probably done about a two inch yeah. strip binding, isn't it? So, so we'll, we'll, do, we'll do that one. Do that one. Jacqueline said, when I was little, I thought 40 was old. I must be ancient now. Well, exactly. You do. When you're younger, you think 40. Oh, 40? I thought by the time I was 40, I'd have my whole life sorted, I'd have a house paid for, I'd have a lovely car in the drive and be living this luxurious lifestyle. Not little did I know, I'd be working still when I was someone older. There we go. So I've cut my strips, all the same size. And now to join them, if you join the strips at the ends here, they're not going to be as strong. Right. So, so to join your strips together, I mean, you can do it like that, but they've... But also, if you do it like that, when you fold, 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 you have so many seam allowances all on top of yeah. each other. Every seam, you're gonna, it's going to be bulky, isn't it? So what you, what you do instead, you can do it with a little bit of an overlap because you've got the other fabric to do it. So you overlap your fabrics like that and you're going to sew with a straight stitch on this corner here down to this corner here. And by doing that, when you fold it back, it will be one uh, long long piece of fabric but yeah. it will also be much stronger so i'll just quickly go and sew a few of those you can draw on it because you're not going to see it but yeah. i'm just going to do it by eye today and hope for the best there we go And you can even chain stitch these on as well. So you just take the tail of the, the fabric and then get your other piece, especially if you're going to be making a really long piece yeah. here. But uh, I only I cut this on the width of the fab um, the length of the fabric, so it was only uh, half a metre, but at home you have just to do it cut it. Do it from the width. Good morning, Delphine, Kat, morning. Elliot and John. Loving K fabric. Have some in the stash for a future waistcoat. Uh, Derek, it's Emma today. Elliot's had another day off. 
another weekend off. Oh, he's not supposed to. No, hang on. Take that back. Elliot's not meant to be in this weekend. It's meant to be Hannah this weekend, so it would have been Emma anyway. So, let me just cut those off. And then you cut those. Try you can say hello to him next weekend. He'll be in next weekend. So you just cut those off. There they are. And then you can trim off any excess. And any of your threads. Get rid of those. So then you've got that nice. Brilliant. And you can barely see the seam yeah. at all. And then, so t so you've got that, make, you know, you make enough to fit your quilt. Maybe mm -hmm. a bit more because you need a little tail. Yeah. Derek says, good morning, Emma. Tilly says, morning, John and all. Morning, Tilly. You found a house yet? Okay, so then, to make your binding, a dry iron. I don't really use a wet iron very much. Uh-huh. So starting at the end. They're back in stock today, these little prim irons. And then just fold it in half. Someone's used best press on here. I can smell yeah, it. Yeah. I'll blame Wendy Orlando. <laughs> so all the way along. So you want your iron to be quite hot because you really want it to, to hold this fold. And you want a really a quite bold line down the centre mm -hmm. of your binding. This is one of the things that I had to f first teach myself to do quite quickly because there's a quilting shop near me and I was just going buy binding and then they stopped selling it. And then oh. And she says, oh, we don't, we don't sell it anymore. You have to make your own. I was like, oh. And since then, I've, I've actually quite enjoyed making and doing the binding yeah. stage because you know it's nearly finished. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maureen says, our village is the infamous village in League of Gentlemen. Oh, Maureen. They all went to the same college, obviously after me. They all went to Bretton Hall College. All the boys from there. Uh, Tilly, no, it's much longer. I'll be in exile here forever. Oh, no. If it's that much longer. Oh, Tilly, I'm sorry you haven't found a house. Thinking she needs one for her and all her animals. That's the problem. There we are. So once you've done the fold, then you open it out. And then you've got your line down the centre there. Once, once you've started it, it's, I mean, there is, you can buy the little machines that do this for you, but. Oh, I see. So you do, you do your quilting binding like that? That's how I do mine. Okay. Because that's how I would, before I came to work here, that's exactly how I would do it. Yeah. But the quilters, um, some of the quilting ladies, just then, where you fold it in half, yeah. they just then put, keep it like that. They sew the raw edge to raw yeah. edge and then fold the whole thing over. No, I, do like I do it like you. I do that like yeah. I just find it's it's just you, it's nice and neat and tidy. And then when you come to sew it, it's yes, it's got that accurate line. Yeah, yeah. So then you just sew all the way along. But I don't just leave it like that because. You're so where do you sew when you sew it to your quilt? Where how do you sew it on? So I'll, I can show you a little bit on that. So well, to finish off the binding, I do finally finish it like that. So you know every single line is nice and sharp, it's straight, yeah. and it's all going to match, and you're not going to have any wobbly lines. So when you come to sew it on, I always start at the bottom left-hand side of the, of the quilt, because that's, your eye's always drawn to the bottom right. So if you're not confident in doing the join, it's better to have that Unless bit down Unless you're in the, the southern hemisphere right. and your eye is always drawn to the other side, apparently. Is that re really? Apparently so. That's what I've been told. I don't oh. know. I've never been there doing quilting. So. No. Well, but or yeah. in countries where you read the other way round, if you read, you know, because we read right to left. Yeah. In countries where you read left to right, they automatically go, go to the to other the side. Go to the other side. Lovely. Oh, we read right to right, do we? Hang on. We no, read we left to oh right. yeah, we read left to yeah. right. So the countries that read right to left go to the other side. Yeah. That makes well, yeah. that makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah. But yeah, so your eyes drawn to in this hemisphere down to the right. So yeah. start at your back left. So there's two ways of doing it. You can attach it to the front, which is my preference. Attach it to the front, and then you. Um, so for example, you line it up with your uh, your quilt. So imagine it's my quilting project. Right. I'd start. I'd leave a little tail, and I'd start here. 
and, and I would just quilt in that day. So you did it the same way as a dressmaker would bind exactly AC. Exactly Like same. I, that's how I learned to do binding. Yeah. Exactly the same as you. And then you fold it to the back and then you hand stitch. Which, uh, yeah. Or if you're, if you're not a fan of hand stitching, you want to do it really quickly, start it on the back, fold it over to the front and top stitch yes. instead. Yeah. Uh, Cherry says, I don't mind that way. The things you learn. Still in lockdown here in New Zealand. Just finished off two quilts already. So she's in the Southern there Hemisphere, you see. There we are. Uh, which, which part of the quilt do you look at straight away, Sherry? Do you look down there or do you look down there or do you look up there or do you look up there? You let me know that. Uh, Delphine, thank you very much indeed. Uh, Delphine's back in. An, and now I need to warn you about Delphine's next hour. We're doing Delphine's uh, Oliver the Owl, right? There are three different colourways, the pattern on its own. The pattern on its own is almost sold out. It, it could have sold out during this hour. I don't know. We haven't checked. But they have really, really, really selling quickly. Um, so if you do want that, please make sure you go to pre-order and get that. Right. This bundle here, you do get the instructions. You get the hot design roll. You get half a yard of the uh, button mosaic for your binding. And you get one yard of the uh, jumbles uh, for your... Uh, triangles in your corner. You won't use all the fabric. Uh, the actual finished size is just slightly different to that. It's 140 by 175. Please make sure you check out your basket. Yeah, uh, please, please, please be careful because Cave always carries on selling after the demo during the day. <coughs> Cave, Cave keeps carrying on selling. So if you just got it in your basket, it's not safe, right? Uh, any chance of getting the simplicity extra? Uh, oh, I'll ask, I'll ask um, uh, Derek. Uh, there's nobody in today to ask that question. Given up on my miniature quilt, says Julia. I'm on Delphine's, tr I'm on to Delphine's train now. Much easier. <laughs> right. Uh, 99.99, split pay. Make sure you check out your baskets. We'll be back, or I'll be back, in three minutes from now. When I've got... What have I got next? Oh, Cave, Cave Fabrics. We'll see you in three minutes from now. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Hi guys, I'm Becky Alexander Frost and I own a pattern brand called RJF Makes. RJF Makes is my initials, which is Rebecca Jane Alexander Frost. And most of you might know me as Baffa in the studio when John and Vic say our Baffa when I would message in. Favourite thing to make? I think people know me by now. I like to make bags, as you can see, I've got a few bags behind me. Um, most of my patterns are bags, um, however there is a few craft style patterns available as well. Claim to fame, I used to previously be on another sewing channel <laughs> with John and Vix and the team, <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> and um, basically I used to work alongside some famous um, pattern designers testing for them. What got me into sewing was my mom. Um, when I was five, I was um, standing next to her while she was sewing some bridesmaids dresses for me and my sister. And basically I asked if I could um, learn to sew. She said I was a bit immature, still immature by the way. Um, she said I'm a bit young to learn her words. And basically she said, maybe when you're a bit older. So my, when I turned eight, I basically learned to hand sew. And by the age of 11, I had my first sewing machine. I'm now in my late thirties, but still act that eight year old. My favorite tools or top tips. So I have two best friends. One's called the Bulky Sea Maid, which is this. And one is called Quilter's Day. This will help anybody, the bulky sea made will help anybody if you've um, got something bulky going underneath your presser foot. This will stop any stitches from jumping and basically missing a stitch. 
Now this is my best friend for when I would come to put in zips and you'll see me use this a lot, I mean a lot. Thank you ever so much and I'll see you all soon, bye! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well our family run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. So much to show you, absolutely so much to show you on the table. Look at all this gorgeous cave and fabric to go with. Oh, now I know that some of those are sold out, haven't they? Because we looked at it in the, in the uh, menu at the beginning. So, uh, if you um, if want to create something from cave, you've got a pattern of your own already at home that you want to make from, uh, or you just got gorgeous, you just want gorgeous fabrics around you. It's really funny because I was looking for uh, wallpaper for my haul yesterday, and it came up, while well, I was just Googling it, looking at different wallpapers, Cave wallpaper came up as well. I know. And then, then I kind of then started following that route down. And then I suddenly was not Cave wallpaper. I got into some wallpaper, and it was like £245 a roll. And I was thinking to do the whole of the hall, up the stairs, round the landing, and around all the bedrooms might be a bit too bit expensive. You won't go away with one roll. That's still pushing it isn't it anyway i've got lots and lots of different uh, design features here where would would you like to start hot fat quarter which is this one here now i'm not going to open it i'm not going to open it because i've got the 10 inch charm pack here that has the the majority of the picture the majority of the fabrics that are in here now it's 94 pounds and 99 pence i know i know i know but look that's still less than four pounds a fat quarter. Right, so let me put this in first of all, so it's not that. This is, there you go. 
So you get 25 fat quarters for £94.99. and pence. What a kaleidoscope of colour, says Kate. I'd like to be a child. It's like being in a child in a sweetie shop. I know, isn't it lovely? Right, so these are fat quarters. I'm just going to show you the colours on the 10-inch charm pack because that's what I've got open here. So look, beautiful, aren't they? Just stunning. Ah, so we're limited. We are limited. We're limited on this now. We're limited on that. So you've got jumbles. Now, some of them you do... do oh, no. Now, you only get one of each, obviously, because they're fat quarters in here. I thought we had that fat quarter bundle open. Obviously not. Oh, OK. OK. So when we've got the pinks in there, we've got that beautiful... Now, I always call that Dahlia, but it's uh, Damask, isn't it? That one's called Damask. Then we've got the hydrangeas. Then we've got the jumble. Now, isn't that the one that you just saw on the... Um, the background of that, that quilt. Then you've got the la They're beautiful, aren't they? There's the, sh the black and white shark's tooth that you saw in that kit. Then you've got your banana plantation in the red. Lovely, isn't it? I thought the, that one had the banana plantation in the black because it got the red one as well. Oh, and that, yeah. Then you've got your damask again. Then you've got your... Um, now, I did not... Grape. The colour of that one is grape. Then you've got your cactus flowers. Then you've got your button mosaic. Obviously, now, you're, you're looking at the fat quarters here. I'm just showing you the fabric that you get in the fat quarters rather than opening them. Then you get the feathers, which are just divine, aren't they? Uh, I don't think we are getting any more of the advent calendar in, Christine, I'm afraid. I don't think we are. We've not heard anything yet. Then we've got the plantation uh, one in the black. And we've got the beautiful, aren't they? Chips. This is chips. This is beautiful as well, isn't it? So you get 25 fat quarters. Have I got any fat quarters out? No, I haven't. Oh, my dear. There we got button mosaic there in the pink. Oh, no, that's the grape. That's grape. I got it wrong. That's grape. And we've got the jumble in the blue and the, and the orange there. Really lovely, aren't they? So those are the pat the patterns you get, but the, this is what you're looking at now. For your £94 and 99 pence, you're looking at this. Hot fat quarters, 25 of them. Now, like a note, 94 99 does seem like a considered purchase. I understand that. But do you know what? If you think of each of those, they're £4 each. Have a look at this again. £4 each. Beautiful. Lovely, aren't they? Really, really beautiful. Yep, ninety four ninety nine. I was just trying to find a, a fat quarter, just to show you the size of a fat quarter. Basically, they take a yard of the fabric. And they cut it down the middle there and cut it across the middle there. So each of those is a fat quarter. Um, they, and, and they, they, uh, that scene, in America, they take a yard. And in Europe and uh, everywhere else, they take a metre. So I don't know if Free Spirit cut American sizes or if they cut English sizes or uh, the West of the world sizes, but I'll let you know. Uh, the six, in oh, these are lovely. Now, I got to message somebody this morning, so theirs they, theirs had just arrived of this. It's the hot, the same range, the same range, but look, these are six inch strips. I've got single figures of these now, single figures. Look, this is what you get. This is one that's open. This is, you, yours will arrive all beautifully like that, right? This is one that's just open, but I love the fact that you get a six inch strip, look. So you really, really, really get to see the design. And there's so much you can do with that. Imagine if you're doing half square triangles. Nice, or, or pinwheels, doing a lovely big pinwheel with those, look. So you get 20 fabrics, you only get one of each of them. There's your feathers, you really get to see the feather pattern, don't you? Look, there's your button mosaic. Jumbles. I love this one, this one with the black background, here you go. Look, just lovely. Now obviously they're all going to be different. Because the next one will be cut in the next six inches of the fabric. So the next one will have more of that blue one on. Then you've got your banana plantation in the black. 
You've got your Brocade. That one's called Brocade Peony, that one. Then you've got your Shark's Tooth. Then you've got your Jumble. There, oh, there's your Brocade Peony again. There's your Jumble. There's your Hydrangea. There's your Shark's Tooth in pink and uh, orange. That's your chips. See, matches perfectly, doesn't it? And then you've got your flower. I can't never remember what that one's called. Moss. I thought it was moss, uh, something in moss. Anyway, moss apparently. And then you've got your button mosaic there. This one here. The background looks like moss, but I thought it was called something like floating carnations or something like that. I don't know, because there's one we've got that's the, that's got the same name, but they're two different patterns, aren't they? So I think it's just whatever takes their fancy, isn't it? So you're getting 20 strips. They're all six inches width. By width of fabric, 42 to 43 inches. Lovely, isn't it? Yeah, I'll show you one. Oh, hang on, I'll do the, I'll do the banana plantation in red. Because we haven't cut into any of these. Look, 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 look. There you go. That's how it works. So width of fabric, six inches. So now, if you got uh, that quilt kit, right? Oh, yes, because we didn't do... We, didn't, we, we had these two fabric bundles, which I'll show you in a minute, as backing, possible backing for those. They're not extra wide. But maybe you could do, like, the plain fabric mixed with some of these for the backing. Because it wouldn't be wide enough. Because uh, 44, uh, 100, no, it's cause it wouldn't be wide enough, would it, to go right the way across the quilt, so you'd have to pack piece it. Or you could use your charm pack, um, not your charm pack, your um, fat quarter. Or we've got a 10-inch layer cake coming up in a minute, which could be brilliant. Can I do those two bundles next? So, so, so if you got the quilt kit that we just showed, in the hour, I didn't show you these. This is a five metres of, now this is Rose and Hubble fabric. This one's called Amethyst. You get five metres in this bundle. Now, when we do these bundles, apart from the fact you get £1.50 off, which I never understand, um, but also a lot of people who haven't just bought the quilt kit from before, a lot of people just want the Amethyst in their stash. Five metres for £33.40. So if you've got the cave quilt there, No picture. And you want to back it in that. Do you know what I might do? What I might do, I'm just going to go to the other set, Emma, because I'll just show you what it would look like. So look. It's a lovely colour to go with, isn't it? Look. So if you got this, that would be your backing. That would be your backing colour. It's nice, isn't it? Just pick up, it's just that, it's, I don't think it's in, oh yeah, there's, there's some in there. Oh yeah, no, it just goes beautifully, doesn't it? 33 pounds and 40 pence. Obviously you'd have to piece this because this is wider than 44 inches. Or if you want to go more vibrant, how about this? Again, you've got your one pound 50 saving. That's, I think I prefer that one. Think so. Or what we're saying is buy this bundle, and, or that bundle, and then cut it up. Don't just put it, you know, kind of then. You could sew strips of this into this fabric. So when you're making the backing, you just have the occasional strip of this going across. We like a double side. Well, of what? There's only five of the six inch strips left now. There's only five of those left. Let's move that over there. Oops. I'll just put that over there. The wadding's going everywhere. Righty ho. Ten inch charms going. Now you saw this earlier. I was showing this off earlier. Oh, hang on, that goes there, that goes there. I've only got eight of these in stock. <coughs> Excuse me. Here you go. So there's your ten inch square. That's how yours will arrive. Right? You get 100% cotton, there are 42 pieces in there, 10 inch squares, exact 10 inch squares, and then those are the fabrics, the same fabrics you've seen in the quilt, the same fabrics you've seen in the 6 inch um, 
design strips and the same fabrics you've seen in the fat quarters. But again, if you just, if you cut the backing into strips of 10 inches and you just joined lots of them together with these in between and just use that as your backing, that'd be rather lovely, wouldn't it? Actually, if you sewed all 42 together, you got 42 of these. No, it wouldn't do the whole, it wouldn't do the whole quilt. It wouldn't do the whole quilt back. Beautiful, 44 pounds and 99 pence. That's everything from the hot range. Let's do cool next. I've got... I haven't... Oh, oh, cool, that's over the, Oh, hang on, they're, they're muddled up, aren't they? There. Oh, okay, so somebody's put the wrong labels on these, because this is called cool, and this is called cool. You see, that's also got cool written on it. I think it's our labelling. Those, let me put those down there. Yeah, I'll open those in a second. So this is cool here. So we'll start with the 10 inch charm pack so you can see what fabrics you're going to get in there. Yours comes like this. £44.99. And then these are the fabrics you get in it. There's your uh, banana plantation. A couple of those. There's you've got the Hannah hair. You've got your feathers. Oh, hang on, Mr. Atta Jumble there. Beautiful, aren't they? Then you've got your um, brocade peony. I don't know the real name for Hannah's hair, I'm afraid. Hydrangea. Chips. Button mosaic. That, I know that one's called grape. Look, I love that green. The greens in there are just beautiful. I I've, no, I've seen that by the half metre at all. No, in the green, look. No, no, that's what I'm saying. I've never seen it in the half metre in the green, no. I've seen, we've had it in other colours, but I've not seen it in the green. There's your cactus flowers. There's, oh, hang on, yeah, blue. Then you've got your um, banana plantation in the purple. Oh, now that one is in the, strip, in the thing below me, though. Then you've got the banana plantation in the black. Very uh, monochromy, that one, isn't it? And you've got your hydrangea. Please be careful, because they're quite limited now, these. There's your feathers. There's that one, which none of us know the name of. Button mosaic. So we've got to look up Hannah's hair and that one later on. Elliot knows who's coloured them all in and everything. Because he filmed the thing with Kaif at the Festival of Quilts and they went through everything. It's lovely, isn't it? That's what you... I'll put it the right way up. That's how yours will arrive, all beautifully packaged like that. So... There we go. Right, okay, so now in theory, I should be able to tell, oh, it depends where they cut it off, doesn't it? There's only 11 of these garlands, of course it is. I've completely forgot garlands, the nightclub in Liverpool. Then we've got the feathers. Garlands again there. Remember, these are six inches wide, width of fabric. Beautiful, aren't there's button mosaic in the green. There's a lovely green one there, look. Damask flower in the green, luscious, fresh greens, those, aren't they? And the blue, the blue looks lovely as well, doesn't it? Then you've got chips, oh sorry, that's what I said. There's you've got chips, then you've got your banana plantation. Garlands. Mm, look, they're nice, aren't they? Uh, cat's going on now about cheesy chips. There 
There we go. There's that one with no name on it. Button mosaic, garlands, cactus flower. Fewer than single figures. Single figures of that now. Look, 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 look. There you go. It's a width of fabric six inches wide. Have you got the shade card there, Cat? Oh, is that, we only got that one. See, with Cat saying what colour would I put with it, and I don't know if any of the colours I've got on the desk I'd actually use with it. Oh, sorry, I've just put the... Um... Brilliant. Oh, the shade card seen better days, hasn't it? So now, <laughs> no, it's not that it doesn't look too bad, it's just ripped down the middle. Uh, what colours would you put with these, you see? I'm thinking I'd still go along the bluey-greeny range, wouldn't you? You see the ice cream, is that ice cream we've got there? No, no, no. That was, what's that one there? That's not misty blue. <laughs> no, this... not on that card maybe you have I don't know what color this one is E V L J 41 that's spearm oh, I've got mint but this is spearmint this one see that's nice isn't it that's a nice one to go let me move the card out of the way 349 by half a meter look that works with beautifully with those doesn't it but then oh yeah Mm, that, not that one, or that one, but it looks nice with that one. It's up to you. I mean, I'm just showing you different colours. That one's called Spearmint. Not even, that's so new, it's not even on our shade card. Beautiful, let me just move that to one side. So this is cool, these are cool, remember, uh, yeah, cool. Right, so I've done you the 10-inch uh, charm pack, I've done you the 6-inch square. Fat quarters. Oh, sorry. So I did the, we did the, that, that's how your um, six inch thing. This is your fat quarter bundle. 94 95 Remember, it comes up to under four pounds a fat quarter. 379 a fat quarter. A uh, few, these are limited as well. These are very limited as well. 94 pounds and 99 pence. Oh, now prism. Prism's very popular, prism, because it's like a rainbow prism. Here it is. Oh, I've only got two, two prisms to show you. I've only got fat quarters and the 10-inch charm pack layer cake. Oh, we're going to start with the fat quarter pack. There you go. Look, you see the different colours in there. 20 in here for 79.99. Still £4 each for a fat quarter. How many of these have I got? <laughs> I'm going to open up if I could. There you go. I'm saying, yeah, yeah. There we go, there we go, there we go. <gasps> these are beautiful. Look at these. Let me just move this out of the way. So these are all fat quarters. I'll show you one open in a second. This one, you've got different designs. So you've got paper fans, you've got lotus leaf, you've got faux cart, you've got paper weights. Ah, oh, that's a different one, isn't it, to the one I was looking at earlier? Cactus flowers. Beautiful, because you get all the colours, look at this. The prism, because when a white light goes into a prism, all those different colours all shine out. Brassica, leaves, more brassica. Oh, there's two there. Crisscross. Look at the colours in there. That's a celebration of colour, isn't it? Right, let me open one up so you can see the size of it. So look, there you go. You get that much fabric on a fat quarter. Really, really beautiful quality. Stunning, 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 stunning. Oh. Colours in Prism. Prism is very, very, has been very, very popular. That's why I can't bring you a design roll or a six inch uh, strip in this one because I've only got the fat quarters and I've only got the 10 inch charm pack. 79.99. We also have the 10 inch charm pack. 
They're beautiful colours, aren't they? Such stunning colours. Cat say, please, please send in your pictures. If you've made anything out of any of these <coughs> in the past, please send in your pictures. Right, your 10-inch charm pack will come looking like this. Ours, however, looks like this. Look, aren't they beautiful? Paper fans. Lotus leaves. There's still prism, remember. 10 inch squares. 44 99 you get 42 pieces in here. I'd put navy blue with this colourway. Not a doubt about it. Or midnight. I'll show it on the shade, shade cart in a second. Colours are just incredible, aren't they? Look, beautiful. You get in the ten inches you get to a lot of the pattern, don't you? Gorgeous. I'd go with one of the, the either Copen, Navy or Midnight with those. I'll just put that on the top of there. Look. Cat's, put, Cat's got that one. I think that's Royal or is that Marine? SDLJ98. 86. 86. That's Marine. SD... Oh, it's an number above or below. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm reading it like that. It's royal, yeah. There you go. It's a bit confusing. Yeah, yeah, sometimes it's nice just to have... But I'd only, only if you were going to put it in a quilt, I'd just sash. You know what I mean? I'd keep them as squares and just sash in between, maybe. Or do half square triangles, half of that and half of the blue, maybe. Or do a pinwheel. That's all the prism I've got to show you, I'm afraid. Then, where am I going next then? I think that's one. Oh, oh, that's not parakeet. That's not parakeet. This, this is parakeet. This is your parakeet. Very limited 10 inch charm pack. That's all I've got to show you. These are, <coughs> excuse me, these are the most pastel that Cave will go. Hardly pastel though, are they? See what I mean? But the really more gentle tones. Uh, when we first saw that design, we thought they, Hannah thought they were mermaid's tails going out to a disco. Then you've got your crisscross. You've got your spots. You've got your chrysanthemum. Ovoid. I think it's that one called... No, it's called... It's called... I think it's called... I don't know if you can use that word anymore. I might be wrong. But it's, what's the indigenous people of Australia? How do we describe those these days? Yeah. No, not that word. Beautiful. Gorgeous soft colours, aren't they, in these? They're soft, but they're still vivid, aren't they? Look. Look at your feathers, look at your feathers in there. It's the only way you can get parakeet today is in this 10 inch charm pack, layer cake. Oh, now this is also, look, they're done in flower prints. i never seen this until the other day when I looked at it from a distance. Look, they're little flowers, little abstract flowers. I think it's called Grandma's Garden, that one. Anyway, beautiful, look. I don't know what colour I'd go with those. Cat saying spearmint, no. Only oh, yeah, she would she would put spearmint with those. That's too sharp. Mm, no, I'm kind of going down the pinkier route. I 
I'm just, who has? Oh, hang John, could you please choose me a top company? I trust you, says Alicia. Oh, Alicia. And what are you making out of it, Alicia? Let's look at the chart. You see, I think yellow would, a yellow would be too much, I think. Maybe a coral. Let's have a look. Or a rose. I haven't got rose here, have I? No, no not rose. Hang on, am I looking at the name underneath? Raspberry's too heavy. Maybe I am right with coral. Or blush. What's that? Is that one? That one's too hard, isn't it? Yeah, that one's too hard. That's magenta. I'm thinking coral or blush would look nice with those. They're available on the website. Just type in coral, that will come up. Hang on, hang on. Right, but then let's look at the greeny tones. Or no, no, maybe not green. I know there's green in them. <coughs> maybe a bluey because you've got lots of yellow in there. Opposite side. No. Oh, cyan's quite not. Uh, no, I've only got a bright. Sky, I've only got sky, it's too, too, it's too sharp, that's bright, sky. So it depends what colour, uh, who was it, um, Alicia? Oh, she likes blue. So I like candy blue with it, this one here. That one looks nice with them, doesn't it? No, I'm thinking that one though, cyan. I'm thinking cyan blue. Copen's too heavy. Yeah, science on the website. So it's it the code above you want there. OPLJ56. I'm liking cyan with it. But again, depends what you're going to make with it. Don't want any of that. Oh, quilt, a quilt, a quilt, a quilt, a quilt. Let's have a look. Yeah, th I'd either go uh, cyan or I'd go uh, coral or blush if you're going pinky wise. That's my own personal opinion. Hope that helps, Alicia. Was it Alicia Dixon? It was, or Alicia Keys. Both of them. Say that again. Well done if you got that. <coughs> Excuse me, £44.99. pence. Ten inch charm packs are the most popu popular today. I've got Emperor. This is lovely, this colour. Now, this is going into the deeper darker tones, the purples and the blues, this one. It gets nice, isn't it? Your leaves. Look, that's nice. Then we've got your brassicas. Your dots. Crisscross. Uh, this is one of my favourite. Uh, this is the one I was looking for. Not maybe not this colourway for wallpaper. This is the one I was looking for for the wallpaper in my hall. I just love that. I've got a Paul Smith shirt from years and years and years ago, and it was in browns and creams and everything. And very much like that uh, Japanese chrysanthemum. Is it what? Beautiful. D A U P D A U P H I N O S E O U S E. Uh, here we go. Beautiful. Cat's just doing a menu for a dinner tonight. Sorry, she wants to ask about Dauphinoise potatoes. Oh, look. I've already started. Have you not been watching? Must be nice to have your Sunday dinner cooked for you every week. So does your boyfriend not go with you then? Right. What colour would you go with, Kat, saying with this one now? 
You see, I'm tempted. No, not that one. You see, I'm tempted to go with this one, OPL J20. Is it magenta? Yeah, it's magenta. That's magenta. Um, I wouldn't go the darker purple. Um, right, I'll have to look at the shade card because I'm not sure. There's nothing on my table that I would take. Oh, Alicia, it's my, my pleasure, my lovely. You see, I don't know where I'd go with... Um, oh, I know. I think I might go... Oh, no. I want to say chartreuse, but it's not quite right. Lime's not quite right either. Oh, sage is rather nice with those. Right, I don't know if I would go with that one. I'll just check. No, cat, no. No. Um, you see, again... You see, cat spearmint's been very popular today. But you see, it goes with that one, but I'm not sure if it goes with that one, you see. So it depends what you're going to do with it. Okay, that's cat's choice, everyone. The spearmint. It's our new favourite colour. We've not got, even got it on the... So new, that colour, we've not got it on the shade chart. Spearmint or magenta. Oh, I like spearmint and magenta together. Maybe both, maybe both. Maybe. Depends what you're doing again, obviously, what pattern you're doing. Of course, yours won't arrive like that. Yours arrive beautifully packaged like this one. Here, here it is. How weird I couldn't see that. <laughs> I couldn't see it. It was there. And I could see it, but I couldn't see it. Right, which one first? Design roll. I'm obviously not going to open this. Same fabrics, two and a half inches wide. Which of fabric? Width of fabric. Oh, nice in focus, that one. <coughs> that fat quarter pack. Oh, where to put the... Oh, there's it. Here you go, fat quarter pack. Is this one? Twenty four pounds, four pounds a fat quarter. Oh no! And the shade card isn't available to buy because, as you can see, it's out of date already. This is the one Cat uses, and it, they change it every few months. So, um, well, it must be every, well, as they introduce new colours, they have to, don't they? You know what I mean? So it comes directly from the supplier. We can't sell it, I'm afraid. And also, Cat was saying if you had hers that she spilt coffee all over it, it's out of date because it hasn't got spearmint on it. Lovely though these aren't they? Seventy nine ninety nine for your twenty pieces. Right, where do you want to go next? Equator. Of, here we go. Equator. Ten inch charm pack and uh, fat quarter bundle. Ten inch first. So I can see the show you the colours. Okay, she won't be. She'll be asleep. Beautiful, isn't it? Delphine, if you're watching, Kat says, Kat knows something I don't know, you see. The project you're working on at the moment would look lovely in this. I don't know what it means, don't know what she's talking about, but the project Delphine's working on at the moment would look lovely in this. Are there enough colour differences in it for the project? The feathers are beautiful, aren't they, in the colours there? I'm thinking of... 
emerald greeny, I think I'd go for this one, because that goes with emerald green. The thing is, it's such an, is it subjective or objective? I can't remember the right word, but something that I put with it, you might be sitting at home going, ooh, I wouldn't have that. Look at that, it's beautiful, isn't it? But other people, you know, like Kat's just saying, I love, she loves my choices because they're the completely opposite of what she would go for. You see, now, if I'd first those charts, I'd, oh, yeah. It's quite nice. It's quite stark, though, that green, isn't it? That blue would be nice with a lot of those. That sky blue, that one. Oh, but then when we get darker. Oh, yeah, it still works. Oh, it's the same as my shirt. Hang on. Look at all the colours in my shirt. It's the same as my shirt. Look at all the colours in there. They're the same as the colours in here, aren't they? How funny. Oh, hang on. That one's quite... Oh, no, too dark. Too dark. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, have we got Apple? We haven't got Apple here, have we? Oh, they've got Apple on tomorrow's show. Oh, no, but I don't know if it'll work. Don't have to work, actually. Lime, maybe. Lime, lime. Lime would look, love. Look, yeah, lime. It's out of stock at the moment. They've just ordered more in. Oh, yeah, lime. I put lime with that. Oh, there you go, Margaret. Thank you. Subjective, open to interpretation. Thank you. Thank you, Margaret. That's your 10 inch charm pack, which comes looking like that. Uh, we also have it in fat quarters. £79.99. £79.99. £4 each. Last colourway in Caif. Ocean. Miss Oceana. Comes in your 10 inch charm pack and your design roll. Brassica, that's lovely, isn't it, that one? This is more Emma, but don't let that put you off. Beautiful, aren't they, look, jumble. Beautiful. Look. Oh, that's nice. I can see why Emma likes these. They're like ceramic, soft ceramic colours, aren't they? Lovely. Beautiful. So that's your 10 inch charm pack. And we also have it in a design roll. Same price. Which one are you going to use more? Oh, no, I wouldn't do that, Cat. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? So what Cat would do, if she bought that kit that we did in the last hour with Delphine, she'd now buy this design roll do exact same pattern on the other side to have it double side. Oh no. No, I wouldn't do that. I do, but I don't want the same pattern on both sides. And especially with colours that clash. Well, no, because you only better have, have two colours. You've got more than two moods. Really? Jan's with Emma's colourway choices. What can you put in with this then, Emma? I've got the chart. I'll get the colours out for you. I don't even know what page you're going to. Oh, green. You're going green, are you? Okay. Jade. Nice. 
would be a dominant colour, jade, but it'd be lovely. Baltic would work as well. If you want to darker, I'm thinking I'd go to pink. I'd go with bright pink. Uh, Cat, it sounds a wonderful idea from Anne and Chisha. Don't, Anne, don't, don't, don't get her going. We'll hear about that now for a week. Mind you, I'm only in three days. This Am I in with you at all this week then? Tuesday and Sunday, you know, on Sunday. Oh, God, so I'm with Kat on Tuesday and Sunday. Little Paul's producing me on Wednesday. It's bank holiday next weekend, isn't it? How did we end up working the bank holiday weekend again? Oh, well. That's all you cave. That's all you cave. That's all you cave. Now, somebody messaged in earlier saying they had a 10 inch charm pack. What could they make with it? We've got some pre cut quilt books here. What's that one there? Layer cake. There you go. This one's specially for layer cakes, this one. Brioni Greenberg. Modern quilts from contemporary pre cuts. Because this one takes, this one actually says your layer cakes, you see. There you see. The others don't say layer cakes. We've got a book. We have got a book. If you look on the website, and it's all patterns from, it says from 10 inch charm packs. Oh, no, I know what it is. It's that Jenny Doan book, isn't it? When she does all the different blocks using the 10 inch charm packs. Anyway, can cut your own pre cuts out of these, look. Here you go, the quilts. Summer petals. Oh, look, circle squared with your template there. Flower garden with your templates. That's pretty. Crisscross patches. Obviously, what it is is they've they've done the patterns using ten inch charm packs. Look, but then the white bits in between. You obviously have to buy. Oh, only a yard. That is, well, that's weird, isn't it? So it says. You use, te no, no, hang on, two charm packs. Does that mean 10 inch? No. You see, they, these are, you can get away with one 10 inch square because it's two charm packs. Oh, no, I see. There's, there's four charm packs plus a metre of fabric. Yeah. Merry go round. Where's your templates in there? Twirling windmill. With your templates. This is a good little book, this one, isn't it? Contraflow. Oh, that's an easy one to do. Effective, but very easy to do that one. Very striking. Because what you do is you'd use the, all of these blocks here would be your block solid colours, and then all of those would be your cave colours there. Then you've got shuriken. Shuriken. Stars and stripes. Giant's Causeway. Isn't that in Bristol? Oh, no, there's one in Ireland. Which one's one? There's one in Bristol, one in Ireland, isn't there? Causeways. Giants Causeway. Projects, more projects here. Placemats, table runners, bath mats, cushions, iPad case, tote bag. Oh! Yeah! Gerbera, fairy tale pins and things. Oh, there's only 12 of these books left now. I think they all sold when we did the, the star with that Cara. Quirky cube bag. Cara's in on Tuesday, everyone. She's doing, I've read it, I know. She's doing Helen Newton and she's doing a, and the soft bear cushion she's doing, that's what she's doing. Right, okay, now I need to get on because this, the whole point of this hour was Kat and I were discussing how we were going, not how, but you know, we, when you prep, you say, how are we going to do this show? What are we going to do? Are we going to do anything different? And I said, uh, we talk about face coverings and who's wearing them and who's not. We were talking about when you go into the supermarket, who wears the face mask, who doesn't. And some people just don't wear them anymore. I wear them every time I leave the house. I wear them when I come here. I've got them on till I come in here and I take it off and I do this. They all wear them in the gallery. Um, and... Um, we were just discussing it, and I said, oh, wouldn't the K, some of the K fabric be exquisite to do um, face coverings? And then Paul, who works in the office, he's the buyer, said, oh, John, we've got some stuff for you here. I'm, I'm not going to have time to make anything now, obviously, because it's sent to. 
But we've got some um, panels still. Now, the most important thing... Oh, she's already put it in. Look, I haven't even... Put, this is really, really a fantastic thing. Because when I first did, oh, well, it must be 18 months ago now, when I first did my first demo on Facebook of me doing the face mask. Oh, no, face masks were a bit later, weren't they? I just said, use three layers of fabric. You use your outer layer in one colour, your inner layer in another colour, because you know which one goes against your face. You can turn them, but when you're out, you know if you've got the cave on the outside and the plane on the inside, you don't want to be turning them round. And then you needed a third layer of cotton to go in between because at that time we didn't have anything like this. Now, Visaline have got this, right? It's cut off the bolt for you, so you can buy it by the half metre. It's 100% recycled polyester fabric. It's washable at 60 degrees, which is the most important, the most important thing, because you have to wash them at 60 degrees. So any fabric that you use, you must be able to wash it at 60 degrees. And I know I'm not talking after the horse has bolted because like someone else has just said, Susan, I wear mine every time I'm in town or the shops. Not 100%. I agree. I agree. It, it's everyone's own choice. If you, I'm not saying you're wrong if you don't because they've said you're allowed to. The shops even say, a lot of the shops say, it's your choice. My choice is I'm going to carry on wearing face coverings. It's as simple as that. Uh, definitely, what crazy rain went to a place with 3,000 people. I, said, I definitely couldn't do that. I'm kind of a, li a little bit too cautious. And me, I'm the most uncautious person in the world. But after all this, I'm still a bit kind of like, I think it's because for a year living on your own and you kind of don't know what it all is. It's just kind of like, but this is, this is, this is what I say. This is what I, my personal opinion. It's just total, it's totally personal choice. But you know what? You don't have to just use this as a uh, uh, as for masks or face face coverings. You can use it as an interfacing. That's not iron on. There's no fusing. It's woven. There's no uh, there's no adhesive. But if you want a really really good recycled uh, interfacing, sewing interfacing to go in anything used like collars and cuffs and anything soft. It's like a very very soft, but it's stable. It's very very stable. You uh, use it with non-stretch woven fabrics, like cotton, like cotton, basically. Just if you're just doing that down the, a button wrap or something like that, something where you just need a, you don't need it to stiffen it, but you just need an extra little bit of, uh, if you're new buttonholes, just an extra bit of um, grip to do your buttonhole, things like that, a bit of stability. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Someone asked, um, emailed in the other day, going, do you sell this? And we were like, no, don't sell that. It's, we've called it, well, they've called it the inner layer fabric makes fast. Inner layer fabric for masks, face masks. But it has a it has an official title as well. But it has been tested and everything like that. Obviously, you don't use it if you're a doctor or a nurse. It's not one like a medical level. But for everyday use, for, for like you and me, it's brilliant, this. And it's only 2 99 it's air permeable, it's soft, very fine. What am I look? I'm just having a look there. Yeah, the pores are absolutely tiny on it, and that's what you want. Especially, you see, I would put these, especially in the, these masks here that go like this, just the, um, the ones I wear on the whole are just a square mask, like oblong mask like that, because there's no seams in them. You can put them in the seam one, but obviously you're creating a seam then, aren't you, in the fabric? Two ninety nine, right? Before I go on to any fabrics or anything, I'll just show you quickly. I've also got these. That's cut off the bolt for you. It's only this wide, remember? Oh, Pam. Hi, John. Face mask still compulsory indoors in Scotland. There. Thank you, Pam. Thank you. Yes. So, I didn't know. I didn't know about that. But thank you, Pam, for letting me know. I didn't know. So they're still compulsory. Just, I just don't, uh, the thing, it's still with us. It's, it's going to be with us for ages, isn't it? They have, you know what I mean? It's still with us and it makes me sad. I'm going to do nose tricks very quickly. If you wear glasses, if you wear glasses, these are perfect because they just shape across the top of your nose, these. They've got an adhesive on these so you can actually attach them to the fabric. Yeah, more, and it's very important that when you've met, made the mask, wear it properly. Don't wear it under your chin or under your nose. It's supposed to cover. It's just what, well, in Scotland, obviously, you still have to. In Scotland, you have to. 
Right, very quickly, then I've got these divide, um, uh, these, um, what's they called? Cord locks, cord locks, silicon or um, elastic. I'd use, well, there's the choice. This one. Three ninety nine. Yeah, forty eight in there. So that's what twenty four, twenty four, uh, twenty four masks or cut face coverings. And then these ones here. Three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. Oh, now in Scotland, you have to wear them in Scotland. Schools have just gone back in Scotland. So I'm presuming the kiddies in Scotland have to wear them. I don't know the rules, but I'm just saying, I'm presuming that. Right, very quickly, before Delphine comes here, I've got, I've got four panels here. I'll shout out the number. NGUU73. These are 100% cotton. You can wash them at 60 degrees. These are your shaped ones. Uh, now, obviously, the white one is the lining, and the colourful one is the outside one. So and then you just slip your line. You have to make slip your lining. Now, the only thing I was saying about these is you will cause a seam in your um, in your lining as well. Don't press the seams open. Press the seams to the side. Beautiful. That's that one. Then I've got UCUU19. Oh, I like these. These are solid colour. There's only three of these left. Three of these left. I'll hold this one up, look. It's got the instructions. It's got the instructions on the, on the um, thing as well. I've got it upside down. We've had whole shows doing this. Rebecca Reed, Neil. Did they? Well, how to make them? They made them on jewelry makers. Well, who did that then? Oh, so there's no presenter presenter on. Oh, Zena, Zena. Right, so then these ones are your monochrome. These are for your, the ones, people who don't like the bright colours. Cat gets these. You see, I wear ones like that made out of fabric like this and everything because you want to make a feature of them. I don't know. No, the whole point was, we were saying, how brilliant to make them out of the cave because you've got the pattern piece there. One of the 10-inch charm packs would be ideal or the fat quarters. Final TDU 28. These are the florals. If you made them out of cave, I'm not saying don't buy this, but if you did make them out of cave, imagine when you go to your craft fair or you go, you go to um, Yvonne's Quilt Fair in um, Ireland next week, in uh, Belfast next week. Make them with your liberty. Yeah, exactly. What Yvonne's thing? I know, so isn't it the first to the third or something like that in Belfast? Making a mask in lovely fabric makes it nice to wear for me, more cheerful than a plain disposable one, and eco friendly as can be washed. Exactly, Kate. Um, now, don't ask Sally, if any of you bump into Sally Stevens around the Worcestershire area, don't look too closely at her mask. I'm saying nothing else. A friend of hers has got some, bought some fabric, didn't look at the print on the fabric. Yes, exactly. How did you know that? That's exactly what it's got on it. Anyway, I've got to go. I've got to go. Delphine's coming up next now. She's doing the cushion, right? Uh, how are we doing with the pattern on its own? There are 10 of the pattern on its own left. Comes in three colourways. The blue colourway for Oliver. Half the stock of those have gone. It comes with the dark blue background fabric and the panel with the strips on to make his face. A third of the stock of autumn has gone, which I haven't got a picture of. And uh, what's the other colour? Sunrise, sunset, sunset. Very popular. Right, OK, uh, we're going for a break now. We will see you with Delphine uh, straight after this. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, 
click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Hello everyone, my name is Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire, then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making. Oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new. And I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it. And you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. And I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app 
onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Hello everyone, I'm Delphine Brooks. It's so great to be here and part of the Sewing Street family. I'm local, I'm only down the road in uh, Warwickshire. Uh, I started sewing many years ago uh, when I was very young doing uh, lots of art and painting and eventually I went into textiles and I really enjoyed doing the two together. I had then had a bit of a break, uh, something you don't know about me maybe is that I spent many years in the Royal Air Force and eventually in uh, the police as well and then I went full circle and I've come back to uh, my happy place of sewing and uh, which I really enjoy. Uh, my be best sewing tip is measure twice and cut once. I have chipped up a couple of times by uh, not measuring properly and I do always regret it so now I always measure twice, cut once. Anyway I really hope to be with you again soon and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. Now, I don't want to add any undue stress or any tension or anything like that, but this hour is absolutely selling before we've even shown you anything. Uh, instructions on their own first. How many have I got left? Eight. I've got eight of the instructions on their own first. Nine ninety nine. Now, now, I need to point something out. You do get all of the templates in here that you need. No, 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 no. I think it's only right that you know. You get everything you need. This is not to scale. This is your placement guide. But you do get all of the templates that you need to do the whole of the cushion, fa the Oliver's face on the cushion. Nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Applique owl cushion instructions. These are going to go. Okay, there are 50 people put it in their basket for four. So it'll be the next four to check out. Right, let's now do the complete kit for the blue one. It's moved half the stock. Okay, there's something wrong here. I, oh, I'll tell you in a minute. Okay, this is 9 99 Right, okay, well, we'll just carry on, we'll carry on. 21, you'll, you'll pay $21.99. Uh, right, so you get the instructions, which we know are $9.99. You get half a metre of, is that midnight? Yeah, which we know is three seventy-five. dollars right? And then you get this, which in my opinion should be $24.99 anyway, but it would easily, on a normal day, so, oh, there you go, sells for $19.99. So there's something gone dreadfully wrong there. $9.99. Nineteen ninety nine. Is it three fifty this or three forty nine? Somebody's missed it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You you just buy it. Check out. There's nothing they can do about it once you bought it and checked out. Well, hang on. Nineteen ninety nine. So that's twenty pounds. Tenner. That's thirty pounds. Thirty three pounds. This should be. It's what? Yeah, thirty three pounds. Right, I have no idea why it's twenty one ninety nine. No, but I mean, oh, the thing is, Delphine's patterns always sell, right? Delphine's patterns always sell out, right? No, no, thirty but for twenty one ninety nine. You know that that's a really good deal. You know that's a fantastic deal, don't you? For twenty one ninety nine. Don't please don't worry because Delphine doesn't lose out on it. Delphine will not lose out a penny on this. Don't be thinking, oh, poor old Delphine. Nope, she'll be paid what she's due on this. So don't you worry. But you get this, the panel, this beautiful panel of the two and a half inch strips. You get the instructions and you get half a metre of the midnight fabric. Yeah, uh, now what we're also saying is buy a cave, but with the money you're saving, put it towards a cave design role. And you can make this in cave as well, couldn't you? Because once you've got everything. Oh, are you cat indeed? I'll ask the expert that. <laughs> Do I have a lot of the design, this design roll left over? Loads and loads of it. And loads yeah. and loads of it. Twenty-one ninety-nine. That's a rid. Uh, oh, how far up Delphine's list is the rabbit hair? Pretty please. You've done one, haven't you? Mm, 
Yeah. You did half of the hair, didn't you? What was that I've one? I've done two. Tighten hairs. How's it going? <laughs> no, I've done a couple of hairs. I can do another one. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Says Claire <laughs> makes little felt. Um, right, okay. Oh, no, were you watching Cats very... Str I did see, yes. Because I don't know what this new... You don't have to say anything, but I don't know what the new make is. Cat obviously knows something I yeah, don't. But she, yeah. It came out and she went, oh, oh tell Delphine, tell Delphine, this will be perfect. Right, twenty one ninety nine. this is your blue. How many left? There are only 20 of those left. Where, where, yes, well, what percentage is that? I can't think. Anyway, there's loads and loads of those. Please be careful if you've got any basket. I haven't even shown you these, the patterns on here, have I? Look. It ombres through from the darker blue to the paler blue. Each one has a pattern on it. Look. Well, you can buy the panel on its own in a minute. <laughs> right. Okay. Oh, no. Right. There's 15 of those left now. We had the biggest stock of the blue ones, just so you know. Right. Okay. So, now I'm going to autumn which is this one, so you get a cream, no, vanilla, vanilla. You get half a metre of vanilla, well, let's say, get 21 now, time. Half a metre of vanilla, the instructions, and then these. Now, this is the one you're going to be seeing de um, demonstrated. Beautiful. Now, Delphine has done an owl flying on the quilt before. This was the most popular colourway when she did it. 21.99. Now, you'd think, if you just tuned in, you'd think, well, 21.99 for that panel, that's good. That's good. But no, you get half a metre vanilla and you get Delphine's instructions with every template that you need to do the project. And the half metre, well, how big does a cushion end up at? 18 inches. Um, because the back of your cushion, you've used strips, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I just use leftovers of that. Yeah. But you could use the back of that if you yeah. want. Oh, no. How much that's left over? Oh, loads. Is there enough to so make a second one? Easily. And right. the back of So not only yeah. is it twenty one ninety nine, you could do an owl on there and an owl on there. Then you just have to use something from your stash, wouldn't you, then, yeah. to, to, do yeah. the, to do the backing of your cushion? Yeah. Just saying. Just saying. I'll get into trouble, but just saying. You can make two of these out of what we're supplying now. You just have to supply another fabric. For, you're going to make cushions for the back of the fabric, uh, for the back of the cushion. <gasps> there you go. Half the stock's gone. And I didn't have as many of these as the blue one. How many of these did I have, Kat? Oh, no, not as many of these as the blue one. <laughs> okay, right. If we had the same amount of blue ones we had of this one, the blue one would have sold out by now. That's what we're trying to, yeah, she's, uh, what she's trying to say. She's trying to say it's very busy. Right, the phone lines are, are really busy. There's a small wait. They do know, they do know they're always ready. They've always had their tea break before Delphine comes on because they know how busy it is. So if you're on the phone line, please stay where you are. Please stay where you are. Don't put the phone down, whatever you do. Right, now, uh, this one, I think, might be my favourite. We're not going to see this one being cut no, up or anything, no, are we? It's, um, I love this one. So, oh, no, I need that. So you get the instructions, you get like a, it's not sky that, is it? Like powder, powder, that's powder blue background on that one. Do you know what I think would look love? this would look lovely on? Like the natural seeded cotton or calico colour would look lovely yeah. on the back of this one, wouldn't it? Not the Osnaberg, not, you could put it on the Osnaberg, but just the natural seeded cotton. <gasps> look, I love these colours. You see, I think of owls as being fiery and wise. If you actually see colours of owls, you'll see a lot of those colours within that, when you get close to in their feathers and everything. Beautiful, aren't they? This is sunset. You get 21 99 again. So you do get that, you do get that, and you do get that. And if you don't like the pale blue with it, I think it's lovely. If you don't like the pale blue with the powder blue, put that in your stash. We've all got a half a metre of fabric or a fat quarter. If you're just making one, you only need a fat quarter, don't you? So you could use, put it on cream. You could put it on a, a kind of a natural tone if you wanted to. I'm wondering what it, mm, just thinking there. But, or your brunette, you know, your brunette colour would look amazing on the brunette, wouldn't it, that we had in the last hour. Have a look on the website for those colours. Anyway, anyway, look, I've got to get on because we've got to get more sewing. Panels on there and I'll do this one first. Right, okay, this is where you have to look, right? So for 21 99 you get the panel, you get the instructions, you get £3.45 worth of fabric. Panel on its own, please. 
See, I'm saying nothing. I'm saying nothing. They're lovely panels and they're worth every penny at 19 99 Completely not exclusive to us at Sewing Street. And on a normal day, I'd be shouting and screaming about how brilliant it is. They are. They're absolutely beautiful. But if you bought the bundle, I've not seen these, either three, or any of these at all before. Oh, they were, so they, they, these panels are actually from when they launched Sewing Street, right at the very beginning in the old studio, before I even was a glint in their eye. 19, now, it's brilliant. It is brilliant for 19.99. But, I, or, or you want to make more. You want to make more. But I just think the kit. Did you just see somebody there? I've just seen somebody standing there. What? On the screen then, there was somebody standing there, wasn't there? Don't say that. Oh, Andrew's <sighs> here with me today. Anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. Right, before I go any further, what's your angel policy, Delphi? Oh. We'll talk about angels. Oh, no, that's really freaked me out now. Oh, sorry. Uh, um, oh, uh, angel policy. Um, just, if you want to make to sell, fine. I've got no problem with that. Yeah. Um, just... As long as you just don't say the pattern's yours. Right, okay. Yeah. So what we ask you to do is you can make as many as you want and sell them on, make mm. money on them, do whatever you want to with them. Don't pass the pattern on to somebody else mm. and just say, oh, it's a Delphine Brooks original. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, selling, sharing patterns is, you know. Yeah. Okay, right. Other, bun uh, other panels that... Oh, blue next. Blue, sorry. Oh, the blue kit has sold out. The blue kit has sold out. You can get the panel on its own if you want to, and the instructions on its own. But if you buy the panel on its own and the instructions... Oh, you can't get the instructions on the own because they've sold out. Yeah, but I was about to say, you'd be paying £30. Hang on. Christine says, tried to call the call centre this morning. No, no, Christine, using the TV remote doesn't work to ring the call centre. I thought, I was thinking, oh, have we got a, have we got a new remote, remote system? She tried to ring them using the TV remote. Oh, dear. <laughs> Mine's my TV remote you're talking to. Yeah, I've got one. And if you let it go too quickly, it says, anyway, well done. What's the matter? What's the matter? I pause the tech. Okay, can you? Oh, no, mine, I just go, I go, catfish, like that, and then all the cats. Oh, no, not catfish UK, that's rubbish. No, has it got, I'll give it another go then. I don't like that Uber boy. Autumn panel, do you know what we're even talking about? No idea. <laughs> right, the kit, if you want the kit, right, if you want the kit, there's 10 left. If you want the panel on its own, there's several. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, there's only 30 now. There's only 30 now. Um... It's a show where people are being catfished on the internet and they go and find who it is that's catfishing you. So oh, if right. someone's pretending to be you yeah. and flirting with me, yeah. I go to them and I say, I don't think this is the real Delphine and they right, find okay. out who the person is pretending to be you. Oh, right. But Ooh. in America, it's amazing. Neve in America and Cammy in America are amazing. They've done a British... Well, uh, Hannah's in love with Cammy. Um, so is Cam. Um, the Amer I watched one British one I didn't really like. Really. Anyway, we should get on because we don't want to be talking too much. Oh, but yeah, no, we could do selling. It's me talking too much, that's all. We had a complaint earlier that I was talking too much. Oh. Anyway, anyway, Bond and Web on the roll. Back in stock. In fact, we knew it was back in stock the other day because <laughs> Hannah was going to play it, right? And we wouldn't let her because we were saving it for today's show. It's nice and out of focus again, that one. Five metres, 30 centimetres, 23.99. Bond and Web. It's, it's essential, essential yeah. for this project, but I would always suggest you buy Bond Web like this. It's all very well in the little packets if you're just going to do one tiny little project, but have this in your workroom and you can, you're always ready to go with any applique project. £23.99. For five, that'll sell out, and we've got loads of it, but I bet, bet your bottom dollar that will sell out today. It'll go. Actually, I shouldn't really say this, but on, we're doing um, applique on Tuesday as well. So get it for now, for this project, and for Tuesday. Just saying, if you love applique. Right, now, I've just got to say, before we start the sewing, anything in your basket, this is sold out on its own. The blue kit has, oh, I should get rid of it. The blue kit has all gone. 
Autumn, there are only three kits left. And the... Now, what about my lovely sunset? Oh, half the stock of sunset's gone as well. Half the stock of sunset's gone. Right, we'll keep the sunset graphics in. But everything else, if you've got anything in your basket, I'm just telling you, not adding un any undue pressure, I'm just saying check out now, especially at this price. Because we all know that 20 30 £33 pounds it's supposed to be. What was that noise? Have you got a dog in there? Did you hear that noise? <laughs> Didn't it sound like a big dog? Anyway, Delphine. <laughs> oh. Yeah, if you have any problems, ring the call centre. There's no, it's a queue gone now. Oh, there's only, a queue, there's only a queue of two people on the phone now, so if you want to ring the cut phone now, you can get through. Right. I've just scrolled and looked twice on Facebook. There is a... Oh, oh, oh thank you, sir. I won't read that one out soon. Um, Delphine gets a bit freaked. Uh, oh, I was buying my bond web on a roll, says Jackie. Got in early for the owl pattern, says Diane. Another to add to a wall hanging for my seven-month-old granddaughter's new bedroom. Completed all the other ones, except for Tasha. So all, she, all of oh, yours, wow. Diane's, got, Diane's got all of yours, but she hasn't made Tasha yet. Oh, wow. That's impressive. Right. Come on, then, Mrs. Oh. It's, I know. <laughs> it's all go, isn't it? Isn't it? Okay, so I need to just spend a couple of, uh, just a minute or two, just talking through the instructions. Please do. Especially if you've not done one of my projects before. Because even though this is smaller, uh, it's a smaller project, it's, um, there's quite a lot of pieces in it, so I just want to make sure that everyone's clear on what to do. So even though I made it in the blue, I've actually based the instructions using the autumn uh, colourway, just so you could see the different shapes of the different colours. If I did it all in the plain blue, because it's obvious from the front and looking through the other images, you can see exactly what fabrics I've used. Yeah. Uh, but I've, it's basically just to give you a helping hand if you're using the other panels. Right. Um, so that's what. So if you are confused when you get them, that's why. I just want to show you the difference in colours because obviously people have bought the pattern on their own as well. So and it just it's to give you a helping hand with. Yeah, because they might have bought a cave jelly exactly. roll design roll yeah. earlier, and they just need help with the where you put a dark one. Where you put the exactly that. Yeah. So that's why I did that. So you're going to come here, uh, John pointed out earlier on, this is your placement guide. Now the placement guide and the templates they're all colour coded. So. Um, for example, the, the eyebrows, I don't know, uh -huh. um, are in the green. So you go and find your two green templates. So oh, it's see. so that's why I do it, just so you know exactly what where each piece goes. Mm -hmm. um, so you like, and if you've got some colouring pencils or something like that, or just write on the back of when you do your pieces, just write green, and then you know exactly which piece that goes to. Yeah. So and also you'll notice that there's uh, one or two of the templates will have a dotted line. All that means is that that will be going under another piece. So the straight line is what's exposed of the owl and the dotted line is what's hidden. That's how we layer up the picture. Good to know. So yep. just turn over the page a second. So yep. you see that one, what colour is that one on your right hand? So that's red. Right, on the red one, you've got that dotted line. You still cut round. That's still the shape of yes. the template. Yeah. But when you finish it, something will be going over the top of that. Yes. So we won't see that curved line. Exactly. But we still cut on it. That's the line. Yes. That's our pattern piece. Yeah, yep. perfect. Yep. You're very good at explaining things. Well, no, 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 because I'm, you know, simple. So it's, it's, it's easy <laughs> for me to ask questions. So, so exactly that. That's... Um, yeah, so yeah. Well, that's cleared up. We're happy to be ready to Brilliant. go. Okay, so f to start with, you're going to... Oh, there's me little oh. eye bit. So you'll need your bond web and a pen. And then you'll choose which... I'll just do a smaller one today so you can get it all. Let me... I'll choose this piece. Okay, so... Um, like I say in all my, uh, uh, well the majority of the applique projects that I do, they're not symmetrical. So if you draw on the non-glue side of the bond web, that you'll be like, oh, what's going on here? But the pattern will be in reverse. Hang, hang on, Kat, I didn't hear what, sorry, what were you saying. So if, I, if you draw on the, uh, the non-glue side, the smooth side of the bond web, yeah. the pattern will be reversed. Right. So, so, so is that one, the, the blue one, yeah. have you drawn on the non-glue side for that one? No, the glue side. On the glue side for that yeah. one. So it could be facing the other way if you draw on the non-glue side. Yeah, so right. just bear that in mind. It's, yeah. I mean, it's no big deal, but it just gives you, yeah. you might be thinking, oh, when I've done it all wrong. Okay, and Kat wants to know why you're doing it with a biro. Because it's all I had. Okay. Well, no, no, because different <laughs> people say different things, don't they? Cara only uses a crayon. And yeah. she says it, crayon, not crayon, just crayon. Um, 
I, I think it, it doesn't matter because you're going to cut on that it line anyway. Just it, don't use a friction pen, that's all. No, I've done it with a friction pen before. Yeah, that was embarrassing. No, a biro's fine. I mean, some biro's will rub and you get it all over your hands, but this one's actually fine, yeah. actually. And uh, again, crayon's really good. I think with the crayon, make sure you've got a fine tip, though. Yeah. Because you get quite a thick line. Yes. And if you want to be really accurate, you need a thinner yeah, line. Yeah, that's what she said. Uh, like, because uh, 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 she doesn't just mean a pencil cray crayon pencil because she said it gets wide. So I think she must mean one that doesn't get blunted. I don't yeah. Know. yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. I'm not an artist. Oh, hang on. So there's only 30 sunsets left. Oh, and the, the, so this one's gone. That kit's gone. The um, autumn's gone. Oh. Right, okay. Should have cut the other one as well. <laughs> Yes. The panels are all still available on their own at 19.99, but the only bundle that's left is a sunset, and the only way to get the instructions is now in the sunset bundle. Right. Right. So. Quick message from Emma before we start. Then I'll shush. I've bought the blue owl kit and can't wait for it to arrive. Please, 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 can you bring back the elephant cushion as I need it too? Says Emma. The elephant, elephant cushion. I have to ask the office. Yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. a while ago I did that. So, I mean, I've already prepped an owl. Uh, I was really messy when I did it. Yeah. And this was... Left over. Yeah, but I still had more than this. That I've just kept it. This is just the tidy piece that I've Oh, bought. okay, okay, right. So, uh, you literally use about a quarter of it. So, you have lots left over. Loads and loads and loads and loads. Okay, so, even... So, the, when I'm doing it with um, fabrics... That are all in different strips. What am I? I'm what you looking for? Only a, a ruler. Um, so when we do things like the piling cow or any of the other ones that are quite bright, yeah, um, you want to stay s fairly uh, similar to the same colour for each pattern piece. But you don't want to do one pattern piece the same colour to the one that's going to be next to it. Right. It will all make sense. It will all make sense in a bit. Yeah. So just cut out a couple of your strips. So I'm just going to choose a couple of the different um, burgundy ones. Obviously, at home you won't be as reckless as I'm being. Right. Oh, so, you, so now, so you actually cut the strips out. You cut the two and a half strips out. Yeah. You're not cutting your, your templates across. No, you the can fabric. do, but it won't. You won't. It won't look right. Okay. No, 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 no. Because I, I, I would do just. Do. No, no, no. If it's do. not going to look right. Don't then. So I'll tell you what would be a really good pattern for something like this. You know, when you just mentioned earlier about Tasha. The tiger. Tasha. Oh, Tasha uh, the, the tiger. Yeah, if you did, all you did, all you'll do with that one is draw it all on the back of the of your bondo and put it on and just cut it out and that, and it's, it looks like you spent ages sewing it. Oh yeah. So you could do so that. So some it works, but not that not this but one. Not but on also, this one. if you've then got the pattern because you've already bought it or you've got the kit with it in, if you've already got a design roll, you won't have this stage to do because they're already cut up it's for you. It's already done. It's already yeah. done. Yeah. Yeah, because you had some stunning cape in that. In oh yeah. Well, I, we think. A lot of people have now come in because there's more cave, a lot more cave gone since we've been introducing this one. Oh, really? So we're thinking people are going, oh, that would look lovely in cool yeah. or the pa parakeet or, you know, not pharaoh, what's emperor, emperor. So I've got, all I've done today is sew strips together. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I haven't been too tidy with those. So, um on the on that panel you've got you've got your reds you've got your greens you've got your purples you've got your blue so just pick out the different patterns so mixing pattern to get is, is really cool because it's going to make it more interesting so bear that in mind if you're choosing your fabrics from home you know be quite jazzy with them don't have it all too plain you want mm -hmm. it to be fun and so you just sew your strips right sides together so, so you, don't, you don't even have to cut the full length of the strips, because all your pieces are only about the size of an A4 yeah. piece of paper, aren't they? So you don't have to, have to cut anything longer than an A4 piece of paper. Really. Well, I think, I, I think that's what I did the first time. I just cut across all three, all of the lines um, about, I don't know, 10 inches, and that was what I used. Oh, OK. Oh, it's 55 I, I, inches wide, so you can get almost five out of it, really. Well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, with the blue one, like I said, I use the back of the, I use the rest of the, the, the um, what's it, panel to do for the back end of it. Oh, so I didn't, I thought, don't want to waste any of the no, stuff. No, exactly. So. so you just sew your strips together, big enough, 
that it uh, to cut your pattern piece. That's all you have to do, really. Right. So line up on the straight edge. Got another request for another pattern. Oh yeah. Morning, John Delphine. Could you do a pattern with a blue and yellow macaw parrot, please, from Karen in Norfolk? Oh, I'd really love to do a parrot. That's yeah. not now. That's not Karen, who I used to call the parrot lady, is it? That. Yeah, I used to meet at the festival quilt. Not used to meet. I used to see her at the festival quilts and stitches and everything like that. And she collected parrots. Had pet parrots, and she loved anything to do with parrots. I wonder if that's her. I didn't know, know where she lived. I don't know. She, she had a son. It was a gas fitter, I think, and and he, they were both in, completely into parrots. Oh, but quick message from Joy as well. Hello, John Delphine. I love watching Delphine's demo. Has anyone ever tried putting the bonder web through a printer back to my TV? Mm. Love, Joy. I haven't, no. Now, is, does the printer get warm? Yeah, uh, yeah well. So I know you can put... Um, What's that green screw paper we sell? Freezer sticky? paper. Freezer paper. You can put that yeah. through a printer, but I'm not sure you can put Bonder Web through a printer. Oh, it is her! It is her! Hello. I've not seen you. I was only thinking about you the other day. Yes, it is us, says Karen. I was only thinking about you the other day, thinking, because I haven't been to Festival Quilts or anything, so I haven't seen you. Fine. Hope you're well. Hope you're both well. Right. So all I did, I, I, as you saw me do earlier on, I cut three strips. Um, I sewn three strips together. And they were about, I don't know, 10 inches uh -huh. in length. And then obviously I don't need all, all of those. So all I did was cut that in half and then you just check it's going to fit your template. Right. So now you need to iron your, se iron your seams open. Right. So it's different from when you did the cave girls yes. earlier. Yes. Yeah. The reason being is that you don't want it to be too bulky. Yeah. So I am going to, I mean, you can just finger press them. I suppose. Oh, now, now, if you have missed out... Please be careful because random ones keep popping up with people not checking out. So there might be one. So if you think, oh, I've missed, I've missed out, I've missed out, keep refreshing your box and, or refreshing your website and checking. Uh, Julia says, John, I have to isolate till hospital on Tuesday. So if Delphine is in her happy place, I'm in my happy place watching. Oh. Are you in your oh. happy place, Delphine? Uh, uh, I think sometimes. Oh, <laughs> only sometimes to sit here with me on a Sunday morning. Oh, I love being with you on a Sunday morning, John. There's nowhere I'd rather be. Yeah, she says, <laughs> thinking about her bed. Not with me in it. Not with me in it. Not with me in it. Oi, oi. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, that's pressed. Imagine you come back from your holidays next Sunday and I'm lying in your bed. <laughs> Hello, hiya. As long as you make it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, I've made breakfast and hoovered and tidied up and everything on a Sunday morning. Oh, no, I'm here next Sunday, aren't I? I'm here next Sunday. Well, that's here. like me. When, I'm, when I go away, I'm just going to draw on the other side of this. When, um, cause, because we're going away, I need to make sure that I've, I've, I've had Nick cleaning the toilets, cleaning the bathrooms. Well, because I can't go away with not Well, no, and clean also house. the people who are going to be in your house while you're away anyway, you know, you want it nice and clean for them, don't you? Oh, def well, me, me, me and Laws will be going in. Yeah, exactly. So. Well, can't have a dirty house, can no. I? No. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm like can't that be sometimes a dirty, when I go to bed at night and I think, yeah. oh, I've got to get up and tidy up because if I die during the night, people will go, God, didn't he live, didn't he live oh, like a messy it. lifestyle? Put all my dirty pants in the laundry bag and everything like that. Yeah, I just, yeah, it's like even in the day, I can't go out without the beds all being made no. and tidied up. And no wonder you're exhausted. <laughs> You've got two little kids to run round after oh, as well. Oh, no, I need, and a husband. Him, I need to get them to make beds. That's what I need oh. to do. But, um... No, I. Uh, so what do, you, what do you do now? Just re going over the line. I'm just going over the line because if you're using, if you if you're going on a dark fabric, which I am, although it's not too bad yeah. actually, because I've drawn on the um, the glue side, you might not. If you if you've got a light box, then fine, but yeah. it's just easier to see it. Yeah. Worth taking the time to. Rather than you stick it to the back and you go, oh, yeah, I can't see it now. But even if you did make a mistake, it wouldn't matter. You've got so much of it anyway. Yeah. So. You place your, you place your um, I can't think today, web. The, on, on the fabric. Glue side down. Glue side down. Oh, don't, who was it in last week? Put it glue side down, remember to put it glue side down. This is why you don't use a friction pen as well, because it will be rubbing out now when you put the iron on. Yeah. Uh, all right, Kat, this is why Kat asked earlier. This is why Kat asked earlier. Um, 
Who was it that was in the other day going on and on now? Make sure you glue side down. Make sure you glue. So was it Cara? And then she ironed it and the glue side was up. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. It's easily done, though. Oh, you yeah. just take your mind off the ball for yeah. just a second. So I'm quite happy that that's all glued on. And then you cut it out. You can use scissors or a rotary cutter. I'm, go I'm quite confident with a rotary cutter. Oh, so you see, I do this with scissors, so personally. Yes, but I'm quite confident with a rotary cutter. But if you're not... Then, I mean, this one's lovely and sharp, so I am keeping my fingers out of the way, but don't worry. I, I said I'm quite confident with one of these. Now, how funny is this while you're cutting that up? Jackie's mission going, I'm with, I'm with you there, Delphine. Dave, our husband, laughs because I tidy up the house at night time in case we get burgled. Well, <laughs> so I laughed at that, and then Sue Miss, you're going, My mum used to say she cleaned the house in case she got burgled while she was out, and she couldn't, wouldn't want to let the police in. If I had, no, but what you do in that case, you go, oh, I left it spotless. Look what the burglars have done. <laughs> left all their dirty washing in a pile on the landing. Oh, yeah, before we go to bed, I have to make sure all the washing up's put away, kitchen's all wiped down, and I don't oh. think I'd sleep. I'm not quite that. It's tidy when I'm. Oh, oh, yeah, fluff up your cushions and... Oh. Yeah. So you're actually cutting out on the line now, aren't you? Yeah, cutting out on the line, all seam allowances and everything's included. So uh -huh. it really is just, just tracing and cutting out. But it's nothing fancy. Only 15 sunsets left. That's the only way now to get your instructions. The side graphic is the autumn fabric panel on its own, 19 I know, so you're paying £2 for Delphine's instructions and half a metre of fabric. It doesn't make sense, does it? Good morning, John and Delphine from the US of A. Great oh, show wow. today. Enjoying the demos and the colours in the quilts are beautiful. We need a show like this here. Kay, we'll move there. We'll <laughs> yeah, move I'll there. come to America. Yeah. <laughs> there we go then. So there's your pattern piece. And you'll just do that with all of your pieces that are big, anything bigger than a two and a half inch strip. You'll you'll just keep sewing your strips together until you uh, it, until it's big enough for your template. Okay. So you cut out all your templates. Remember to just draw on the back what colour code it is, so you know exactly where it right. is. And you'll just do that for all of them. Lovely. So then you cut your half a metre of fabric to the size that you want. I always like to use twenty inch square cushion pads. Uh, so I always make my cushions 18 inches, so they're nice and, yeah. nice and firm. Yeah. There we are. So I'm going to put that in about the centre. Well, you can see I've had a dirty eye in there. Oops. 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 Okay, so this is where it's handy to have your, your placement guide. Even though I need to use my, my placement guide. So... Want to make sure that they're nice and cool. If you're going to uh, cut out all your pieces on one day, and then you're going to make it the next day, keep them flat in a in a cookbook or something to stop the curl. It has to be a cookbook, does it? Uh, well, I've only got a heavy cookbook. Oh, okay. A heavy book. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, just uh, just don't glue anything down yet. Either. Right. Sorry, that was my stomach. Did you? Was that, that your tummy? Yeah. It was so loud, I thought it was coming down my earpiece. <laughs> you not um, had any breakfast? Do you have any dry toast today? I had, to, I had some dry toast. I had my dry toast oh, earlier. Okay. Yeah. Mind you, I suppose it's nearly lunchtime now. I know, I think we're going to go out for lunch today. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Oh, I do like going out for a Sunday roast. It's one of my favourite things to do. Oh, yeah. wait, they're all going on now. Oh, we love it, we love that. What, going for, out for a Sunday Yeah, Kat, Kat gets her Sunday lunch cooked for every Sunday because her mum and dad cook it oh. for her. She goes around to my mum and dad's every Sunday. How and lovely. So halfway through the show earlier, she was like, oh, I really fancy Dauphin Wild's pota potatoes. So she's just emailed and going, oh, is it too late to ask for oh. Dauphin Wild's potatoes? Fancy. Well, do, do you know what, though? I hope that my boys still want to come and have Sunday roast with, you know, when they're little, when they're grown up. When they're, yeah, when they're, when they're little, they have to. When they're little, they have to. <laughs> yeah. You will eat your carrots and your peas. Oh, well, yeah, she doesn't yeah. take her boyfriend because he won't eat vegetables. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, no, well, Louis, um, getting, Louis getting better at eating oh. the Sunday roast, but we might let him get away with having fish fingers or something instead. In yeah. fact, we might go to your village for lunch. What, to my house? Come to your house for Sunday, didn't fine. <laughs> Oh, which piece was that? Um, oh, what, where are you coming in my village? Oh, the next village along, you mean the posh village, not my village. We've only got the barn in my village. Are you going to the pub? Yeah. Oh, okay. 
you going to write my pub in my village then? Yeah, the, the, the pub in your village is really good. Oh, there you go. Yeah, they do really nice food. You'd have to join me one day. So, you've been coming to my village for food? Yeah. And not knocking... I'm literally a two-minute walk away. Are you? Yes. Well, what are you doing? Well, the whole later? village, you can only walk from one end of the village to the other end in five minutes, can't you? Well, there you go. When you finish here, you can come over. Right, you can then. come and meet us at the pub. All right, then. You can come and meet Nick and yeah, the you'll boys. Have, you'll have finished eating by the time we finish here. It'll be gone three o'clock. And I've got my Facebook Live this afternoon. Oh, have oh, you? Oh, you come in and do my Facebook Live. Facebook Live. <laughs> After I've had a glass of bread with me roast beef. Oh. Mm. <laughs> a message from April. Uh, loving the owl from Australia. Oh, the wow. owl's not from Australia, but I think uh, April's from Australia. So Australia, I know, USA. America. We've had all sorts in there. We've Luxembourg. Luxembourg. We had earlier. That's Luxembourg again. Where is it? Yeah. It's in Europe, in the middle, like that. Right, it's okay. I know it's in Europe, but I don't know where. It's right, that one little one in the middle right, there. The little one in well, the middle. Well, it must be next to France and Germany because they speak French and German. And, or in Luxembourg, Asia. Yeah. Jackie, we used to have that. <clears throat> we used to have the map that you can do it on, but we can't. We haven't sourced any for this when we were saying quarter we had that. Now, a little tip for the face. I originally did the whole this piece here, which yeah. will be. The oh, you've done that all piece. in the same colours then, all um, in the same fabric. Yeah. yeah, if you do the forehead bit in the same colour, I know I did it there, but if you did it in the white, you make sure you've got a little. Make sure you do the top bit quite dark, otherwise you won't see the. Yeah. Pieces. The placement guide is not to scale, April. <clears throat> it's just to guide you where you've got to put everything. Look, if you look here. This is your placement guide. It's smaller. Can you see there? Not to scale. But all of these obviously are to scale. These are all the exact right size that you need. But that's just to give you an idea where it all goes. And the dotted lines means they go underneath. So if you see where Delphine's putting them underneath, that one's underneath that one, that one's underneath that one. Yeah, a plique is literally just try, cut, you know, tracing it out, cutting it out and sticking it on. Geraldine um, says, hello, Delphine. Talking yeah. about cleaning up. That's what I've been doing. I'm watching. That's what I've been doing. I'm watching on the TV, keeping on top of things as a baby. The baby's two days late now. Just stopped oh. for coffee. It's not Geraldine's baby. It's her, it's her daughter's baby. Uh, both my kids moved out temporarily. They're on elastic, I think, says Sue. At 23 and 25, they think this is the Savoy Grill. I get my Sunday menu quest the day before. Now, that's just a bit spoiling, wow. them, Sue, that is. And Sheena says, morning, John and all. Delphine, your artwork is always fabulous, but the owl is stunning. Oh, thank Please, you. Please, could you do an Irish wolfhound? Oh, you are hungry, aren't you? <laughs> I think my mic is a bit low. <laughs> I didn't hear that. <laughs> I do apologise, everyone. Sorry. It's not your television. Irish Wolfhound. Please. Irish Wolfhound. Yeah. I'd have to Google that. Well, so there'll be lots and like... lots of fridgy bits, won't there? Because they're very hairy yeah. on the Irish Wolfhound. I did see on the fan page the other day, actually, that somebody they did the fox and they made it into a wolf. Oh, wow. Oh, was it was incredible. good. Yeah, it was really impressive. Yeah, really good. Well, I thought it was really so I'm not committing to anything just yet. Because <laughs> as soon as you commit, so I'm just going to look at my own instructions yeah. to make sure I'm happy. Because at the moment, you're kind of thinking, oh, is it right, isn't it right? Because you it's, can just it's play not around the, it's with not, it. You don't, it's not an owl yet, is it? You know what I mean? So you, can, you just play around with it. Oh, Claire says the complete opposite. It looks fabulous already. I'd like Delphine to do a bunny rabbit like this. Honestly, she's going to be doing this forever, isn't she? <laughs> There's a lot of animals to get through, yeah. there, isn't there? So, I, because I want to crack on and show you some more to the pattern, I'm just, I think I'm going to commit. Yeah. So, only when you're happy. Obviously, at home, take your time a little bit more. Uh-huh. Then I'm... Then, oh. oh, yeah, I've peeled it off. Just a bit. There we are. I'm going in. Now, when you, when you initially come in and do this, make sure... Oh. My stomach. Um, oh, I didn't hear it that time. <laughs> is make sure that you press, don't iron. I've got some strawberries in the fridge. Would you like those? <laughs> Morning, everyone. I used to be a tawny owl when I helped run a brownie pack. Oh. Could you please do a wire fox terrier? Oh, we could be this all morning, couldn't we? Wow. Now? I can I'm going to have to Google some of these. There's loads I want to do. There's yeah. so many I want to do. 
but I've um, I've got Procreate now on my iPad, so I'm um, because usually I'm actually drawing them by hand. Um, I just get a load of A4 paper, stick it together, and just draw it all out. Right. Whereas now I'm d I'm, I've gone up a little bit in technology. I don't know what that is. It's a, it's an app where you basically draw on your iPad and you can select all the different colours and stuff. So. Oh, Clive's got that. You know, Clive, Mark's Clive. Oh, yeah. He's got that when he designs his fabrics. Oh, right, like yeah. That. So it's, yeah, so I've been using that. Mm. So I'll be taking that away with me, working on a few more designs. There we go. So that will... Now, a really important pit bit of this hour, as sh that I really wanted to... I want it to be really striking, really fierce looking, yeah. and not um, the way some of my other ones I've done where I've done quite cute and fun. I wanted it to be quite s serious and mm. quite striking, which is why I had the eyes look at you like that. Yes. Um, so if you... I'll, you can use um, a dark fabric that's on from your panel, but I recommend that you get a piece of black felt or black fabric to really make them stand out. Mm -hmm. If you use a light fabric, it just won't look right. So just get something really nice and dark. Lovely. And I'll show you the difference between the two. You'll need a little bit of white as well for the inner of the eyes, but that's on the salvage of the... Oh, yeah, 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 of the panel. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Pat says, hello, John and Delphine. You've brightened up a really dull morning with your cheerfulness. Have a lovely holiday, Delphine. Oh, thank you That's very nice, much. That's a really nice message. Present Princess wants you to do a Norwegian forest cat. I don't think we've got enough fabric to do those. They're so <laughs> big. Lovely picture. of Is that your partner, Princess, with the cat? The, the, he's sitting there like this, and the cat's sitting on his knee, like, like upwards, like that, watching the telly. So, yeah, that's the one. Four left of the sunset, then that's it. Four left. The only way to get the instructions via the sunset one now. They've all, all the all the all, the blue one's gone. The autumn one's gone. The instructions on their own have gone, and there's four sunsets not checked out. But how many in baskets? Wendy Orlando's finally got out of her boudoir. <laughs> Good morning, or loving the owl. She does all her designs on Procreate, but don't let that put you off. Anyone at home getting one? Got lo you get lost in there for hours. You're both looking gorgeous today. Oh, thank you, Wendy. I haven't spoke to Wendy for ages. I haven't seen now. I think she's asked to not be on with me. She always does days I'm not in. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm show I want to show you the difference yeah. between... Where's my other eye gone? Oh, there it is. So you have your little bit of white. So this is using the panel, the darkest fabric on the panel. Right. Still cool. You yeah. Know. You know, you can still really get a really good, you know, you might want it to be a softer looking yeah. owl anyway. And also, depending on where you position the eyes, you can completely change the look of your owl. So you could make it look a bit cuter or meaner, depending on how close the eyes are together. Right. So have a, you, you might want to change your, the style of your owl, but... You see how I've done it there in the just the dark fabric, uh -huh. which I like. It's it's um, you because you not might not want it as fierce looking. Well, yeah, it's very tonal if you use that, isn't it? Because you're using the same fabric, but you're not going to use that fabric then. No. You're going to use some. Is it jet black? Jet black. But again, it's pr it's personal preference. This is just what I prefer, but you might prefer it the other way. Yeah. But it's just gonna. It's almost like it's got eyeliner on, you know. Yeah. Oh, see. yeah, I see what you mean, yeah. Works both ways, but that's, that's so it's much more, more standy outy striking, that's the word, yeah. yeah. So uh, Sally's message in, saying, Hi, John Delphine, brilliant, brilliant show as usual. I just wanted to know what tension you need for free motion quilting from Sally, who lives in a busy core. One, wall. When I'm in free motion, I just keep my machine at four, or it's uh, as long as it's just it's all about the setup isn't it for yeah. free motion make sure you've got your full bobbin make sure you've uh need not need, not threaded it correctly i always put mine down to one i love people put it on to zero for the threads thread length but i have it on one on my on own stitch machine, length. on my stitch length yeah. but my tension i never mess with my no, tension I don't, I don't. it's always on four yeah uh, make sure your feed dogs are down yeah make sure you've got the correct foot for your machine yeah 
Oh, people, lots of people are asking for more Tasha, so you'll need to make do an email to Ian or somebody. Okay. Oh, no, do your holidays. Don't do anything for next week. You have a nice, you have a holiday. <laughs> and the fox. I don't think I ever saw the fox. Did, did you? No. I only did the fox once, actually. But, uh, yeah, the... Um, yeah. And that was very striking with the eyes, the fox was. Message from Julie. Hello both, Delphine, could you make one of my ex-husbands so I can throw things at you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sue says, you've inspired me to try and design my own creature applique now. I'm thinking of doing a King Charles Cavalier, says Sue. Any tips? Do lots of drawings before Lots end. of drawing, it, and keep it simple. Don't, over, don't overthink it, but it's, it's more about... If you can if you can draw and you can draw well, then it, you know it's it is quite simple. But it's getting your colour placement mm. correct and and knowing what pieces to separate into a plique. So just have a play around with lots of different things. Almost like have it print it on a piece of paper and cut it up and mess around with different shapes. Lynn says good morning all. Yes, the black definitely re the black definitely really pops and looks more brooding. Brooding. Lynn, thank yeah. you. We having a name for this one. Oh, it's an email. Miniature schnauzer, please. Just a miniature schnauzer. Okay. <laughs> Pick and eat, says Derek. There are lots of dogs, lots of dog ones coming in, aren't there? And Kim, where a phoenix bird will look good oh, in wow. sunset. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bird, eagle. I'd really like to do a hummingbird. Um, oh, a hummingbird would be beautiful because the colours mm. you get into that. Yeah. So imagine now you... You'd sew around each of your pieces with a zigzag stitch or um, blanket stitch or what's the other one called? Satin stitch. Yeah. Um, Do you mean satin stitch? Yes. She's hungry, everybody. That's why I, she's. I am. I'm very hungry. Right. Okay. So not not free motion. If you want to do it normally, just go round the edges of all the pieces using yep. either a zigzag or a blanket stitch. stitch. It all I down. wouldn't use a heavy satin stitch because it might no. be too heavy. But use a white kingfisher, says Ellen. Kingfisher, please, yes, Delphine. lovely. That'd be lovely, wouldn't it? Mm. So, so yeah. So you do that. So if you don't want to do free motion, you don't have to do. You free don't motion. have to. No, you just sew round all of your pieces bit by bit, and um, and stitch them down. Now the best place to start, rather than just start round or go round all the edge and things like that, have a look at your piece of your applique and think what what's going to catch a load of layers. So right. straight away, I'll do the eyes and the nose because you Hang know on, that's going to go at, through. Emma, there you go. So you do where? Where would you start? So I'd start with the with the, uh, the these main features here, the eyes and the nose, right? Uh, because you know that that's going to hit a lot of layers. Yeah. So because yeah, okay, we've used bond web, but when you manhandle it a lot through the machine, it can come a bit mm. loose. So just it, it's best to start with the bit that you're going to go through a lot of the layers. Yeah. And then so I've done all of that. You, you, you know, really, really quickly. I've you already shown you've it. Done I've that. pretended I've done that. Now I have given you an option as well to do a little bit of hand sewing as well for the eyelashes. Right. So I've already got a needle threaded. You've got to pretend that you've already done all your machining now. This is the last thing you do. Yeah. Piano yeah. keys and music notes, says Derek. It's a funny animal. But that would look cool though. Mm. It's a quilt, wouldn't it? A uh, collector in Greater London says, hello, Delphine and John. Delphine, how long did it take you to design for your kits from the ideas to ready to sell? I can go as quick as four days. It all depends, to, it depends. well on the luxury, yeah. doesn't it, of like sometimes our buying team will go, Delphine, next Friday you will be doing a owl, an owl. Could you yeah. have it ready for next Friday? And Delphine would go, well, I could do it for the Wednesday afterwards, maybe not this yeah. Friday. But if you were sitting at home luxuriating, you could take long, longer. Yeah, on. so so at the moment I'm working on projects in the background that I think would look really good. Yeah. And um, so I'll spend quite a lot of time on those, like dipping in and out of when I'm designing other things. Um, and then there's other things that we design for certain, you know, when we have like, Cat of the Month, or yeah, yeah. you know, I don't know if that's a thing, but you know what I mean. Yes, like, it's on the twenty. It's on not on Cat of the Month. The, the, we've got International Cat Day on the twenty fifth of August. We're yeah. not doing it, but that's no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it? Cat? No, that was no, no. It was it was last month. Cat. It's Dog Day on the twenty fifth of August. We've already done. Yeah, so cat things day, like yeah. that. Then I know that that's going to be coming up. So yeah. um, it it can all depend, but sometimes I I just 
because I, I do a lot of drawing anyway, so I just I could be drawing one thing and it just turns into another. But it all depends. Yeah, yeah. So depends. if it's on a deadline, you could do it in four days. But ideally, yeah. but you like a, an idea to nurture in your brain yes. and that maybe do a yeah. drawing because you might do a drawing today that next Sunday you look at when you come back on your holidays, you think, oh, what was I, I don't thinking? like it. Yeah, 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 exactly that. So it can it, I can do it in four days. Yeah. But that's full on. Full on. Yeah. So. And that's children not getting any food. Yeah, I don't feed my children. No, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, a, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm double busy. I'm a busy yeah, mama. Yeah. But it's good to be busy. Keeps yeah, me out of mischief. Totally. So right. So sorry. What did you I haven't chosen. Let's have a look at the I, I picked up the wrong saw. packet of needles. Then. Oh no. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Your system. So are you just yeah. using normal thread or are you normal using thread. thread? Normal thread. And literally I've um so my hands are really sweaty so I can't get it, I can't get it through. And I've you I've picked up the wrong needle. Oh no. It? Where are the needles? Do you want the get on? Um I think there's some down here somewhere. There's usually one floating around. Why what needle yeah. have you picked up then? Not the sharp one. Oh, <laughs> well, okay. Yeah, I've got there one go. here. All Let's right, see then. if this will work. I'll try. But e anyway, so if I if I don't manage to do it. But you basically yeah, ha shall I get the original one down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Delphine, you're so very talented. What about John Scott in his blue glasses? As in... Oh, I could. Oh, you, yeah, shall, shall I plique, John? No. Could, can No, I? thank you. By the <laughs> way, my hydrangeas are looking very good today. Does that mean anything to you from Alison? Hydrangeas. Looking very good. Maybe it was me the other day because I said my hydrangeas haven't flowered yet. Was it you that told me about your hydrangeas being beautiful colours the other day? Anyway, so talk talk us through this then. So these all I've done here is you don't need a hoop or anything like that. It's just I straight stitched using as normal machine thread. You can use embroidery floss as well, and I just straight stitched uh, a couple of the lashes either side here, and I th and also a couple to the top here. I just think it gives it that really nice little bit of added texture. So you see the ones are on the eyes? Are they just one stitch? Can you put your you don't you can't put your fingers underneath them, can you? What, They're not these? the eye, not the middle of the eyes. The ones going above the eye, the feathery ones above yeah, there, yeah. the long ones. Yeah. Are they lots of little stitches? Are they no, one it's big one stitch? long stitch. Oh, okay. Long stitches because obviously this is quite firm anyway. Yeah. Uh, long stitches. Don't pull too tight because the p it will gather at the back. But yeah. as long as you don't pull too tight, and um, but yeah, just long stitches. But they do overlap it. A couple so of they times, catch each other it? down. You, yeah. You don't, what you don't want is a long piece of thread no, that you no. catch your finger underneath. No, because you just keep building it up, and then it's got a really nice texture to it. And I ca you can't really see, but I've also put a little bit of bling on his eyes there. I was going to say a bit of silver would look but nice. Yeah. In there, wouldn't so I've it? done a little bit of silver. So I think on, if you, on the the brown one. The uh, autumn one, it'd be really nice with like a bit of gold, and uh -huh. that would look really pretty. But all the little, what, doing the little whites of the eyes is what makes the the eyes come to life. So no matter yes, where yeah. you move it, it's always going to be following you around Ooh. the room. Is it a French? Yeah. Is it a French knot? Or what's in the middle of the eye? Uh, it's literally just the machine. So oh. if you, um, oh, it's not a hand stitch one then. No, it's you just... can do it the hand stitch, but uh, what uh, zigzag? Where's what number zigzags on these ones? I think it's a six, isn't it? Um, mm. So you shorten the stitch length. So you just go to a normal zigzag. Yeah. Shorten the stitch length so it's like a satin stitch. Oh, it was you, Alison. Yes, thank you. I've Let me just uh, do a practice run first. Yeah. So don't watch this one in case it goes yeah, wrong. Yeah. So don't, you don't want to Have I got anything of anything left? Yeah, that's fine. Right. Bond webs in the graphic while you're doing that. Okay. So let me just take that off. There, don't need that. Sorry. Bond Web's back, by the way. Twenty-three ninety-nine, five meters. Third of the stock has gone though. Buy it for Tuesday show as well. We've got a fleek on Tuesday. So put it in the centre. Yeah. And then go forward and back a few times. Just move. Can you move your left hand? There we That's go. It, brilliant. Go forward and back. Forward and back a few times with a zigzag stitch. Is that it? That's it. Do it again. There we go. And then I'm going to go back to a normal stitch. And then just draw a line down where the beak is. And then you can go over it a couple of times. Uh -huh. Oh, plique scissors. 
Plea cases as, as well, I use these a lot. So after you've gone round everything, if anything frays, but these panels are really good, they very rarely yeah. fray, um, <coughs> then I just go round and trim off anything. Uh, we're things. still searching for left-handed versions of those. Lots of people asking for left-handed versions. And there you go. They just start. I mean, it's only very, very subtle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They do. It does make all the difference. Whenever you're doing applique animals, always remember a little white of the eye, and then that's what helps. It gives it a bit more character. It's going to be fascinating in about a week to ten days' time, because <laughs> all these will start appearing on the Facebook page. I can't wait page, and to it's see. It's amazing, isn't it, to see all the different versions coming up? Because I always get quite nervous whenever I bring out a new pattern. I, I always get really nervous to see how, how people are going to interpret it. You know, whether you can follow the pattern. So, yeah. It's a race to who gets it on there no, first. So not I can a race. relax then. I can yeah. relax a bit there because I know it works. Oh, so. thank you, Delphine. No, thank you. Um, I've got a couple of questions, have I? Very quickly. What colour thread to sew around all the pieces, please? Uh, it depends what you're going to use. Obviously, the blue one, I used a turquoise. Right. Uh, a turquoise thread. A variegated thread would also work well. And on this one, if you can get a couple of colours to match your, like, you know, so for this what, one, so you change it. You do blue on the blue it. and gold on the gold. Only black, obviously, on yeah. the eyes. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, just mix up the colours. And on, and on the orange one as well, I think it would look really nice in a variegated yes. orange and yellow. Orange and yellow. Or gold good. thread. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Any, there was another question you say, or oh, one more. Always love Delphine's design, but finally taking the plunge, we get the blue owl. It's too good to resist. Thank you from Kate in Aww. Merseyside. Oh, Thank Kate, you. Kate, another project for you. Your husband's going to go mad. <laughs> um, Delphine, have a brilliant holiday. Thank you. Uh, have a yeah. night. Well, it won't be restful because you're going to be running around after your kids and your husband's the whole week, but yeah. you're away. I'm away, yeah. Switch your emails off. Don't do anything. Just have a lovely no, time. That'd be lovely. Do you know when you're back? Back in, yes, I'm back in on the 2nd. Of September? Yeah. Back in here? Yeah. That's hardly a break. That's a next week, isn't it, 2nd? Yeah. Am I in on the 2nd? That's why I'm, I'm not going home yet. I've got to, I'm going to go and finish sewing that project. Uh, oh, that's what that project's for? Yeah. But you got, there's another one, we're not going to talk about it, but there's another one in her brain that she's talked to Kat about, which is what that pink fabric was going to be good yeah. for, that cake fabric. that's not that one. Okay, oh, that's not the next one, that's one in the future. Yeah. Um, I'll have a lovely holiday, I won't see you on the 2nd, then I'll be on my holiday, so I'll see you at the end of September when I come back. Well, have a lovely holiday. I will indeed, thank you very oh. much indeed. Right, <laughs> I've just got to quickly do the panels, because they are still available. Autumn is the most popular panel on its own. 15 of these left. There you go, beautiful colours in there, aren't they? And they're huge. These these uh, panels are massive. Nineteen ninety nine, just the panel on its own, just the panel on its own. Nineteen ninety nine. Fifty five inches. One to the sixteen, did you say? Sixteen fifty five inch strips there for nineteen ninety nine. Beautiful. Then I've got uh, sunset. There you go, this is Sunset. Oh, look, there you go. 19.99. These haven't been in stock for, well, I've never seen them before. So they're at least a year old since we've seen these. Okay, well, nearly a year. And finally, Azure. Azure and Sunset are level pegging at the moment. $19.99. Right, don't go anywhere. Uh, when we come back after the break, uh, we're supposed to do sewing machines, right? Uh, but we can't find one of the ones we're supposed to do. It's not in the building. We're blaming Jane from Elder that she nicked it and took it home. Uh, so we've got a couple of sewing machines and I've got other bits and bobs to go in your sewing workroom. I'll also be revisiting the face masks because we didn't take spend enough time on them in the last hour. We will see you in about four minutes from now. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family run customer service team are on call 24 seven. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Hi everyone, 
I'm Sally Ann Harrison and I am a patchwork and quilting fanatic um, and I've been sewing all my life. I'm currently based um, here in Bristol um, but I used to live in the USA and that's where I picked up the sewing bug big time. I suppose you could say that my sewing journey began when I was about eight or nine. I distinctly remember the first thing that I ever made um, and it was I say I ever made on my own, obviously I did sewing at school, but I came home and I chopped up one of my mother's old uniforms and she used to work in a store. I cut up these little pieces of cotton and I made myself a bikini top and I can remember the absolute thrill of putting this little bikini top on and going out on my bicycle and riding up and down the road and that was the first thing that I ever made and I was totally, totally smitten. My claim to fame has to be um, demonstrating at the Houston International Quilt Show. Um, I am very heavily into wool applique and I developed a technique where you would use a perlay thread on the top of a sewing machine and they were interested in Houston I actually went along to demonstrate in open studios, studios whilst the show was on. It was really, really magical to have so many people that were interested in what I could do with the sewing machine. I am one of the longer running um, guests now on Sewing Street, goodness knows how that happened. Um, but I still get an absolute buzz every time I come up and do a demo and I love receiving your messages and the feedback after the show, it's, it's absolutely amazing. I'm hoping to bring you lots of new techniques and different ideas, so do stick with me and follow my Sewing Street journey. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. of a crafting fix. There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. 
You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family run customer service team are on call 24 seven. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Right, I've got to tell you, there's only 12 of these left in the whole building. And you know what it's like trying to get an Elna sewing machine at the moment. I know, I know, I know. So the, this is the Elna E55. It's E? I thought it was EX555. They missed the X off. Um, now, you know, let me just turn it that way. You know that we sell the, well, we're normal, in, under normal situations, we sell the 550, the 560, and the 570. They are all exactly the same sewing machine, the same motor, the same chassis, the same everything. One, this is the one that Delphine's just been using, right? The only difference is the higher up you go in numbers, you get the more for your money. So the 550 is the one I'm going to talk about today. 560 has a few more stitches, and the 570 has a few more extras, but you pay extra for those. This is your brilliant, brilliant, brilliant sewing machine. Now, I always say it's good for an entry level or like a Christmas present or something like that. But not, I'm just thinking, not, you don't want to spend £500 if you've never, ever, ever done any sewing before whatsoever. I'll just tell you this. You don't want to spend this money, right, if you're just buying a machine for the first ever time. Th that's what this one's for that I'm going to come to in a minute. If you've never sewn in your life before, if you've got somebody in your family who wants to start sewing for the first time ever, then this is the one where you need to go. I'll tell you about that in a minute. But 
if you've borrowed to friends or used your mums or used your sisters or borrowed to neighbours and thought, I quite like this sewing lark, and you want to jump because you should always buy a sewing machine that's going to grow with you. So if you're at the beginning of your sewing career or sewing life, story, journey, this is the best, 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 in my opinion, one of the best machines you can buy because it's £499. Now, I do need to tell you that when you gar gargle, when you Google Yahoo or Bing this one, 99.9% .9 of the time, you can't find it for that price. You cannot find it for that price. 99.9% .9 of times that we've looked, uh, well, I have to say it's 100% of times since I've looked, but I've not looked recently. Basically, we sell, what we sell are 564 is what other people sell the 554, and what we sell our 574 is what we sell the 564. So, have a look, I'll just show you. I'll just show you straight away. Where's this one, right? 517 pounds, it is a direct comparison, look. It's out of stock, it's out of stock. You'll find that on 99.9% .9 of them, they're out of stock. So, have a look at the picture again. It's 579 pounds, it's exactly the same sewing machine, 579. Do they offer split pay? I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Got another one. There you go. Exactly the same sewing machine. £579. Oh, they've got them in stock. That shop's got them in stock, but it's £579. How much is mine? It's exactly the same machine. Exactly, exactly the same shit. I've oh, got a couple more, very quickly. There you go. Where available? Oh, I can do. What am I reading there? Five hundred seventy-nine pounds. Exactly the same sewing machine. They've got finance available. We have interest-free split pay. Excuse me. What? One last one. Oh, oh, there you go. Now I've not seen this one before. Five hundred thirty-nine. Oh, available on back order. So they haven't actually got it there. Right, the difference there is we are not allowed to sell anything that is not ready to go. So the 12, did I just say 12? Yeah, the 12 of these I've got left, right? And they're not going to last. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. They are sitting in the Elna warehouse in Stockport right now. We can only sell what's been allocated to us. We cannot sell, we can't say, if, we, if, if 15 of you want to buy today, we can't sell it to 15 of you. We can only sell it to 12 of you today. Right, the way it works is you pay us today either £499 or £166.33 if you want to do the split pay. No interest charge whatsoever. You pay either of those today, right? Elna will get an email, oh no, tomorrow now, and then they, you'll have it by the end of the week. You'll have it by, I promise you, you'll have it by the end of the week. Unless, of course, the lorry gets lost or something like that, but on the whole, you'll... It's shipped out immediately from Elna. So if you've paid full price, shipped out the next day or so. If you've paid the first instalment, still shipped out in the first few, uh, the next couple of days, right? We don't wait for you to pay all three instalments before we ship it out to you. I know it's not fantastic. It does have a two-year warranty. And this is the best bit. Even though it comes from Elna in Stockport, you still only pay £3.95 post and packaging. Now, if you've been in and already bought this, or if you came in and bought the early bird and you paid your £3.95 post and packaging, you don't pay another three ninety five. No, it's it's all covered. It's all covered in your one three ninety five. So, say you have bought this. This will come from our warehouse sometime during the week. This will come from Elna sometime during the week. So you'll get two deliveries. You'll get two absolute. But you still only pay one three ninety five. So that's that. Right, the machine itself is adorable. It's really lovely. You saw you saw Delphine using it earlier. Oh, now if you're watching the first hour and where the where the bottom tension was a little bit tight. Bobbin wasn't in, right? So the second hour, oh, we didn't see any sewing in that second hour. The second hour, I just put the, took the bobbin out, replaced the bobbin, put it re-round it, perfectly fine. Absolutely fine. Um, it's a really, really lovely machine. I'll just show you around. Now, it does come with a hard cover, and it does come with an extension table. So when you take your gubbins box off like that, because you've got a free arm there, you've got a lovely little free arm there, it comes with an extension table, which just sits out there. So you can do your bigger projects, if you're doing a wedding dress or you're doing a quilt or something like that, you do have that. Um, it also, I'll go through the feet that it comes with, but it comes with a quarter inch foot. 
which when I got my well, when I got my first sewing machine, not, not 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 even part of it. Now it comes automatically as part of the deal with a quarter inch foot. Doesn't come with a walking foot, but because it's category B, this. Um, but you can ring up Elna. We haven't got the, the walking foot for category B. Um, Margaret bought one. She wanted a walking foot. She rang Elna. The walking foot was with, with her within days. She bought it. You have to buy it, obviously. They'll either tell you local stockists or they'll just send one out. They sent one out to Margaret. She had it in, in two days' time. Anyway, anyway, let me talk, tell you about the machine itself. Look at the front of the machine here. So what we've got here is we've got the da -da 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 lock stitch. We've got the needle up, needle down position. We've got the reverse stitch there, you know, at the beginning, at the end of a load. Now, on a, on a machine like this, you wouldn't normally expect to see this feature, right? If you, right, so if you look here, sorry, if you just look on here, you'll see the icon. Oh, let me turn it so you can see. There you go. Oh, you can see the icon of the foot pedal. If you remove the plug for the foot pedal, that disappears, but you can now stitch by pressing this. I know. Let me show you. Let me actually. I've got some. I just had some fabric, didn't I? Where did I put that piece of grey fabric? I'll do it in a minute. I'll do it in a minute. That's weird, isn't it? I literally. Ju well, yeah. Remember when I was testing a Delphine's machine? Anyway, pop that back in, and the little foot icon comes up. So all of that is there. You've got your go faster, go slower. Now I'll be honest with you. This doesn't have the thread cutter on it. It's got a little thread, a, a manual thread cutter on the side here but it doesn't have your button thread cutter on this one because if you go up to the 560 or the 570, you do get a button thread. I'm only being honest with you about what you do and you don't get. I'm not doing it as a negative whatsoever, right? So then you've got your go faster, go slower. So that's really good if you're just beginning. Now here, we've got all your controls, right? So these two here control the choosing of the stitch, which I'll show you in a minute. This one here is your stitch width. And this one here is your stitch length. Now, this is the setting. This is the factory setting it comes in. This is to do your basic straight stitch, to do your completely nutty basic straight stitch. Um, so it'll tell you what fo foot's on there. You need the foot uh, A, which is the foot that comes on it at the beginning. Now, you're most probably looking at this thinking, if it's a straight stitch, why have I got a stitch width on it? Well, that's easy because watch down here now. Watch down here. When you press this, Right, the stitch width. Look, can you see that? Can you see the needle moving? Look, can you see? So if you just need to move it across to a quarter inch, you can just. You know, sometimes you're sewing, you think, oh, I just need the needle just to be one eighth of an inch to the right or the left. Well, you can move the needle whilst it's in straight stitch mode. Look, isn't that brilliant? Okay, so I'm just switch it off and switch it back on. The other thing about this machine is you switch it off. Switch it back on, come, goes come, back to complete and utter straight stitch settings, right? Um, so you, then you're thinking, well, how do I know what stitch I want, John? Because you just said that chooses the stitches, don't know where they are. Down the side of the machine here is a little pullout, so you're not going to lose it. You know sometimes machines have a stitch guide on a separate piece, and you think, where did I put it? What did I do with that? It's there. There, look. All 50 stitches are listed there. So you start with a straight stitch, quarter inch foot, you've got your utility stitches, you've got your stretch stitches, you've got your buttonholes, you've got an eyelet stitch, you've got some decorative stitches in there, you've got some satin stitches. I know, isn't it brilliant? So then what you do, choose a number, Emma, of a stitch. Oh, number 12, she's gone much lower. She likes that number. So you think you're right, I'm going to do stitch 12. What do I do with stitch 12? What you do is you go up here and these are your buttons here. So you're thinking 10. 11, 12. Oh, that's a good one, Emma, because you need to change the foot. So if you come close, you need foot G on to do that stitch. Now, this is the largest stitch it will do in that design, right? So the width is a six and the length is a two. If you practice with that, you think, oh, that's not quite what I want. You can change it. You can't make it go bigger, but you can get usually make it go smaller by pressing these. Look. Oh, that one goes down to a naught on that one and back up to the 0 0.6089. Oh, oh, there you go. 1.2 is the largest it will go to on that one. And then this one here. Now, normally it takes you to the largest one when you go to the first. So, look. so you can make, oh, look, you can make that bigger. 
and much smaller there. So you've got your array of sizes. So you can really, really change whatever you want to. You make that stitch your own, right? I'm just going to switch it off and switch it back on again to go back to the beginning because I'm going to tell you what these four other buttons are for here. So this, if you want to do a straightforward buttonhole, look. Straight away, it's telling you need foot R, which, and your stabiliser plate there. Uh, it's telling you that's the size of the stitch for your buttonhole, and that's your number. So that will take you straight to a buttonhole. So you don't even need to look up which buttonhole you want on the slider. It will take you straight to the buttonhole. This one here, now number 13, is like the equivalent of a, an overlocking stitch. If you've got to finish your edges, you know sometimes we cut a seam and we all say, oh, overlock the edge or whatever. You haven't got an overlocker. doesn't do the trimming, but it does that lovely stitch where it wraps around. So it finishes your edge. We, we, most of the time we do a zigzag, don't we? This is actually the, the stitch to go round the edges and things like that. does that automatically. Then here, you've got your memory zigzag. And then here, that will just, I don't know why I keep switching off, because that takes you back to the factory setting, that one there. So all of that. Now, the other thing I need to tell you, it's got LED lighting here. Now, also, if you look here, this is your foot, right? So when you're sewing, here, this one, right? It goes down. This is your upright, your upright position. Now, if, you if you're working with, like, PU, or you're working with some lovely um, uh, heavy wool worsteds, right? You're thinking, oh, it won't go into there. Watch this. Goes up even higher. Goes up even higher. This is your bobbin. This is, you put, you put your bobbin in here, right? It's exactly the same as it is on my 680. You just put it in, you wind it round, you pull it through that thread cutter there. You don't have to pull it up from underneath or anything like that. It's a top loader. So it's really, really good like that. So such a, because the first machine I had, you had to pull out the metal thing underneath, take it out, put it back in, make it go round. Oh, it was a nightmare. This, you pop it in, as long as it's in the shape of a P, wind it round, and then your, your thread is in for the bottom. It's got LED lighting. Oh, and you can drop the feed dogs on this. You can drop the feed dog, so if you want to do some free motion quilting, free motion embroidery, you can do. Doesn't come with a free motion foot, but you can buy that, you can buy that. And we might actually have them on our website, but you want category B, remember, for this. Category B. Now, you know what happened during lockdown. Every the More mach sewing machines were sold around the world, not just here, around the world than ever, ever, ever before. That demand is still going on, right? But also, Elna, Juki, all of them, they're having trouble getting stock. It's still, look at my garden furniture. I know it's not Elna, still not here. Still not here because what's happened is the ships are getting through, but then there's a, such a backlog and so many um, lorry drivers, I'm not blaming the lorry drivers whatsoever, but so many lorry drivers not able to work because they've either been told to isolate or whatever, not double jabbed yet, whatever. So actually getting them from the docks to the delivery is still a bit of a nightmare. So who knows? Well, you look, how long have we been waiting for the 680 to come in, right? Right? You, we've been waiting for the 680 since last Christmas. Jane said a few months ago, it's on its way, it's on a ship, it's on a ship, it's on a ship. So we all got ready for it. It'll be here on Monday. Be here on, no, it's not here on Monday. Then last week, we had a huge show lined up for the 680 machine, right? Still not here. It's on, it's landed. It's in the UK somewhere, but we don't know which lorry it's on. It's meant to be here by Tuesday, but nobody's mentioned anything to me. Nobody's said a word. No, they can't now, can they? Because we don't want to keep letting you down. But... It's supposed to be here by Tuesday. Who knows? Who knows? But that's a completely different story. But that's what I'm saying. When these go, we're down to single figures on these now, by the way. Single figures. Right? When those have gone, I'm presuming she means nine, right? It's supposed to be nine left, right? Um, when they've gone, who knows when the next shipment will be coming in? Because Elna don't just supply to us. Oh, sorry, my bang microphone. They supply, they've got suppliers all over the country, haven't they? So they We've got, we have a brilliant, brilliant relationship with Jane and everyone at Elna. And I'm not saying we don't have a few perks, but, well, the price for one. But, um, who knows? Who knows? And I'm not trying to add any undue pressure. The other thing I'm thinking, right, if you are thinking, oh, my wife, my daughter, my son, my whoever, would love this as a Christmas present. They'd love Father Christmas to bring this, right? If you buy it today, what date is it today? Is it the 23rd already? So I've, it was my mum's birthday yesterday then. Oh, 22nd. It was my mum's birthday today and my dad's tomorrow. No, the after tomorrow. And Steve the dentist, his birthday was on the middle of that. But that's another, that's another story. Anyway, 
Uh, so if you buy it today, say the money goes out of your account at midnight tonight, because, oh no, it won't go out till it's dispatched, will it? So your money will go out on Monday, say the 25th or whatever, right? Then there'll be another one on the 25th of September, and another one on the 25th of October. Is it paid for? It's only three payments, and what's brilliant is all we do is we just split that three ways. There's no interest, there's no extra, there's nothing. You're obviously on the first one. So if you buy this today, and it's the only thing you've bought from us today, your first payment will be 166.33 plus your £3.95 post and packaging, obviously. But then the next one will be 163.33. October, middle of October, paid for. So your Christmas present done, paid for in October. How brilliant would that be? Um, I just want to stress as well, you can, you, well, a lot of people haven't got it. You can go elsewhere and buy this sewing machine because a lot of us sell it. But I have never seen anybody, and this is me personally, I've never seen anybody selling it for $4.99. Now, you may, you may know, you may go, well, the sewing machine shop around the corner for me has got it for, I don't know. But on the whole, we, we've shown you, how many, five websites we showed you. Most of them didn't have it in stock. Most of them were in, on back order, right? Five, well, no, the best one we saw was 539, but on the whole, 99% of them, 579. That's 80 pounds you're saving. That would pay for your walking foot and your free motion foot if you want to order those from Elna or something. Let me have a look at this slide because you see what feet we do get with this. You get loads, you get loads of it. Right, these aren't the feet. This is what they're technical features. That's right. So you get your sewing space of 170. You get your free arm, which I've told you about. Your LCD screen, your horizontal. That's the that's the bobbin, putting it in the top. Built it. Oh, I forgot about the needle thread. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, oh, no, hang on. What are you doing? Yeah. Uh, what's going on? Is Hannah coming, pressing the buttons? Uh, Seven-piece retractable feed dog. You've got the built-in white LED. You've got the extra high presser foot. We've got the stitch reference chart, which I've shown you. Start, stop button, reverse button, auto lock, up, down, needle position. Yes, look, look, look. I forgot to show you this. Look, it's got a needle threader. Can you see? Got a needle threader. Now we can show the side that Emma wanted to show you so desperately then. Right, have you got that, Emma? That one. So, look at the feet you get. The standard foot A is the one, it'll either be on the machine or in the bag to go on the machine. Quarter inch foot, a zipper foot, a stat satin stitch foot, the over edge foot to do the overlocking stitch, automatic buttonhole foot and a blind hem stitch foot. They all come as standard. You get four bobbins. Please only use a Janome or an Elna bobbin in it. Don't try putting other bobbins in. Uh, you get the extension table, the foot control, the hard case, the instruction manual. You get a lint brush. You get needles. You get, get needles. So the day it arrives, you can start sewing straight away. As long as you've got some thread in the house. Needles, power cable, three-prong screwdriver, seam ripper, two spool caps, and a spool pin. So if you want to, you see how the thread on this one runs across here. If you don't like your thread coming that way, you can get a spool pin for it to go upwards like that. So you can have the spool standing up with your thread on it there. All that for £499. Two year warranty, come straight from, you know, from Elna, come straight from Elna, old Janome, same company in Stockport. And you know what's also brilliant, their customer service. So, so the two year warranty is a manufacturer's warranty. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a manufacturer's warranty. So, so basically, if you, break, if you drop it and break it or you break the needle thread up, that's not covered, right? But if something goes wrong with the actual machine, you've got a two year warranty. They also have the best customer service team, right? So what you can do is you can ring during office hours. It'll be, it, the number's on your brochure when you get your brochure. If they don't know the answer, I've rung a couple of times, right? If they don't know the answer, they will get it found out and somebody will call you back with the answer to your question. But on the whole, they will be able to tell you everything you need to know. Do you remember Lucy Brennan? She works for them, so sometimes she answers the phone. You might get her sometimes. Oh, now you can, if you want to, you can make a five-year warranty, but you have to pay that via Elna. That's not to do with us, but you can upgrade it to a five-year warranty if you want to. How, I have to say that, we had a lady message us saying she's had hers for 40 years, and she's, she's had it serviced, obviously, as the years go by to make sure it's well, but she had touch wood, nothing gone wrong. I've, she's most probably sitting sewing now, it'll go bling. But anyway, she had hers for all those years. Obviously, it's not one of these, because these are the new ones. Now, the other thing I need to tell you is Hannah... When we were at Sewing Quarter, I bought the 540, next one down that way. She paid more money for it than this, and it doesn't do half the things that this machine does. She's not happy. Mm? I know. Oh, right, okay. Does it come with a stabilizer plate? I think it does. Look, 
what it is, is this, oh no, now I take that back, I take that, no, 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 there you go. So you've, what you do is you put your buttonhole, this is your buttonhole thing here, I've just taken it off, but that slides in there like that, right, and then the button goes on inside there, and then literally, it hasn't got the, the stabilised plate that I was talking about, was one with the 680, you get another plate that goes underneath, I'm sorry, this one doesn't come with the stabilised plate, but it does come with the whole buttonhole foot, oh, so I'm making a right old pig's ear of this one, what you do is you put the button in there, and it will do exactly the right size buttonhole for your thing, sorry, I thought it had a stabiliser plate, but obviously not, Sorry, that was my bad. I shouldn't have said that. Uh, any other questions you've got? If I can answer them, if I can answer them. Um, it's only because when we did the buttonhole there, I thought that looked like it had a stabiliser plate on there. If I, hang on, have I put the buttonhole on? Hang on. Clear buttonhole. Oh, it... Yes, when you do a buttonhole... Oh, hang on, here it is. When you do a buttonhole, that's what it is. It's telling you to bring this down so the buttonhole stops. When it, so what you do is you put the buttonhole foot on. When it gets to the right size, it hits this and it, it tells it to do the side ones and then goes back. Thank you, Kat. Thank you. Forgot about that bit. Right, okay, very quick. Well done if you've got yours. Just make sure you check out your basket. Right, because we're in single figures now. Single figures. You know what? In a few months' time, we might be saying, oh, sorry, I haven't got one of these for Christmas. Can't. Anyway, yeah, they're on, they'll be on order. They'll be on order. Now, the other thing I was just quickly going to show you was this one here. Okay, I'm not going to put the power on this one. This has got a triple. This one's got a triple thing here, which I haven't got here. It's in the box. This one is not digital at all. Look at the price. So if you've got somebody, like a daughter, a son, or somebody in the family who goes, I quite fancy starting doing a bit of sewing, but you don't want to, 500 pounds, I mean, it's a considered purchase. I know it'll be worth every penny of it. You'll get everything you need out of that one. If you've got somebody in the family who just wants to give it a go and start, and you haven't got anyone you can borrow one from and think like that, 249 pounds, still on split pay. How much is it? 83 pounds you'll pay today. So that'll be three of those, three, it's 24. Yeah, three of those. You'll pay, so you'll pay £83 today, £83 in a month, £83 a month after, right? This is the 320X. Now, this is slightly different, this one, because your, your stitches are all listed here, right? You've still got straight stitch, you've still got zigzag stitch, you've still got satin stitches, you've still got stretch stitches, right? There are 18 stitches already in this machine. And the way you choose them is you choose the numbers here. So 1 to 10 are your utility stitches, Oh, one to nine, sorry, utility stitches. And then 10 to 18 are your stretch stitches. So all you do is if you're just choosing a normal, if you're just choosing a normal stitch, you go like this. That's one, two, three, like that, right? But if you want to stretch stitch, you turn this one right the way around to the SS, stretch stitch there. And then whichever one you're choosing, you're then choosing the one in the dark uh, column. You can go straight to buttonhole as well on this one. Uh, oh, where's the buttonhole one? There's the buttonhole. Uh, hang on, I'm got a bit lost. Where's the buttonhole one? Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, on this buttonhole one, what you need to do with this buttonhole is you go down. This is like the old-fashioned buttonhole. You go down the side, you change the dial, you go across the bottom, you change the dial, you go up the other side, change the dial, and you do across the top. It's like doing the old-fashioned buttonhole. Oh, but there you go. But... The thing about this, on a machine like this, you would expect to have one of those old-fashioned bobbins that I was telling you about underneath. No, look, it's got the top load of bobbin on this one as well. So that is fantastic. You've got your reverse button here to go backwards and forwards. Uh, this is your stitch width up here. And then your stitch length is that one on there. So if you want to make a gathering stitch, you just take it right, you take it round to there, put it on number one. Take it round to number five, that's your gathering stitch there. But if you want to zigzag, you want to make the zigzag wider or narrower, then you just press this across, you just dial this across there. Same one, same um, threading as what your bobbin is filled here with your, you just literally push that across like that. It will stop the machine from sewing. You don't have to declutch or anything like that like you had to in the olden days. You just fill it up there. To actually thread the machine, it's like your very typical normal, normal sewing machine there. You have got a gubbins box that comes off. 
I know. So you put all your bits and bobs in there. Uh, so you've got a free arm. Oh, and you can even take your feed dogs down on this one as well. Take your feed dogs down on this one. Now, this one has got your... Oh, no, I don't believe it, right? This one's even got an extra high one of those. This is brilliant, isn't it? I was about to say it hasn't got a needle threader. It's got a needle threader as well. Look. £249 for that there. Uh, have we got a... Have we got a oh, sorry, you got to find a what? Oh, two price comparisons very quickly. Oh, that one's £20 more. Is it in stock? Back in stock shortly. Ours are in stock. Oh, now. How many of these have we got? Oh, no, we've got good stock on these because they've just arrived for us. We've good stock on these, right? And then one elsewhere. Oh, that one's out of stock, 269 269 Really good prices still. Really good prices, but not in stock. Not in stock. 249 Now, when, when, um, when Jane introduced this the first time, I think we sold 40 the first hour she brought this one on. Just went, just sold. It just went, went. We haven't got that many. We haven't got that many, so don't, don't be get overexcited. Um, there was something else I was going to say. Oh, do we have a slide about what comes with it? Have we got a brochure to tell us what comes with it? Oh, there we go. Right, see how? Right, now, the, when you get the instructions manual, um, it's for two machines. It's 320 and the 340. Remember, ours is the 320, right? Right, okay, let's just quickly find this then. Names of parts. That's the machine, isn't it? Hang on. Right, I'll pop this on. Is that better on the table for you there, Emma? Right, so you, get, you don't get the overlocker foot on, on the 320, that's the 340 only, but you do get the zipper foot, the blind hem foot, the satin stitch foot, the automatic butt, oh, and that's the 340, the sliding buttonhole foot, needles, bobbin, screwdriver, lint brush, seam ripper, quilt guide, oh no, that's the 340 only, spool holder, spool holder, special pull pin, felt cushion, I think that's gone walking ages ago. So you get a lot to start with on that one. Yeah, oh yes, I'm sorry, I didn't mention that. Look, the, the, you've got twi uh, oh, 22. They call it counting the buttonhole as two. You've got 18 stitches there, plus your two stages of your buttonhole there. Six point three kilos. Well, that one's not much heavier. That one's only 6.8. That one's only, the 550 is only 6.8. So a lovely little machine for 249 pounds. LED lighting throughout. Have a think about it anyway. Have a think about it. Right, let's move on from there. Quite speedy. It's quite speedy. It hasn't got a faster slur. No, it hasn't got a faster slower on that one. You just have to do it with your foot with your foot pedal. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Now, we also have, oh, we've got it here today, but we had the 780. Jane showed us the 780 on, um, this is for a completely different customer. Now, if you're waiting for the 680, that's due in any day, and I promise you, as soon as it's in, it better be on one of my days, that's all I can say after all this. Um, £1,999, it is £399 and 80 pence for five split payments. Now, Jane's not here, and the machine's not here, so what I want you to do is, if you go to our website, no, go to our YouTube, go to our YouTube, right? Scroll down, there's a whole section, there you go! Sewing machine demo. So if you look for the one that says 780, there is one, isn't it, that says 780? Oh, there, there, that's it, that's it, isn't it? Oh, no, it's a 680, that one. She's done, right, okay, what, the, the easiest way to be would write in the top, next to Sewing Street, right, uh, I don't know, Jane Brogan or 780 plus, Elna 780 plus, let's have a look. There you go. There you go. That's the one. It's a 35-minute film that Jane did from the moment you open the 780 to threading it up, starting it. It's a lovely machine, that one. That's, I've got the 680, personally, and it's the next one up from the 680. It's got all sorts of things going on, all singing, all dancing. Um, so please go to YouTube. Just put in Sewing Street Elna 780, and that will come up. And you, 30, Get yourself a cup of tea, though, because it's 35 minutes long. And you'll see Jane looking very different as she does now. She's got longer hair, hasn't she? Anyway, 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 anyway. Oh, there, we just missed her hair. It's all there from the opening of the... There she is. Oh, Alison Marion's flowers still managed to get on the shelf in that one look as well. 
So, uh, so that's the, that's the seven eighty. I, I didn't want to bring bring it on because Jane did a show earlier this week about it. But that video is the best video to watch on YouTube because she literally goes through the whole machine, and very very popular machine it is too. Right now, I've only got ten minutes left. What? Oh, yes, I got so confused then, so confused. Why say one word when you can say a whole sentence? Right, Delphine's just bought one of these. Uh, not just, I mean in the past. She said she's now going to have to go out and buy loads more. She can buy them from, oh, look, what's the matter with our focus there? There we go. Oh, 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 oh. It's not an early bird special, but it's still at the early bird special. Right, now go and have a look in other places how much you'd pay for these. This is a quilted bear one, but I mean, they, they're almost almost identical. I've seen three or four different brands of these. Holds 27 spools of thread. Obviously you don't get any thread in there. The Gutemann threads fit in beautifully in there. Um, it looks like they're not going to because they look shorter. This looks shorter than that. But literally, once you put your top on, you can see all your threads, all the different colours at £3.99. pence. Mm? I know, three ninety nine. It's good solid. Uh, there are different, like I say, you will see, you might see a Gutemann one, you might see a Millwood one. This is the Quilting Bear one. They are all of the same standard, I'd say, at £3.99. Now, people do buy them. Now, they're not, they're not a stacking as such. There's not a stacking, but you can just sit them on top of each other, put all your threads in there. They're not going to get dusty. What I do in mine is I've got the thread and then I've got the bobbin on the one next to it so that you can always keep your bobbins. Nothing worse than having a drawer of filled bobbins, is it? They just all get in there. At uh, £3.99, 27 reels of thread you can fit in there. 3 99 it's early bird price. Pretend it's 8 o'clock this morning. Oh, don't. I couldn't go through all that again. Oh, it's been quite a day today. I know what that means, yeah. There we go. The lovely spotty sewing box now. I'm talking Christmas again, 11 99 Please go and Google how much you'd pay. You, no, I don't know about this one in particular, but how much you can pay. Well, I'm going to say £22, I'd say, for a good sewing box like this normally. It's got your um, magnetic clasp at the front there. You open, uh, this is soft, squidgy here. I like this because it's got the lovely soft handle on it there. I can imagine this being made, used as a makeup box as well as a sewing box. Uh, you've got your pin cushion, you've got your little satin cu uh, pin cushion and your little satin pocket. You've got your little tray at the top for all your bits and bobs and a nice big bit of space inside, all beautifully lined. Jewellery box, nice if you buy things from Jewellery Maker, our sister channel. Oh, is she? Vic, God, I don't know when that woman gets there. So last night, Vix was singing with ABBA, right? You know, she does the ABBA tribute band. She was doing it at a birthday party last night. We're doing that. Today, in about 10 minutes' time, if you stay on this channel on Freeview, on Freeview, you'll see Vix on Jewellery Maker. And she's there again tomorrow. Does she have the baby in a cot behind her, though, or something then? 11 99 this is. So you'll see Vix there. 11 99 Beautiful, isn't it? Same machine mat next. Right, this is brilliant. If you work... Cat's on a lovely display, which I've just got to get rid of. If you work on your dining room table or any table in your house other than your work room, or even if you're on your work room table, you don't want it to spoil the top. It's funny, isn't it? Some days you can come in here and everything's under the table. Today there's nothing under the table. I think Cat's had to tidy up. Anyway... This, put your sewing machine on this. First of all, it absorbs, absorbs any noise. It absorbs any vibrations. Um, also, if you look here, when you put this like a waffle finish to it, right? If you press your fingers in there, I'm doing it with the plastic on, obviously you take yours off. You see how the indents go there. Can you imagine when your sewing machine's on this, the weight of a sewing machine constantly, even if it's only six kilos, right? The weight of your sewing machine constantly on there, that's going to make little marks on your table, isn't it? Not on this, because it's, it's going to absorb the weight onto there. Uh, and also, a lot of people who have top-end sewing machines, but if they sew at night time and they don't want to wake the kids up, they get one of these because it just absorbs any vibrations and any noise. It's also got a camphor shaping around the edge there, so you've not got that. You know, like little Paul with his little wrists can't use a computer without... I don't know what they're called, those rest things. It's like that. You're, not, you're never going to get a ridge on, on your hand while you're sewing or anything like that. Uh, it's 15 99 This is the larger one. It's 40 by 60 centimetres. Very, very popular. 
Oh, it's like you see, I've got I've got one under my 680. Your 780 will fit on it as well. Your 780 will fit on there as well. Yeah. We have got a smaller one that's that size, which you do have to be careful. It's more for overlockers that, and small sewing machines. But this one, all your sewing machines fit on this one. Will I do what? Oh, hang on. The mat stops vibration really does dampen down. Oh, there you go. Dampen down noise from the sewing machine. Wish I bought one when I first saw it. Thank you, Sewing Street from Crafter in Greater London. There you go. Five star. Five star review. Ian says, hi, John. Back from church. Said little thank you for your kindness to all our online friends. Oh, thank you. I need all the help I can get, really, don't I? Uh, 15.99. Beautiful. Right. I've got, I'm going to do the, 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 oh, no, 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 no. Uh, we need to do this. We just quickly need to do this because so much of this went. Um, the, the whole idea today was I was going to try and show you how to make a face mask. We just haven't had time to do it, but I'll show you, right? What you need to do is, you know, when I first started my demonstrations, right, and I said have a pattern fabric on the outside, plain on the inside, and another cotton in the middle, only because I didn't know about this then, a year ago, or 18 months ago, I didn't know about this. This is Vaseline face mask inner layer fabric. Uh, it's a, 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 a totally, not organic, what's the word I'm looking for? Recycled, recycled polyester um, it's really good for just um, interfacing anyway. It's not got any fusing on it. It hasn't got any um, iron on uh, adhesive or anything like that. But fantastic because it's got tiny, tiny pores. So it is breathable, but there are tiny, tiny pores within this fabric to put inside your mask. It needs to be the middle layer of your, ma of your mask or your face covering. Do you know what I mean? Um, and it's cut off the bolt. So it's this wide. It's, it's this wide, however wide that is. 90 centimetres, but you buy it by the half metre for 2 99 Hundreds of units of this, because in Scotland you still have to wear a mask, remember? And in Wales you do as well. So, and it's obviously your choice. I continue to wear a mask. I, my personal choice is I'm still wearing a mask. Right, the company that own Vaseline, Vaseline, they, uh, what well, this fabric, or the actual fab, the actual Vaseline, the company that own Vaseline are a, a filtering company. They make filters for the, for the health industry. They own it. So there's an umbrella of companies and they own Vaseline. But the main company, it's a bit like uh, Birda owning Immediate Media and, and Gemporia owning us sort of thing. It's under the whole umbrella, that kind of thing, yeah. They've taken on that fil filtering uh, uh, challenge and brought it through to your, your they just looked at this fabric because it's a tiny pause. They've tested it and they've made sure that it's very, very good. Now, I'm not saying it's hospital worthy. I'm not saying that surgeons will be using this for any medical purposes. But for you and me, brilliant for putting in between, in between the layers on your mask or your face covering. It washes at 60 degrees and that's really important. You, you make sure, have to make sure your cotton that you're making it out of is uh, uh, washable at 60 degrees and you're elastic and everything. Breathable, comfortable, and very lightweight. You will that that was a problem with the ones I made. If you think I did three layers of Liberty fabric or three layers of um, Tula Pink or something like that, can get quite heavy, can't it? Whereas this, light as a feather, you're not going to even know it's there. So it's going to be make it more lightweight. It's nothing worse than wearing a heavy, especially when it's warm. If you're in a hot shop or something like that, you're kind of sweating. And um, anyway, loads, hundreds and hundreds of units. Of this went in the um, eleven o'clock hour. I've been making masks to match all of my recent sewing projects. Four tops, including Thursa. Thank you, Jill. Best way to do it. Make a matching mask. Two ninety nine. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Right. I've only got a couple of minutes left. Can I squeeze anything in? What? Uh, little rainbow. Little stalk scissors. Which ones do you want to do first? Rainbow. Now, there are different sizes, these. I'll show you the two different sizes, to, first of all. You, there you go. We'll come in a bit closer, then. So we're doing the rainbow ones first, but I've got them in the rose gold finish one. This is the rainbow stock embroidery. This is three and a half inches, 9 .99. They've been electro magni platey thingy, they call it, don't they? I know exactly what I'm talking about. Not. Anyway, they originated from the uh, midwives when they were sitting doing knitting and stitching while they're waiting for the babies. And then what they do is they flip the scissors over, put their finger there, oh, hang on, and cut the umbilical cord like that so that the scissors are nowhere near the baby or the mum. 
and they can just start, that's where the story comes from. And that's why they're a stork, because they're bringing a baby. 9.99. Message from Julie. Hi, John. Like you, I will my wear my mask until they wrestle me into my box. Thank you for today and have a wrestle day tomorrow. Julie, I'm absolutely shattered. I can't tell you. I'm absolutely shattered after today. Right, rose gold version. They're not real rose gold, obviously. These are 11.5 centimetres, four and a half inches. Oh, they're still 9.99 though. 9.99. Thinking of Christmas presents, thinking of stocking fillers, thinking of presents for your uh, gang, the sewing gang. The other thing I was going to say to you is, very quickly, you know, if you, if, I don't know if there's any of these left, right? The K Facet six inch um, design rolls that we were selling in the 10 o'clock, 10, was it 10, 11, 10? They're all merged into one. My masks are nine inches by six inches. That's the shape of the side I start off. So literally, you just have to cut nine inch segments off here to make lovely masks because it's already cut to six inches. There's only three of that colorway left now. You get more than one, you get 20 of them, obviously. You get 20 of them. I just picked this one up off the trolley to show you because mine, I cut mine nine by six inches and then you pleat them and you pleat them like that. And then obviously you've got your Visoline in the middle and your plain fabric on the back. That's not it. Yeah, but that, that hot one doesn't have those round circles in it, does it? I think that, that picture's wrong from the start. The picture's wrong from the start. Sorry, Emma. Not Emma's fault anymore. 44, that's 44.99 for, for 20 of these in different fabrics, obviously. Right, I'll put that away, put that away, put that away. Put that away. Right, shall we have a look at tomorrow's menu? And then I can always go, if I've got off time, I can always go and do those bags over there. So, uh, 8 o'clock, they've got fabulous fabrics. It's not me tomorrow, it's Rebecca Reed tomorrow. Fabulous fabrics at 8 o'clock. 9 o'clock, we've got a bird's apron. It's not an apron for a bird. I'm not quite sure why they've called it bird's apron with Jules Mayhew. Then, of course, Rebecca's got August birds of the month. Bly Blimey, that's only just made it in time, hasn't it? What, is, what bird is it? Do we know? Then 11 o'clock, we've got Quilt to Go with Jules Mayouf. And then at 12 o'clock, they're running all the way down. Rebecca Reed will be on her own in the Yarn Lane Favourites. Uh, there's so much stuff in that 12 o'clock hour. I've already unpacked those. And the, you know, we normally have one box for each hour. She's got four boxes for that hour. Okay, 8 a.m. Fabulous Fabrics is one metre madness. So you get half, what is it, two half metres you get them. Brand new fabrics that Kat's teamed up to bring you one metre madness. What about bird was it? Oh, it was a J. It was a J. Also, see this that Delphine did at nine o'clock. You need to check out. You... There's still some available. We don't know how because it's the most affordable K Facet quilt we've done in the whole of this since Festival of Quilts this year. 99.99. It'll be on split pay in a minute. Few left, few left of those at £99.99. And 99 pence. Shall we have a look at the picture? Uh, sorry, uh, there you go. There you go. It's very easy. It's just designer strip rolls. Hang on. Design roll strips. Eh? All the cutting's done for you, really. All you've got to cut out are those triangles. And the triangles are just a square cut in half. I know. It's a brilliant, and it's so effective, isn't it? Lovely colour as well. Uh, it's 140 by 175, by the way. I haven't got the air conditioning on. It's absolutely boiling in here, so I'm going to go home now. I'm not in tomorrow. Next week, I'm on Tuesday with Kat, Wednesday with Little Paul, and Sunday again with Kat, and it's bank holiday madness next... Tell you no more. See you on Tuesday.